games. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he's been doing fine ever since then, that, that ever since he was introduced into, into the professional scene. But I think he still has uh, a lot to prove for us. For he's sure. still pretty young. I think he's around 24. I, I hate to be wrong, so I'm not really point, in pointing it out. You're, um, you're always on point on these information and the aging and, and everything, but... Yeah, we, we are the, on the old side when it comes to the esports, obviously, you and I. Uh, not really, it depends, because if you're talking about RTS games, we are still like, young, to be honest. Yeah, or we're actually uh, at that age when we start slapping the kids around in RTS as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually <laughs> just had a good match with Dundris from, uh, from one of our local teams in Age of Empires. We we're just wondering where you are, like... <laughs> We want to see you back in the age of two, age two, and the age age of Empire's four circuit. But yeah, in RTS is I'm I'm absolutely down to clown for sure. But even Dota, I mean, just give me a an undying or a support, and I'll be I'll be fine. But speaking of the dead, we do see them were to position four or position one getting picked up. I wasn't really convinced with DCMC's uh, performance yesterday on the dead lady. I really, really think she has tempo problems right now in this patch. She's a good carry, I'll give you that. But she does have these speed problems, just like the Drow Ranger. Like, I think she has that op problem as well. Like, it's a strong, solid hero, but when it's just too slow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I completely got it. I mean, if we were talking about yesterday, uh, I, I just felt like... Uh, Amorata is that hero that you want to is to be opt for including it in the early stages, and they were pretty much having troubles. This is a casual uh, invoker counter, in my in my in my honest opinion. It might not be that if you ask a professional player, but Puck, in my eyes, is a pretty good hero against invoker. Uh, back to Muerta, of course. I think you have to include Muerta is having a bit of a trouble. Five uh, keeping the farming speed up and I think the solution might be just include him in other early stages of the game just provide him enough space to that that he can like fulfill the role of a team member in in one of those scenarios when it comes to like ganking or or smokes smoke ups so that was that's what I was missing from yesterday just to add, add it to your statement Also thinking of what the reactions could this invoker be. We don't see Spirit Breaker, we don't see CK and the Bristle, which kind of gives me a bit of relief. But of course we get to see the Ant, obviously. Zakuchui is uh, it's kind of OP right now with the Shard, right? Because you get Geminate attack on everything you contact with, I believe, or something like that along the lines. Ten seconds. Uh, yeah, with Grimstroke, it, it, it's, it's such a... It's a good combo on the lane, yeah. for sure. Grimstroke slows down, you can com combine it with the Ink Spell. On top of that, the Ink Spell is goddamn invisible, so you don't see where Beaver will land. It's gonna be a constant sentry war battle on that lane. Although I'm not really sure how good it is against the Dawnbreaker. So I'm curious to see that in action, for sure. It is dire. As the it, is still up in the air of what it's going to be. I think it's a bit of a psychological warfare as well, because when it comes to Grimstroke Weaver, with the Phantom's uh, Embrace, you are already pretty... Uh, with the Ink Swell, you, you just put it on Weaver, he can always like be close enough to, to, to have the stun go off. And, of course, me. both of these heroes has... Uh, both of these heroes have... Uh, Something annoying that you're supposed to be hitting. The Weaver got the Swarm. Grimstroke got the Phantom's Embrace. All of a sudden you find yourself running uh, away from these heroes. And on top of that you have to hit like two different types of oncoming damage. Not even counting the heroes, it's themselves. Luna though, what do you think about this? I People like are Luna. telling me it's good against Muerta. I, I like Luna. The, one of the fastest ranged heroes in the meta right now. Maybe Templar can be faster due to the side blades. 
but I think she's the fastest pusher, fastest hero to get her farm up so that she can start fighting. And then in return, Lava Esports choose one of the slowest ones. Okay. I'm not sure about this one, though. And I get to predict first. Yay. BCMC Spectra. Interesting. Yeah, I will leave it up to you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Take your time. It's okay. Uh, I'm going. I'm doing it. Uh, infinity. I just checked. I, th I think it's Infinity. I looked at that win probability between the two heroes. And I'm absolutely convinced it should be the dire side. Mm. What are you going to say? Um, I'm not really convinced by the Spectre last pick, to be honest. I, I think this is a decent Spectre game, but I've seen better, better compositions where Spectre can excel. Okay, m maybe this will convince you. Uh, between the two heroes, Luna has 23 picks, but only 13 wins. So that's 56%. While Spectre has 16 picks and 13 wins. Oh, God. But only three losses, so 81% win prob uh, uh, win chance or, or win rate. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for at TI right now. And, uh... I would say that's pretty convincing, my friend. I don't know. I feel like Spectra needs <clears throat> some stuns, and I'm lacking those stuns. <laughs> so you need um, just that more CC. Like you're, you're not convinced that the Celestial or like the Starbreaker or any of this jazz yeah, will yeah. do for those you. Those are not reliable, right? Those are not true. reliable. Absolutely true. We need some stuns on the lane because. <clears throat> Spectre can be pretty good, um, can be a pretty good hero on the lane as well. Uh, it's a decent Spectre game, but I think Infinity is, is better enough to salvage this, so I'm going Infinity as well. Smokes are breaking on the mid lane though. Blessings upon a loyal as you roll warrior. into the action. <laughs> yeah, and on enough. top of that. Interesting enough that James is taking the Invoker mid. I, I would not go into the counter puck, as you mentioned. Mm, I mean, it's James Invoker. I was about to... It's, 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 it's funny how our minds are like are alike, thinking about the same thing. I was about to pinpoint out how James has 98 professional Invoker games with a 62% win rate. 62%. No, no, no. Everything above 50% is convincing as the ink swell. Trying to push Arcano back. Those who bear witness will not soon forget that which transpires. Oh, <clears throat> I always one. love this shenanigans that they are doing on bottom. Infinity. They are this... getting the range clear pretty fast. The Sokori logo is the bane of my existence. The beautiful body block from El Misho comes out. As you mentioned. Wouldn't you rather do this with a Darkseer, by the way? Mm, I think ever since the new tech team was introduced. As Chris is getting some hits in, he will TP over to the tier 1. Get some of that lovely XP. But here comes the Sukuchi from Vitaly. Yeah, position 3 Viver. I don't think we're going to see the axe from that. You did see a desperate move from 9, of course, from Tundra. Trying to build it into a big, fat support. And very good attempts from him, by the way. But, of course, yeah, even Tundra have failed with this draft. I'm very curious to see how strong it is, actually, in the end of the day. Mm, yeah, I mean, I... I... It, it, it is the fury on five in the end, I, and I'm not really a fan of that. I, I, I see that he's already struggling with it. Yeah, Chris is just not really enjoying it right now. As uh, Arcano and Pamplona trying other things. Uh, are you lagging, my friend, by the way? No, I'm fine. 
Okay, I'm just checking settings in the some meantime. Uh, possible, but we're good. Could be good, I hope. I think this is Argentina, or um, I might be wrong. Argentina should be okay. I mean, oh. this casters, it should be okay. I have two losses in and out so far. <laughs> That's cute. No, 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 packet losses. Oh, I thought, like, games. Yeah, you had I've two games I've never in the played past. games in Argentina, dude. No, hell no. 250 ping? Please, no. 180 US West, maybe, but 200? Hell no. Oh, Christ. You are super dead, my friend. There is that first blood play. Oh, by Elmisha and Vitaly. I'm gonna do a reset then, so we might just go for a radio cast until then. Okay, no problem. It's nothing special, Infinity. It's a bit on the struggling side when it comes to laning stage, because. But James, I mean, of course, with the Invoker. And Pike falls, actually. So. Oh, much better. Chris with the rot rotation already proving to be that global hero that we were talking about, how significant that is in the early stages. It's actually two global heroes if you think about it, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's Nature's Prophet and the Dawnbreaker, so that's gonna be a huge oh, impact. And the spe the... I was thinking about the Spectra. <laughs> so it's oh, three. Oh, okay, so that's three. Global Damn, we're stupid. We're stupid. It's all good. Yeah, I was thinking of the Nature's Prophet and the Dawn, but... Yeah, that makes it three for sure. A little bit of packet loss, I might just reset Dota in the next game. But, at the same time, at least, it's not that comic book series of spells as Chris. Gotta get the snowball jumped on, the swarm as well from Vitaly. A quick the little tower, oh, shadow, yeah, the tower is just helping out here right now. Because Vitaly's gonna be stuck here, but the Sakuchi, he disengages from the aggro of the tower. This is our... And just resets his moves. Two to one so far. Very, very clean laning stage. Obviously, Pike should be shut down a bit more harder. I'm kind of missing the moves against him as Pamplona will hit the dead shot. Gardic gonna try and evade with the ink swell, but the right clicks just keep coming from Mama Muerta. It's gonna take down Gardic right there. Very good laning stage from Lava. This is exactly what we saw from them yesterday as well, right? Yeah, it's one of their strengths, for sure, but after that, I don't know, something like clicks and they ran, they already are all, like, behind from, from the mid-stage. I think it's something that should be salvaged in the future. It does feel like that they can't capitalize on their mid-game advantage. Okay, I might just have to reset Dota. Yeah, go on, it's all good. Just a minute, ladies and gentlemen. The client Meanwhile, hates me. Nothing special is happening. Stationary warfare on every lane. I'm a bit surprised uh, that Faker is doing a bit underwhelming. His, his performance is a bit underwhelming. And, but it, I, I cannot blame him. It's James with the Invoker. So. But yeah, the difference is... A bit higher than I than, than I was expecting. God, they're rotating on bottom, so he might bait them in. Now he's going back top, so no rotations coming out from Infinity. Arcano cutting the wave because he's having some troubles against the Luna and the Grimstroke. Pamplona securing the six by six. Good old six by six. The good old 6x6 six six song. As we arrive back into the game. Sorry for that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Chris. You, yeah. you are just in point, my friend. You are just in time, because Chris is having a good oh, time. That snowball. All the rotations, though. Oh, Misho gonna get the coil, and the tusk will try and break it, but the right clicks just keep happening. I guess space created right there for infinity. Oh, we really love this. Yeah, I love DCMC's uh, spell progression. I always love when some when some people are 
point putting just one point into desolate it just it's just so good when it comes to like killing just put one point in it the the radius uh like reducement is is, is, is insanely good or heroes on top what are you doing I don't know why you hate Arcano so much, but yeah, Dawnbreaker is uh, looking to be in trouble as the Wisdom Runes will be evenly picked up. Nothing of substance just right there. They're still on top, like... <laughs> Crest? I think he's just too far away. There's the move in, a bit of tickle onto Pike, but instantly the reaction coming out for on from James as well as El Misho, the EMP as well, taking away the mana. The Dawn Breaker shall die. Not even the Starbreaker comes out as Faker with the reaction. The du Dream Coil is coming out. They will opt out for the easier kill in exchange for their offlane. But yeah, now with just with that one Arcano kill, just pretty much turned the map on top of its head. That is at the eight minute rune. It will be picked up by James, but the dust, the ghost walk breaks. Out comes the he cold snap. Up. On to the turn it out. James is gonna get hammered on, but at the same time, El Misho catching three with a snowball. Onto Arcano, he turns. They get Chris, but Vitaly dies without the time lapse. Dead shot, not hitting El Misho, but the Celestial Hammer is along with that. Beautiful, beautiful dagger. It's once again, as you just said, Lava Esports in the early stages is just seem unstoppable. It it was almost a team wipe, like if we, we don't count Pike, of course. Four heroes dead on the side of Infinity. Yeah, Pike is just not gonna move into these early engagements as at the same time Lava Committing the Spectre into these fights, it's always a hit and miss, or isn't it? As Faker, no mana, caught out, and deleted. Perfectly timed with the Phantom's Embrace, so the puck cannot phase shift. Those are just and good look. starts, right? With the Cold Snap and the, and, uh, the Phantom's Embrace. Yeah, not nice. Easy control. Nice synchronization. I love, I literally love how active James is. Look look at his last hits, he's 41. Puck is catching up, but he just doesn't care. He's roaming all around the map, helping out each, each of these lanes, searching and for opportunities. He wants to get kills instead of the, becoming this farming right-click invoker. Although I still am kind of salty about this hero, you know, turning him into universal. There's just one big build that works. This variety is kind of gone. <laughs> Quasi Zord doesn't really feel that good. He's switching it up actually. Oh god, they are in huge trouble once again. The global present proves to be the difference maker as four heroes appear on the mid lane, taking the kill. At least he denied that DD rune. That's something. BCMC though, it's a bit dangerous to be alone out there. Solar Crest already on the Weaver. He's a rich boy, but yeah, let me show you our Crest, easy catch. Let's or see not. the Tusquito die. Okay, not so easy of a catch as the swarm is a return from Pamplona. Dream Call committed onto the Tusk. An easy right click will finally take out care of El Misha as the Pierce the Veil will be committed onto Vitaly. The death shot misses both James and the Ant. As, yeah, the Wicker still sticking around. A pause. Comes out for Mama Muerta. What happened to X5 Gaming? Now that I just see Muerta's name. Yeah, I think they, they disbanded, to be honest. It wasn't like uh, a long-living story. Uh, I was about to ask you... Uh, whether James is running down the right path of... Uh, putting the Midas in priority over the Vessel. 
I'm not a fan, personally. <laughs> if you can get these tempo kills, you know, constantly just getting murder with El Misho and Vitali, you don't really need the Midas. Always oh, yes, I would say so, but Midas in general has been the name of the game for TI, honestly. <laughs> so, either or, like, if you're just not sure that you're on the lead or that you can take the lead in the mid game, I think Midas is a, uh, a safety net of an item, right? Because you still get the XP, the gold. And uh, once again, they really hate Arcano on top, so... Oh no, as there's the catch, the swarm, the ink swell. It's a perfect combination, but the global response does come out. Gardic and El Misho fall as DCMC riding it forward on the curtail of the EMP, but it doesn't hit anything. James needs to try and get out with the pick pull. Turn around with the tornado, but the hammer. Arcana will just not let him escape. It was a bit comical how they started hitting these lava cores and everybody is just turning on his, their uh, blade mails. <laughs> blade mail? Blade mail? Pamplona? No, Pamplona doesn't have a blade, blade mail. Baker doesn't have a blade mail. Chris? Oh, come on. Blade mail. Why, don't, why don't you become team blade mail, man? So good. I'm in your debt. At the same time, there has been a player we haven't really seen and haven't really talked about. You know, there's it, it's a it's a female player uh, in this iteration. She has horns. Uh, she's riding a cat called Nova. Uh, oh. Can you guess who I'm thinking of? I guess it's being controlled by Pike, and he's having a wonderful time <clears throat> avoiding all those troubles with 150 last hits. This just looks perfect for him. Pike is just having the time of his life, right? Yeah, but can he keep it up? He just That's shift queued the farm pattern for the Luna. Now he's just loading the new Attack on Titan anime for the One Piece show. He's just chilling, you know? Maybe not so much on the chilling side. I was thinking it would just lose some beaming Chris if he saw him, but decides to cancel. Mm. Oh, look at those stacks. Yeah, DCMC the with the blade mail farm. Oh, yeah. Going for the traditional Radiance build, I'm not really feeling this one, though. Eager to know hmm. whereabouts. I see what you mean, but... It feels slow. It just feels so slow. You're against the Luna and on the clock. I don't even know what I would build, but... Fusal blade? Or is that stupid? Ah, it sounds stupid. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find the reasoning behind that. No, you you know, we, we were we were we were, we, we were playing Dota for a while now. We have been playing Dota for a while now. Sometimes it just feels years. like you are favoring one decision over the other. And in this game, I feel like Radiance is the option. I just cannot like. Put, put the proper explanation behind it. I just feel like Radiance is the option. Yeah, intuition. It's uh, good intuition is part of the game, for sure. And Gardic is dead. And at the same time, Pike is gonna get caught out. A beautiful dream coil. Can Mrs. Luna turn Pike? Just disappears. That is the second death on the Cat Lady. And it hurts for sure on the Infinity side. Is this what Suns fans been warning us about? Is this that good timing? Or is it just mid-game advantage right now for the Lava side? And they keep it up, because Infinity is so much better than any of these teams when it comes to the farming game. Lava is doing fine, but can they keep up the presence around the map? on top let me show maybe second guessing his decisions rank your boots task okay why me why not top tower is in danger. almost got the bling dagger illusion Dyer's middle tower is under attack bit of a quiet down at 60 minutes into the game 
I'm blowing up. Looking for the escape route. But here comes the snowball. Faker coming in with the reaction. The dream call on to two. The Viver. Can he escape? Time lapse running it out with the Sukuchi. No dust on him. So he shall skedaddle out of there. This is a pretty rich Viver, not gonna lie. Overhead, Solar Crest. The only problem is that the, his enemies are either too tanky or <laughs> possessing a blade mail. <laughs> Just in the meantime, playing Agent Nature's Prophet with the deep words right there in the triangle. Pretty nice. It looks like... Oh! <laughs> Do you see that bounty rune at the base of Infinity? It's just sitting there. You know they can pick it up later when, it, when it's going to be worth more? I mean, we used to call this cooking, right? Cooking your bounty room? No, 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 it was actually a thing, right? Uh, Pudges used to hook your bounty rooms all the way to your base, and when you were in need of uh, buybacks, you picked them up at that time. Pike, at the same time, oh, the dead shot right on point, and these global movements. We talked about it in the, the early minutes, and it's looking like our caster curse is just too strong, Kojda. Oh, we, but we look at the rotation. You gotta get nerfed. They are setting up on bottom, but setting up for a boo. Nobody, nobody's coming to the rescue. We gotta go on to the back line. Christ. Pamplona trying it out with the Pierce the Veil. The, <laughs> nature, the, <laughs> the neutral creep helping out a bit. Good call in play. Sending them backwards as the silence, all oh, the dream call. You're just stuck here as James arrives. The EMP for the zone out. Faker will get caught. And no mana the double to tornado. Raise up from James. Yeah, James uh, knows. That's the end of the action right there. This is not a uh, vessel game anymore. He is in need of a BKB because he's dying pretty quick. The damage is just it's just something else on the lava side. They are picture perfect with these rotations around the map. I it's wonder when they'll good. see the vision, honestly. As the global movement, it's almost ready. The shadow step is there for the Spectre. Tornado available 25 seconds until Solar Guardian comes up. Oh yeah, these triple moves, exactly. Like, they're just on top of anyone that is out of position. I, I just feel like the, the heroes on the Dyer are just so fragile. I mean, sometimes I feel like it's just the Furion can basically solo the game so <laughs> by himself, so... I'm having trouble seeing how Infinity can maintain their, maintain their team fight potentials. Okay, James, you are gonna be the difference maker. Arcano once again might be ganked. He's pretty much alone here. Is he now? Don't forget that double movement as James looking around. Arcano feeling the ghost walk. He knows. Do they want, do oh, they want to knows. rotate on it? No, no they don't. They're far. moving on to Pike instead as oh the Luna God. just disappears. Infinity fumbling around the map looking for something to catch, but at the same time exposing their Luna. Nice little play onto Faker, the deck shot. Catches out on Misho, no escape for the Tusk. In exchange for the steal of the DD. Happening. Infinity. The team that we have to look out for. It's on the back foot. They are one of the favorites for sure. But are suffering hard. Not this game. It doesn't really look like they can take control as it's a 7k net worth lead. No. Shadow step. I do not get to talk. The action is just never ending as Gardex falls. They might want to turn onto Vitaly and Elmisha. The dead shot misses. They are just Vitaly. too tanky. Ah, they just opt out. They don't want to fight this. Yeah, this is just basically solo that Pilgrim's Rook. And look at Faker. Faker so jumping in onto the Viver. 
The Solar Guardian does miss a time lapse, still inside the Dream Coil. As Faker a bit low, face shifts out, El Misho is just gone. And as the puck is escaping, the Shadow Strike's missing, and Vitaly will die as well. They just don't have the catch. Spike, he's just, give me time, boys, give me time, get me, let me get that BKB, and then we can talk about it. I, I don't know, because Infinity has the lineup which capitalizes on the early game uh, advantage and the mid game uh, advantage, but if you don't have any advantage, what are you gonna be building your, what, are, what is gonna be the foundation of your game? I, I just don't see them team fighting. I feel like Lava is, is abusing their powers perfectly. Ah, these global heroes. The seeds of fortune. Can Infinity ball up and find a solution? They're not even in smoke. Although, I'll give credit to them, they're not in vision either. Not like in the triangle for the last five minutes. Oh yeah, the old school build on DCMC. Manta into heart. I yeah. think he's just unkillable. Manta into heart it just feels so good. Yeah, I, I just don't see a way that they can... That there is any possibility where this hero dies. I remember when I st started casting and it was just Anna constantly building this build. Yep. It was just non-stop. And back then, Blade Mill even gave you mana. That was so good. <laughs> I missed that intelligence boost. For oh yeah, for me. I remember Queen of Pains used to build it as first item as well. Yep, yep, you are right. <laughs> oh no. It was just Blade Mill on like the first <laughs> five minutes on all cores. Yeah, because it gave you a spell life seal as well. With the Octarine core. Right, exactly. Just such a good time, and by like 15 minutes you had three items online. Especially the co-op, right? You just put out the Shadow Dagger, it heals you, and then things are hitting you, you are still healing yourself. Oh, good times, good times, for sure. As uh, it's looking like Lava Esports want to capitalize on this advantage. The Sunstrike will tell the position though. Elmisha and Gardic really far away from the portal. And Pike, they, they are going to be ignoring this as the BKB is finished on the Luna. I think this is un unfightable. And they are going to be even late to this. They are late to the party. Roshan is dead. Three man smoke as Roshan falls. DCMC picks up the Aegis. They're on the hunt now. Oh, I love it. DCMC instantly pinging out that the wave is being pushed. Oh, they are, they are here for some years. They, they're they are waiting for someone to come over the bridge. That's Pamplona. Gonna get stuck here, raise up in the air, Solar Guardian on the way, the heal is perfect as Vitaly is stuck inside the coil and will die first in this fight as DCMC searching on onto James, no basher, no nothing to break the TP, but as yeah, the four of them tried to make the move, they only got the Muerta out of all of this. I think this has to be the indicator for Infinity. No more fights out, outside the base. There, there is no way they can fight into this lineup. They have a proper or a decent way that they can hold on to the high ground, but no, no, no more fights outside the base. That's, that's the name of the game. I was gonna ask you, do they even have a high ground defense? Like, yeah, we have the Luna, but other than that... Mm, Invoker is one of those good... Uh, Oh, true. I, right, Ice Wall, Tornado. You just keep spamming that out. And... Yeah, and look at Tusk. I am sure he's already building. He, he might have like 11 deaths, but he's pretty rich. He's pretty rich, so once once Lava, Lava gets to the point when they are pushing into the high ground, I think Tusk is gonna be ready with the axe. Mm, he has the Philosopher's Stone to help out with that. As James gonna get stuck inside the Sprout. Here comes Pike. They're gonna take that one free kill. As there's no Solar Guardian, it is on cooldown for 20 more seconds. Oh uh, yeah. They're gonna just chill out right now. Keep up that farm. Pike is still in first place in the net worth chart. 
That is something we should not forget in this game. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, skill. he got the blade of uh, Alacrity, so he's even closer. He's only lacking a point booster, so... Oh I yeah, he he's... was. He thought he thought he could push out the wave. <laughs> he thought. Fool. Fool of a took. But yeah. At the same time, twenty-seven minutes into the game, ten k net worth lead. Gaben is telling us eighty-six percent so far. Mm. Does seem convincing, but. Do you agree? I'd say it's a tiny bit less, like 75-25 oh. in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm on the same train with you. Of the global oh. movements, constantly, they're, they're only picking off these small targets. I, I will agree, they have more than three times as many kills on the map, and they have a significant net worth advantage, but we're talking about a Luna. You make one mistake, and a whole lane is just gone. Yeah, I mean... Uh... To point it out, if you look at the graphs, you can see those bomb bumps where uh, Lava is winning a team fight. But immediately after that, Infinity is just proving that they are the better team when it comes to the farming patterns. So you see like three, three to four bumps, but immediately after that, their their lead is dropping down because Infinity is farming better. They're utilizing their map uh, better and. Even they, Bounty. even if they have like 35% of the map covered, they are still proving to be the better farming team. And this is what they are good at and might be good for at the later stages. Let's see, as that Aghanim Scepter on Omisho is just not getting finished, that will be one of their tools of, you know, just sending someone out of the fight. Gardic also trying to gun for that Aghanim Scepter after the Glimmer. But I think that's kind of a late <laughs> mentality. Part of Tarask is almost finished on the Spectre, and for that they have zero answers. Although Pike is working on a Silver Edge. We'll see if that will help out in any way or shape or form. I really love how aggressive Pike is with the farming patterns. Look at him. He's Look basically him farming, yeah, like the, the Radiant Carry, isn't he? Because uh, DCMC is just not here. Yeah, and he just does not care because he can, he can always be he... BTP out. Ooh, he could Ooh. be seen here. He could be seen. Oh, he doesn't. He, he doesn't know. He'll never know. But yeah, no, no basher, no catch. Obviously. Abdo, oh no, once god, again. Oh god, Nick. He just wanted some farm. And this time it's Faker alone. Gotta feel bad. That's Chris. He's just farming the enemy's ancients now. He uh, doesn't care. Chris, she should be punished. He yeah. doesn't care. See ya. He's trying to get out as DCMC comes in with his backup. Solar Guardian arriving onto the top of Pike. The BKB might have fallen, but the damage is just a bit too big for the Luna. Can he turn? He should not turn. The dead shot misses. And at the same time, with the calling, they're trying to hold on to Vitality and El Misho. The Viva will get out with the time lapse as James and Vitali are looking to wrap it around. They finally get the kick on El Misho, but then kick him back, so not much of an escape. I don't know where Vitali and James are going. Mm, pushing out the lanes, because if you look at top, it's going to be taken care of by Pike. If you look at middle, it's not a problem that this lane is pushing, because it's only eventually going to be abused by, by the Radiant, because they are sticking around there. But you've got to push out this bot lane. I will give a consolation prize for Infinity. This is the first time they won a fight Bounce. in the past 20 minutes. Where I can actually say that they won the fight. Yeah, and it looked promising, not gonna lie. But look at top once again. Oh, boy, it's Pike, though! What? That was the Luna? Yep. The global rotations. Oh, my God. Constantly. Shadow step was used. Teleport was used. Pike was abused, and at the same time, a bit of bottom play, Pamplona, Pierce the Veil, looking for the turnaround, Solar Guardian, it's about to be ready, does Pamplona need it, he'll take it as Faker arrives as well, the Dream calls on to Vitaly, and James, desperately trying to throw out the Tornado and catch, push out two, 
the disarm is down, but he makes it out just in time. Maybe if Arcano steps in the blade mill. Yeah, I mean, as long as James has the composure, as long as he's calm, subtle, he can still be able to, like, stay in this game with him finally. But he really needs the aid of Tammy Show and the kick. Did you just make a CCNC reference right there? No, it was unintentional, I swear. I just love how you hate popular teams. I, I don't know, I, I just have this soft place in my heart for tier 4, tier 5 teams when it comes to any esports. That is true. Yeah. They do love the small teams because mostly they're fueled by the passion and then later on comes the fame and the money. But, like, I mean, Celery is still one of us, you know? I ain't giving him to Premier Dota. Even though he's playing like a god, a TI and stuff. <laughs> he's our Dutch friend, you know, from Team Viking. Dot GG. Dot GG? Dot GG. It's been a while. It's been a huge while. A huge while. I didn't even remember that was a V play event. I thought it was a blast event. It was so long ago. Good old oh, Arcano, you are setting a bottom? He might be. Waiting for those global rotations. Oh, look at Faker. Pike caught out. There is the catch again. Of the course, the puck with the beautiful setup with the damage and the backline. They want to go on to Pamplona, get an easy kill. Yes, they do get Mama Muerta, but Faker is just unstoppable. DCMC doesn't, doesn't even have the chance of getting some kills on the board. And Faker's just taking everything. Zero kills on the Spectre so far, so that is the big money bag along with the puck. But I don't think they have the tools just yet. James. Just about to start start itemizing for that scythe of vice. And yeah, that cheap stack will be good, but it's gonna so take far. a while. Oh. An aggressive ward placed on in the inside the base of infinity. This is gonna be pretty useful because the the lane that they are gonna be pushing is definitely top. Roshan is back up, so it's gonna be including a cheese as well. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty easy job taking this ancient old, old of a guy, man. I don't know, I think he's still a huge Grievel. Does it have a gender? Roshan, I believe it's a he. He, him? I think so. Hmm, we should, we should look into the, you know, the voice signs and the references. Meanwhile, though... <laughs> The kicks. Ah, oh, Roshan died. I can can read his spells. Looking was looking for the descriptions as El Misho gets ripped apart again. Easy pick off. But uh, yeah, Pike. I guess the solution is gonna be a force staff. He's gonna try and make it work, along with Satanic being next on the agenda. I think he's lacking damage. I see no way that this Spectre dies two times even. At the same time, easy catch onto Gardic. Down goes the Grim Stroke, and they're ready for the high ground. The wave is on the way, and it's gonna be the double catapult one at 35 minutes. This is the best time to push, as we know, if you have the advantage for it. As DCMC taking care of the high ground creeps. And we'll keep up the pressure and the push. Fortification used. Guarding buys back. Pike will commit onto Pamplona. Eclipse still not used as at the same time Arcano will but get jumped on by El Misho and Guardic. But no kickback just yet from El Misho. It is that famous high ground you've been talking about. Yeah, but that was 10 minutes ago. 
ever since that they accumulated for the double of network difference that they were like lacking. It's it's been like nine to eight and uh, nine to eight k. Now it's almost ten ten thousand. Beside that gold bonus, it does really seem like infinity. The wind probably didn't budge at all since then. Been hovering around that 90 minute, 90 percent mark for a while now. And honestly, the game is just telling me there's a chance. There's always a chance. Uh, you got the warrior's kick. You got the invoker. The CMC absolutely ignored for now. Game's going back, ready to shove out the wave that is coming in to push. Actually, on two oh. lanes by now. Nice read by Guard. Yeah, it was pretty fishy that the people on the radiant were not showing her on the map. Yeah, they they and they did see DCMC, you know, just double pushing two lanes at the same time. The mini EMP black hole coming out, but. James keeping his distance, and Gardic is just ready for anyone to jump in. I will remember you in my celebrations. At the same time, a move onto Pike. There is the catch onto the Luna. The damage is just overwhelming. Oh, you thought you could Manta push forever, Pike. But of course, Faker will catch you. Buybacks, not much on the Dire, besides the Invokers and the Lunas. But this high ground push could work out in favor of them. At least the lane should go down on the side of Lava. DCMC not really caring about zeroing out his mana pool. He's absolutely fine with this. He's Christ trying to move in. Rotate it around. He seems he did get some mana, so he should be fine. Moves out with the, sh the Spectral Dagger, but gets kicked in between the two tier fours. Doesn't gonna do anything. It doesn't really seem like it. Half HP down on the Spectre, but still 30 seconds until the Luna. Are they coming in a bit deep? El Misho. Is it buyback and kick time? He's trying to go for it. Looking for Chris. Double kick. One, onto the Nature's Prophet and kicking the puck forward. It's a beauty as they do get Christ. But it's a tiny consolation prize. At least they don't have to buy back on the Luna. And thus the question, would you call that a successful defense? I mean, you still got gold even through the buyback? Yeah, that's a pretty tough question. And I feel like there is no right answer to that. To be honest, you lost the whole racks. That never feels good. But you still have the Luna, it's pretty good. It is the janitor. He can clean up the base. I don't know. I wouldn't call the butcher of uh whatever the name of that forest was. Where Luna massacred thousands on one night. Bounty. Oh, this is a good pick off. Wouldn't call her a janitor as DCMC. Not a real protector either, as Arcano falls, the time lapse is out, Vitalia is fine, or not really, as the Dream Quill falls, Almisho dies. For a third time now. I wanna see the blade mail damage coming out from the Dawnbreaker. I wanna see the numbers. It's also DCMCs, it's just broken, man. You use the blade mail, everything Almost is just 3, dead. Almost 3,000. Almost 3,000 damage. Which about, almost equals to the blade mail. Wow. Blade game made a blade mail. Proves to be something you have to keep your, keep your eye out for. And BKB doesn't protect you anymore from it, does it? Or does it? I think it still it, does, right? It, it still does. It still does. Okay. Well, like, a lot of spell damage still goes through, right? Except you have effect or disable immunity or something. Whatever they call it now. I never read... BKB descriptions. I hate this item. Right, immunity to pure and reflected damage, but yeah, magic damage still goes through. 
As at the same time, uh, jump in? No jump in. James is just a casual cold snap. The CMC is just way too fat for this. As, yeah, no buybacks on the dire side. Maybe just one coming in slowly on Pike. And Vitality is not that far either. James just needs 100 gold. So, possible buybacks on the cores, but they still get the top racks. But maybe just arranged. But look how tanky the illusions are. But good news, uh, God they sold everything. <laughs> he is an <a> exile. <laughs> Dark Portrait Spectre, let's go! And as we know, the Dark Portrait is a bit stronger as the CMC moving in Gardic. Can he catch the portrait? It's there somewhere as the Soulbind onto two. It comes out. Ooh. They're almost killing the Spectre. They're so close to it as Infinity tried to hold on to the high ground. The dead shot hits the Weaver and Pike makes contact moving on to DCMC. First time death on the Spectre and 42 minutes in. Pike will get it. It wasn't even the Dark Portrait, it was, it it was, was Pike. Luna. It was pure Pike energy right there. As with the commitment of the Satanic, he didn't feel the Blade Mill and the dis Dispose? The dis bleh, dispersion, yeah. That word. And it was really promising. They are down 20k and the amount of damage that Pike was pumping up was significant. I feel like he's still lacking some damage items, you know, like MKB, like Scotty, and he's still performing this high on the damage charge. It, it should be promising for Infinity fans. A glimmer of hope as, yeah, the graph reached 94%, but now it's faltering just a tiny bit as Pike, well, along with James, moving in to catch Faker, but can they keep him in the stun? As there is no Dawnbreaker on the map, but Chris can come in to help. Now Misho looking in with the Walrus, Sponge the Illusory Orb, you gotta stop him to, from getting out! But he is making it, the Sunstrike will find him in the vision, but they will not catch him in time. The seeds are nice try though, but yeah, the aesthetic cap is just so good. Granting 40% of status resistance and slow resistance for 5 seconds and the debuff, this item is broken. It's so good. This is just so inevitably good. Oh no, Gardic. Oh, you, you can TP out now. No. Nah, he's just gone. He's long gone. So yeah, despite the fact that like you get hexed, it lasts only three seconds or, or whatever the hell long it does. Yeah, it would be 2.8, but that would mean it only lasts... Yeah, a bit more, but then 1.5, right? Due to 40% stat res. So yeah, all of your disables are just relatively shorter for 5 seconds until that effect is on. Yeah, it's it's uh, around 1.7. Exactly, it's 1.68. I mean, yeah, that's not, not a lot. <laughs> Yeah, and despite Pike, you know, he was on top of the network chart for 25 minutes-ish or something like that. He is slow right now. Yeah, because as I'm aware, the CMC just ate the... Vitality? Aganims. He's an ant, not a rat. I don't know why he's ratting. As, yes, he gets hexed down. Chris... It's just gonna shove him back, because on the other side, we do see pressure onto the last tier 3 as DCMC. Not gonna be hit by the tornado, but gonna get kicked backwards. Can you keep him disabled? The next kick is in 7 seconds. That is death number 1. At the same time, Faker jumping deeper, trying to hold onto them with the Dream Cold. This arm right now, James just spewing and nuking the Spectre as much as possible as they're trying to take care of the puck. Raised in the air, Pike eventually puts out the Eclipse, but everyone's just tornadoing around with their Yule Scepters, trying to survive as much as possible. No task for 60 though, this might be the difference maker here. As the last Rax is being under siege. Oh, there is actually the top one left on the melee. 
But Faker already making his way over there. Vitaly trying to push them back. Kata and the Clism will take out the puck. It's just beautiful as DCMC. You gotta run. The Luna will actually catch you right there if you don't mess her out. In the meantime, a jump backwards. He's gonna use his step to try and catch out Gardic. As long as this illusion is around here, DCMC is in trouble. He moves on onto the Luna. The Dream Call is back. Faker with his buyback coming in with the puck, trying to finish off this fight. But Pike just still holding on. Another Solar Bind. Pike still at quarter HP. 20 seconds until the Satanic is up. But finally, DCMC and Arcano fall. I One mean, last Rax is all they have left, the Nullifier. Can they make that catch? Yes, they can. And that's a triple kill on the Ant. This, I mean, I, <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> the last hope, last Rax. No Megas, and they can now move around the map. Two gems in the fountain. What else do you want from a game? <laughs> Where's the bounty run though? Oh, they have eaten it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is one of the gems are shining, but the other one is not? I have no idea how that comes about. Maybe it's it is the indicator whether it's your own or not. Oh, that could be cool. Yeah, that would be a nice addition. Or maybe they're just so too too close to each other. I don't know. I've never put multiple gems in the same place as there's no <laughs> specter for 30 seconds. I don't know if Infinity are aware though. They're gonna try as Spike moves up. And we know what Luna does, right? It melts yeah. bases like butter. As of course the tier 3 falls. The aesthetic pack on Pike as well. Just go for tier 4s, why not? Just go for tier 4s, let's go. The bounces are coming out as 11, 10 more seconds until DCMC is back on the board. Vitaly and the boys decide to get the hell out of there as the Manta Illusions will keep up the siege. Discipline is mandatory HP. here. 50 HP left on the tier 4. Who just denied for the Astro Gold, why not? Invisibility? Of course, jokes aside, James is really proving to be... The god in this game, he's, he's the setups from him, the, the, the sun strikes are just perfect as a cataclysm. If he can keep up the if he can keep up this gameplay of his infinity, it's they are just tanky down now. It's what's it, happening? It's all in on the eggs right now with El Misho and Gardic. And and that oh the cataclysm from James right there on the high ground. Oh no. That was just perfect right there. Yeah, it looks like we are ready to continue. The quest for ultimate glory continues. I have no idea what Faker can do here though. He does have the Ags, so that is something of a promise. But I think the puck just needs a bit more Cataclysm just to scout out where everyone is on the map. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Pike oh, having a debate with himself. Buyback or MKB? MKB or buyback? I think the only answer is it's definitely buyback. I would keep it for sure. Yeah. I agree with you. He gets a demonic edge just to be safe. And, uh, no, is he gonna spend the gold? Please, no. No, don't do it. I would definitely not do it. No, he's just playing around. Okay, Vitaly with the Satanic himself. No, he actually sold it. He actually sold it. He actually bought it again. Never mind. <laughs> he, he's just, he's, he's just, he's just, to he's just making a joke of us. Where, where is the, where's the stupid courier, though? Um, I can't <clears> find <throat> it on the map. Um, oh, it's at home. Do I. It's at home. No, no, he has the Demon Edge. He has the Demon Edge. Oh, yes, yes. And the recipe, and uh, okay. yeah. But no place? Treads, maybe? What do you want to sacrifice treads? Or no space, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I guess it's treads, because you, you can be mobile with the Hurricane Pike and. Oh, ho, 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 ho. double damage. They're going in for the all hail play. Okay, let's check buybacks. They have nothing. No buybacks at the, the game. 
Except for El Misho's tusk. Who needs buybacks when you got DD? DD is nice, hand. but can you kill them all? Before they murder uh, you with their global movements? Yeah, you need James to step his game up and prove himself on a bigger stage. The fight might occur at any time. Cataclysm showing all the positions of lava. Infinity know everything. They're baiting out with Pike, but no movements coming out from the lava side. They know exactly where Infinity is. Okay. Just behind the Luna, they they cannot risk the biscuit of jumping on on to him. Bye, good bye back. Well, Misho with the ninja gear, just just exploring with the through his smoke. They know where they are. They know we're here. Uh, two sides of the same bottom lane. They're just gonna poke back and forth. I love this. I love how Chris is just. Tip it up. Okay, guys, have fun. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna rat. do my duty. I'm gonna rat. I'm a disgusting rat right here now. Sending in his illusions. It's a good indicator. And James just trying to make his way back onto that barracks. It actually heals, so yeah, he's gonna clean up. Oh, the catapults. I mean, it's healing, so I guess it's fine. Eh, he will just destroy them. I would just hex the other one, but it's up to him. He doesn't want to waste a hex. He'll, he'll I see, I see. His planet okay. needs him soon. He's professional. But let's be honest. It's James himself on the soul of his own. Keeping this team into the in I would game. have absolutely made the global move right there. Wouldn't I have you? Mm, I don't know why he mean? used Shadow Step on, oh, on the Spectre. So I, I don't know why DCMC was just like not well, making the jump instantly onto James. Like, taking out that barracks should be priority right now for Lava. Um, maybe it's because they don't have vision around the map. I mean, they got one ward uh, up top near the... I think it's called the Mighty Mines, or is it like a different area? I, I do believe that is called Mighty Mines, yeah, that, yeah. They have just that single ward there, and they are not aware of the positioning of, of Infinity. Which, which, oh, they thought that they, they might just TP home if they made the big move. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All they, right. You, uh, you I only understand. have defensive wards. You have a defensive ward on a lane that you want to push, and you have a defensive ward near the Roche area on the uh, bottom. I got you. I got you. I got you. So they can be anywhere basically, and they have the battle vision gaming on Infinity. And look at, look at the advantage. It's reducing, 6k only now. Slowly but surely, as there's only one outer tower left in the game. It's Lava's tier 2 on the bottom. But Infinity are just not letting go of this lane. Of course, it does mean Roshan control if you shove it out. But These are you confident enough? They do see a one little courier from Pamplona just trying to explore or bait out the fact that they're right here. <laughs> a bit of an immunity onto the courier as at the same time El Misho, Vitali, and Pike they're gonna sneak in here but Lava knows of course they know there's the dead shot onto the ant and here comes the haunt DCMC looking for the target the soulbind onto the illusions as Arcano is getting caught out hex down and destroyed can you make it inside DCMC with the play gonna get pick up the Aegis Pike you need to kill him twice now Arcano with the buyback of arriving with the solar guardian Oh, As no, he's James. losing teammates at the back line, James with the BKB. They want to turn. Arcano is going down, and DCMC will fall for he's once. Dead. Faker, you got to do the cleanup thing. No more dream call at the same time. Vitali trying to run around here with a Sukuchi. DCMC will dodge this. You got to disengage. I don't have my offlane. I want to get out. As Chris at the same time wanting to go for the rat this time again. He will... Break his teeth on it one more time, at this time costing his life as well as the Treant. Infinity showing up into this game. This late, being 25k down, and they are salvaging it. <laughs> they are leading by 1k. It's a landslide. It's an absolute landslide. Yeah, up to this point it was more like an earthquake. Now it's a downside. It's like a slope that you are skiing down. 
That's like a black ski scope, yeah, exactly. Just dangerously falling. Just oh, give God. one little opening to the Luna, right? Just give her one. And she'll dispose of you so fast. That's Chris. Getting ready for one more push. But this time around, there's backdoor protection he needs to fight. And everything no, on top dumb. of that. As they're searching for them with the Sunstrike, Vitali sees the puck. Insta hex back and forth. But at the same time, a little bit of entanglement slowdown. One tier four is down. As they have just trying to slow down the pike as much as possible. Faker <laughs> holding on to two, but is just gonna die. He has buyback here though with the puck. The last tier four is gone, and Pike want is this. wanting to go for the end. The BKB up now. Glyph is they available. They make the control. Glyph will be committed here as Pamplona, DCMC, in the middle of this fight, trying to burn down the Luna, but at the same time raised in the air and no deleted. Way. It's going to be a GG for Infinity. <laughs> With a 7k a net worth lead, 31 to 51. Infinity will smash Lava down. Oh my god, the thing of beauty, how they are spreading the damage between those heroes. The dispersion, it's like non-existent. Infinity. <laughs> Almost 30,000... K... 30,000 down, network-wise. I mean, this team... is really proving to be one of the best in South America. And I can state it with utter confidence. Damn. This is, this, I, 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 I'm searching for the words. I think we need a we need just a break. The, just for as that. a caster, this this is this is just the power of the Luna, man. You open her up, she opens up the most obvious lane, right? And then it's just absolute destruction. Like even that they won the the, the Roshan fight, they just had nothing left. But yeah, with that we shall go on to a small break. As Infinity take the first series one to zero for first game, yeah, whatever. Asking for forgiveness Cause you should know Only fools dread with the angels Fear to go But you keep trying to get too close Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment Cause you just don't know But some things never change Never change Oh They say I should feel guilty And change my ways Leave them crumpled bodies In my wake Swear I did So delicate and so mundane And they keep coming like a moth to a flame Oh, some things never change, never change mm -hmm. You'll break your back to make me feel again So forget to make me breathe again Lose your mind from endless
<laughs> oh, you go you all you all right there? Yeah. You heard your call. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, by the way, we're alive. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, game face is up. Oh my hair my hair is bad. Oh <laughs> but yeah. That that game was exhausting to watch and to cast and I'm I don't feel envious of lava at all. Game number two, they're on the Radiant side again. But honestly, their drafting technique is solid. Their laning stage is got tier. So I'm pretty sure they're ready to just bounce back into this game number two against Infinity. Who, yeah, they just bring out the Luna. They trust Pike. Pike gets his Satanic. He's just absolutely online. And then there's just no turning back. Yeah, he needed that MKB. Like, after the MKB was absolutely convincing that he's just destroying the Spectre, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, uh, once the Spectre purchased the, the Butterfly, it was a clear indicator of what you're supposed to be buying as, as, as a Luna. And opening up with the Chaos Knight is, like, really appealing to me. Yeah, CK has been proving to us time and time again that... He's just an extremely solid carry, both in TI and both here at EPO, both on the European scene and the South American scene, so he just uh, hits you and hits you hard. Apparition to slow down the healing, take out the region from the Chaos Strikes for a few seconds, and of course mm -hmm. it's a big, Ice Blast is a big spell, obviously. Yeah, you just took the word out of my mouth, like... I was, I was about to like mention how Ice Blast is pretty good at killing the illusions as well. It's mediocre damage, but you know, it's amplified on the illusions. It's, it's not the end of the world for, for taking care of those pesky illusions as well. Dota is just about cause and effect, isn't it? One thing happens in the game, then players start reacting to that. There's the what Sven ban. No Bristleback, no Sven. What do I have for illusion control? Of course, Lion doesn't work. <laughs> and Lion hasn't been a hero for a while. Although I'm a personal fan of the hero, anyway. Mm, I would love to see a Primal Beast. Uh, a Primal Beast, maybe her Spirit, uh, Spirit Breaker, uh, Spirit Breaker's band, okay. And Brew as well. Brew is like go to your go-to hero when, when when you want to clean up illusions. But wait a minute. CK's illusions are, are strong illusions. So yeah. Oh okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. It is radiant. That's like saying Lion doesn't work. Yep. Just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, there aren't, there aren't that many strong illusions in the game, are there? Yeah. Mm. Not there's that CK. I, think about it. I believe Darkseer's uh, Wall of Replicas are strong illusions, right? Yeah. I, I think so, I think so. And then... I guess you can call the... Radiant must choose. Dyer's turn to no, actually, actually Arc Warden's uh, Replica... Or I I don't I forget the spell's name Astral uh, Astral Projection was it? Okay, I got you covered. So <laughs> strong illusion creating sources is CK is ultimate. Mm -hmm. CK is Chaos Bolt. Mm -hmm. uh, intro Dark Portrait morphing morph. You know with the addition of the uh, again Interceptor. More and when, more. Oh, the new one, yeah, because his new act. Oh, it's so and bad. The new act. Spirit. And Cause, Vengeful Spirit, okay. Because, as you, as you just said, as you just disclosed, the Arc Warden's uh, illusion? illusion is not an illusion. It's like what is it, what is it called then? Uh, that's a hero um, unit, I guess. Great? I don't know. No, 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 no. That oh, was no, a, you mean by, by the name by of the, the spell? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The name of the spell. Let me check for a second. Tempest Double is the name. Damn Tempest it. Double. And I'm a caster. I should know this shit. <laughs> no, it's all good. Like... Ten 
Although, yeah, ask ask capitalist any day of the week if you want to annoy him. Uh, capitalist, always ask him what's the what's Oracle's spell. He never knows them by heart. <laughs> he hates them all. <laughs> Although, it's yeah, purifying it, those flames. Yeah, purifying flames is E. Uh, fortunes and is Q. Fate's edict is W, and of course, false promise. But yeah, Dark Willow. Work around there. Willow, she's been popular for sure. Coming out as the usual suspect, obviously. We have seen her uh, be a carry at TI, which is weird. But ever since Shiro was successful with it, it has made a few exp uh, appearances. But yeah, Snapfire coming out. Straight up counter to the Undying. Obviously, we have seen it many, many times, but... I'm kind of reading that Infinity want to do the Willow thing to Lava Esports here, which is pretty dirty, if you ask me. But I guess it works. Um, Lava. I think you can go for your carry here. What would be sufficient? I wouldn't go but carry I'll... here. Not just yet. Not yet. Okay. I would go mid lane here. Uh, go Kunka then. You can clear up those illusions. Exactly it's great against the Dark say. Willow because it's uncontrollable damage and Dark Willow hates those. Last... I actually like Kunka. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Kunka. Last, last heroes should always be side lane heroes now from now on. And I do agree with the fact that, yeah, traditionally you always put mid laners at the end of their drafts. But mid lane doesn't have as big of an impact as off lane or safe lane does. Dyer's turn to pick. Luna. Now this is PPD saying that, but they will go for the Luna, taking care of the CK illusions. Okay. No We're control yet for the Willow. Respectable. Um. What would work well with the CK off lane if it is the Dark Willow carry that I'm thinking of? Five seconds. TK offline. Uh, is Grim's or oh, Grim's Rock is banned? Mm. Any hero that Ami show is good at? Maybe, maybe Task Rubik or or Task Rubik, maybe. Oh, Task is already in the game. No, sorry. Task maybe. Still, <laughs> no spare breaker, by the way. So that's not. This an is not option. that game where you can pick, pick the Rubik. heroes. That's Dark. Dark Ru yeah, Ru Rubik is good. Dark. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're gonna stick. It looks like they're sticking with the traditional Willow Four. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to risk the the Willow being caught in the ancient apparition ice blast. I like the vacuum control right now for Infinity and. CK kind of functions similarly to Sven with the DS, right? And you have a small blink, you know, built in already in the hero, so that's not bad. Ten seconds. Yeah, and making an illusion of, of Luna is, is always Five is always like one of the best in, in, in on the menu. Getting rid of the Lina, which is a great approach. What can get close to Luna with control as well? If I'm Infinity and I'm picking first, I take the Kunkka as well. Honestly. Yeah. Infinity are picking first. I think on both sides, Kunkka might be a valuable pickup. Invoker is still available. No, the Invoker is banned, so... What do you think about the Earth Spirit? The other side, yeah. The other side should definitely settle on, on, a, on a Spirit. Five seconds remain. But if I'm Kunkka, am I scared of the Year Spirit? I guess I just don't want to deal with him, right? He's just constantly rolling boulders on me. So, yeah. Just ban the Year Spirit, pick Kunkka, and then expect the Storm. Mm, Earth Spirit, Earth Shaker, Storm. Shaker, I don't. Oh, I mean, Shaker into Undying is not bad, though, right? You actually like the Tombstone standing, and then you can use it with the zombies. The zombies amplify it a lot. I've I've sadly met that faith a few times. 
I like the shaker uh, into the Kunkka. Yeah, that's a good decision. If it is going to be the Kunkka on Infinity side. Let's oh, see what James actually wants. I, I got another hero, Primal Beast. Oh, now is the They gonna take their spirit, so expect the Kunkka then. Yeah, expect the Kunkka or... Or the shaker. Or the Primal Beast. I think these... These are your potential candidates for the last pick. But do you want to pulverize into Earth Spirit Ten and seconds. Darkseer Vacuum? Like, until your BKB, you can't do your Five ultimate, for sure. Mm. That's what I'm looking at, if I do Primal. I see, I see what you mean, Bard. But the tempo is good. I like the yep. speed, for sure. Conker Shaker, Primal, sure. Let's go with that. Or Snapfire mid, and they can go for a Centaur, maybe? Centaur movement is not bad, but then if we're thinking off lanes, I like Fight Hunter. Pretty Gucci. They go to Shisha. We read it right. And on top of that, like, <clears throat> Undying is most definitely uh, safe lane, right? So every time he tries to do the tombstone BS, like, you know, you can just shoot it down. El- what? El Misho on the CK? They're sticking with the Willow carry. Vitaly with the Dark pa pa Pause for- What a bait Where? play from Infinity, dude. This is so bait. What's happening? We got <laughs> jibated, Kojda. They're oh, messing no. with a CK position four, ladies and gentlemen. As Pike is gonna take care of this game with a Willow carry. Oh, you get to predict first, my friend. This is so fun. I'm gonna be honest. You know that I I wasn't like following the TI just yet. Uh, on until yesterday, of course, when he, I, I just uh, brought back the Dota fire within yeah, you. I promised you. I because I I haven't seen this Dark Willow carry uh, just now. It's insane, dude. You're gonna love it. Should I dictate you the build? I don't know, I kind of like having a sense of how is it going to go down. But my problem is, uh, when in the Shadow Realm, of course you can't like damage this hero, but you got so many uncontrollable damage. Snapfire, Scatter Blast, Cookie, um, AA. Basically, you can use all of those, all of your spells. I mean, not, not anymore. You can use W and uh, Ultimate as well. And you have so much area damage, and if you are the reload, you, you want to avoid that. So, but I, I think it's still infinity, and infinity is 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 gonna go maybe undefeated in this group stage. So I, I think I'm going for infinity. I'm gonna double down on that caster curse, my friend, as we head into game number two. Uh, we do have to start out with a sad little pause, but... Oh, I, I got a, such a nice portrait of the Infinity lineup, just, you know, standing right next to each other right here. <laughs> in, in the meantime, you can film me in the proper build. I might have some weird ideas, but... No, I want to I you hear to... your 3000 IQ ideas first, so how would you build a Dark Willow carry? Um... Because you, we've we've messed with shenanigans like this before when Willow came out in like 2019, 18. But I don't know if you can give me a build that would work um, in this patch. I would either start with a farming item, which enables you, uh, enables your farming patterns. So either Maelstrom or Midas, and then I want to be as ready as I can to fight. So straight up Aghanim Scepter. Uh, maybe if you pick up some potential uh, situation items like Hurricane Pike, and yeah, just go all in on their damage because you have got these robust heroes taking care of you. I mean, four strength heroes defending a poor uh, Dark Below. It sounds really good. So you can pump up a lot of damage with the eggs. Yeah, that, that's what I'm basically like thinking about. Really, really 10 out of 10, my friend. You should really start your pro career or, or just continue it, honestly. No, I'm, uh, I'm not that good anymore. I never, I was never that good. Let's be honest. <laughs> but well, yeah. yeah. So it is, it is kind of that. You missed one small item, which is usually picked up. Uh, the Falcon Blade, 
is, oh, Falcon is, is pretty Man. frequently used to push you over the edge. I've seen Falcon Blade, then Midas, and then just straight to Aghanims as well. That was more of a pressured game, right? So like you're you don't really have the time to get your Maelstrom, so you're just relying on the the Falcon Blade and the and of course the Midas, and then then you go straight Ags. But yeah, Octarine Core is is also just a must-have. So you only have like an 0.9 second window to catch the Willow in that case. Right, because the cooldown reduction is just so big, and duration is longer during the Aghanim Scepter, so it's it's just insane when when you get there. But yeah, so she she's constantly in that area, and I do believe it was twenty three Savage that built it in a way where he even added as a utility item a Wind Waker, right? Oh. You just wind wakered out of there. Sounds good. Extra damage. Yeah, extra yeah. damage, and then basically it's just moving you out of there as fast as possible. Because they didn't really have any AoE control on the BB side. But then eventually, yeah, the rot and everything else that catches were way too much for him and. It was a beautiful play. Two 69-minute games, dude. <laughs> From BB and imagine. Talon. It was insane. That was That's a must-watch series if you love TI. That's just really, really good games. I might catch up with the uh, occasional highlights. of. Yeah, definitely worth watching Iconic. the highlights for sure. Well, the technical pause is still gone going. We don't know whose time is running now. I guess Infinity said one second. So... I guess it's their timer going now. But in the meantime... The and obvious I mean, yeah. question. Yeah. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast, my friend? Uh, as I told you yesterday, I started my... My f feast. 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 Fast. <laughs> Fast. Okay. Okay. <laughs> a feast would be a, <laughs> the complete opposite. Okay. <laughs> I just started my fast, and yeah, I'm I'm not eating anything for mm. for the upcoming 19 days. One day is done. All done and dusted. So it's basically I I have eaten like sunlight. i not even that to be honest. Uh, How about you? Oh, I slept so long. I woke up at noon. Noob. And yeah, I hung out with my mom, which was pretty oh, cool. Nice. I, I rarely cute. see her now. And we went to Ikea. So I had... Uh, oh. Basically, my breakfast was Swedish meatballs with... Uh, I knew it. With, I knew with it. good old cranberry sauce and a big old pile of smashed taters. Okay, five minutes left, said by admin. But yeah, smashed taters, dude. I uh, I got a potato ricer. I'm gonna make so much smashed taters. It's gonna be awesome. Mashed potatoes is the best thing ever. But I might pull out a bit of the milk, right? Because we usually add milk and butter into mashed potatoes. But I think I'm skipping milk that. And, yeah, of course. And I'm skipping, uh, like, I'm adding, like, half amount for that. It's gonna be a bit more dry, those mashed potatoes, but... With the potato ricer, it's just so much easier. If you ever seen one of those, right? Mm. Potato ricers. It's a, it's like a handle and a bucket, and you just push through like a huge weight, and at the bottom of the bucket, the oh. potato comes out. I might be unfamiliar with that. Let me mm. check. Yeah. Potato yeah. ricers. Oh yeah, I know about this. Mm -hmm. Just, just, just the name was a bit deceiving to me. Mm. My mom and I had an argument in Ikea of the relevancy of garlic uh, mashers as well. I I, I have I, seen a different approach in, in cooking videos where uh, once you got the smashed potatoes, mm -hmm. they are running it through a, a fine mash yeah, yeah, with, yeah. with a spatula or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah something that's, plastic. that's also a good 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 approach. I, I, I used to do that one, but the cleaning the the fine mesh is very hard. 
So I can imagine. That's why I wanted to get a ricer because this is this tool is used for mashing potatoes for sure. Mm. I don't know. I, I'm more like into the type of who like does not start fl filtering it because mm -hmm. I, I think you 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 got a lot of those big chunky clunks in in. in there is a good feel of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's a good there's a good feel to it for sure. It's, it's your teeth are there, there for a reason. You gotta use it. No, no. When it comes to Swedish meatballs and mashed potatoes, dude. <laughs> Not at that time. So so what's the updates here? Well, we still are uh, at the five minute mark. I see a G from Chris. As Lava or anxious to start. I think there might be a problem on Affinity's side. Good question though, what it is. I really want to see this Willow, you know, shine. Cause uh, it's most likely an innovation, you know, like the fact when you find that one support that is broken or can be made it can be made into a carry, a lot of the times finding that counter is what TI is all about, isn't it? In and the end, yeah, it all comes down to Woodox counters. And I just love okay, so from this approach, TI's for the current format is really good. Because the coaches, the players, they have time to keep on thinking about this hero. You know? And to that, it kind of tells me that this last weekend of TI is going to be insane. Like, I want to see undying carries and uh, Rubik <laughs> mid lanes and I don't know what. <laughs> we Something I, I don't expect. Like If I see something in, in Dota that I don't expect, that that gets me excited and uh so far so good like Zhao 8 has you know opened the lid on two of these strategies and he's like go figure you know now we have a whole weekend to think about dota <laughs> <laughs> and i think everyone's been thinking about counters to this hero ever since he made shiro pick it it's just genius like the fact that you play like this. And yeah, all those high emotions, despite it being like a lower price pool, it's just a fun old time, isn't it? As finally we start going into this game. Nice. The heroes are the ones who wait all the way. I mean, I can see the Undying work on one position as a core. I think it's middle, because cause you're having so much of those uh, strength-based heroes on mid. Earth Spirit, Earth Shaker, Primal Beast. Yup. That is one we've been thinking with low skill about. And the best best, best thing is that you can leave the DK on level 1, mm -hmm. so it does not uh, deal damage to the creeps, so you're not pushing mm -hmm. the wave. But you're zoning out the enemy. Yeah, but you're definitely zoning out the enemy, absolutely. And that is a good question. Do you go for the attributes or do you go tombstone and just farm the whole lane? That is the nice biggest question. question I've been thinking of. I, I will leave it up to Shao 8. Yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> nothing to say is like, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I get the soul rip and I just keep his HP. Oh, wait, I swore upon like calling uh, Chinese players by their names. So you have baited me in. I was talking about Xiao Ba. Xiao Ba. <laughs> Xiao Ba. <laughs> Well, then you have to call it FY Fly. Well, yeah. FY Fly. <laughs> oh, I forgot what dad is in Chinese. Damn. Dad? Uh, Papa. Yeah. But it's plain and simple. But they just say Papa Fly, you know, in the true sight. Of course. <laughs> when, when they see him in TI8. First Papa Fly. <laughs> I, I, you remember the two sides, and they they were using the brother or bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Translation, much. but it was I, I, dad, it was dad and mom and oh, all those nicknames. I, I really thought that's only a thing for like youngsters or for, no, for kids. no. It's basically no, for it's everyone. basically for everyone. It's it's a sign of respect in in the far far Asia community, right? So there is brothership love and there is respect love, you know. And if you respect things, it's a, it's a totally different approach, emotionally and linguistically as well, obviously. 
But yeah, it's just, it's an interesting culture for sure, and I do see the interest in it for a lot of people. As uh, Elmisha and Vitaly with the perfect positioning of the lane right now for the Darkseer and the CK. I have no idea how position 4 CK is supposed to work though. This is uh, insanity to me as a bit of microplay comes out for Chris onto the courier, but Elmisha could catch it as a rotation comes out. From Pamplona, they will take Vitalia's first blood. While they get in compensation uh, is a courier. If you ask me, uh, if it's not too late by now, I would definitely switch up the positions and let the Ami show farm instead. I'd agree. I'd absolutely agree. Give me a position for Darkseer, but position for CK just feels so bad. Is three Seeker? Yeah, you're gonna get your Guardian Greaves and all those items very late, for sure. But you can still throw the Ion Shell onto the enemy hero, you know? Yeah. And that will still get you farm. Yeah, when it comes to, like, talking about the Darkseer, uh, like, a Guardian Greaves is just not enough. You need something in addition. And and on the other part, CK, uh, an Armlet or an Echo Saber is all that you need to solo AAs or or snapfires. That's what I'm saying, like the position for Darkseer, that's all he needs, does the GG. Yeah. And then, then it's online as Chris. A bit of pullback with the vacuum. The cold feed is still ticking on the CK, but the CMC is just absolutely fine. As up top, it's gonna be Arcano falling. The Snapfire, you're still made of strength with the grandma. The decay is right there, but it doesn't do damage to Pamplona. Will not it die for this one, and Gardic is like, I'll die for this, it's fine. <laughs> Bike is like, come close if you dare. I have this W spell, it's very useful, my friends. Minesca has arrived. <laughs> oh, nice little play from James, but it does not turn out to be... That good, but like, I really lost how he, he just pulled or smashed. Uh, that blown up, oh, executed up top. Yeah, Pike is not messing around with the Shadow Realm. This I spell think... is just too strong. He's punishing these heroes. Yeah, you just can't play a melee hero into this lane, can you? And especially, give me an insult to injury, right? Uh, Almisha is a strength hero. And just one strength hero, if I'm the Undying, I'm happy. Because then that hero has zero impact on the laning phase. But, I mean, uh, Arcano is a strength hero as well, on one third. <laughs> one third, yeah. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind universal heroes on my lane, for sure. It's still taking away damage from the enemy, oh. if not as much as Vitaly with the vacuum I on shell play. We'll take care of Chris for a second time right here. PCMC is bullied out of this lane. Uh, this mid lane, we have a gank coming out from Pamplona. Lava trying to prove that they're the better laning face team. As of now, the ice shards will catch, but one more right click is all that he would have needed. Your spirit is gone. El Misho finally goes down. Overextended just a bit. This DCMC is still pretty low. That Ion Show burned him a lot. Well, yeah, even with Vitaly's catch, it's just not perfect. Here comes Gardic. Here comes Speed Racer. No Tombstone available. It, oh, it actually put down, but it's a bit far as Gardic wants to move in. Here's Almisho as well. No Tombstone anymore, but they still get the Luna. They pay with their position three as the Darkseer falls, but Chris. Elmisho keeping up the contact. Chaos Bolt available in one, but doesn't even need it. As Gardic wants to turn on to Pamplona. I think they can. Good I think play Pamplona on. might be in trouble. Nah, Gardic doesn't want to use the mangoes. Yeah, and two, the creeps are just overwhelming. Nice eye shark play as Vitaly returns. The Ion Shell, the next one is available, and they're just going to burn down the tusk right here. 
Darks here. He might be dying, but he's doing his job. Getting those kills. 4 to 2. 11 kills on under 6 minutes right now, ladies and gentlemen. As... It, it's, it's spicy, and look at this wave pushing out onto Infinity's offlane. DCMC oh, yeah. is just stuck. Vitali, he is so happy with us. It was worth dying for this. I, I wonder why they decided not to translate the uh, older voice lines. Maybe they were too lazy. I, I mean, don't know what you want to translate on da 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 and yet. Okay, honestly. that's true. That's <laughs> like, true. I don't think it's a hard uh, thing to understand, even. But yeah, I do. I do feel that older voice lines. I mean, like the classics, the God Mother Dog, should be translated. I don't, I'm not really fond of the new ones, to be honest. Do, do you have like any favorites when it comes to like old times? So. Not, not old times, but old time favorite. Old, all time favorite. Okay, I think Sep Call is is always gonna be a classic, despite oh, yeah. me never being an OG fan on both their mm. TI runs. I'm still gonna call, say that the Sep Call was just so good and iconic from yeah. Owen. It's it's insane. But have you been in one of those situations? When you are playing uh, a mid Earth Spirit, and your friend, the position for CK got more network than you. Oh no. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for James. This laning yeah. stage hasn't been easy for him, for sure. Yeah, it's the Earth Shaker effect, for sure. As we'll talk about the Earth Shaker, Faker effect, on to Pike he goes. Shadow Realm might be available, but here comes the bombs. Oh, the Echo Slam as well. Pike is burning, but oh, is he he's alive? surviving. As the Tombstone comes out, Pamplona and Faker are on the run. As they take out Arcano first. With El Misho and James. But mm. dang, what a cleanup crew. The Reality Rift will finally connect. And Pike is just here for that kill. Cold feet he does not have. As he's moving on to that Midas. James. What a He's controlled big. gameplay right here for Infinity. And yeah, even though that he is, oh my god, seventh in that worth right now. <laughs> I think we, you can make the argument that the Earth Spirit is similar to the CK. You don't need much itemization, right? That's true. That's true. To be useful. In but, this situation, I think a Blade Mirror would be sufficient as a soul. <laughs> Full yeah, solution. he already has that in the item queue, just as you mention it. And Arcano, just suffering hard on this lane. I'm wondering why we don't see echoes on on Earth Spirit at all. I think it's just a waste of space of an item. Oh. Uh, you're more reliant on your spells and your spells hitting, aren't mm -hmm. you? I, I guess so. I, I personally miss Veil of Discord on this hero. Even Aww. on the cores. That's pretty much that item, so... Really? Maybe on Skyref Mages, but uh, I don't think we are seeing Skyref Mages. I see Mages it on and... Skies, I see it on... I think... Uh, it was uh, LeBron that was trying to force it. With uh, with Ogre Magi, that is a thing. As uh, Chris is gonna get jumped on. Easy execution right there. And not even easy execution, the disengagement is fast to the search. Okay, James. I mean, it's not a big kill, it's just a position 600 Earth Spirit and he's not even dying. James goes down, but the Tombstone is here. The contact is there along with the illusions. Disengagement comes out from Faker as Arcano just melts due to the Bedlam. Like, wants to keep on going. They might want to turn. Faker wants to fight here with DCMC. Yes, you might get Gardic. But at the same time, El Misho and Vitali are just ready for the fight. El Misho. Mike is separated. Two mounted 
chorus, or actually not that much of a chorus. Faker with the Echo Slime cleans up Pike. The Earth Shaker shakes the ground as El Misho finally gets cleaned up by the Mask of Madness. Faker still surviving by a sliver of HP. Both feet on Vitality. Infinity will start disengaging. Or not. As the Ice Blast comes through along with the Eclipse, they should have ran. And yeah. I'm blown up. He is definitely one of those fans of the snow. Perfect balls that he's rolling around. At the same time, Arcano. Gonna get caught out just a bit. He moves back into the cold feet. Uh, James? Why not? Testing damages. Testing damage numbers. Or That's all you can baiting. do at this seventh place. <laughs> Oh, just baiting. I don't know. Um, I mean, they might be like, oh, El Misho, you're so far. Okay, you mid now. <laughs> he almost has the ever loving Blink. Mm, blink? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan either. But yeah. I guess he just wants to reposition and keep on jumping onto the back line. For that, mm -hmm. I'll agree with him. Mm hmm. Okay. Spike skipping the farming item. All he wants is the Midas. I guess he's happy with that. As of course, Bedlam secures you the farming pattern pretty fast. It's just not accelerated as with the Falcon Blade, in my humble opinion. Vitali got the pipe up and running, which is so crucial against the horde of magic damages. Hmm. Killing spree. Okay. Oh, Faker? Oh, my bad. Faker? What the hell? What's just happened? I don't know what Gardic was doing on the mid lane. He shouldn't be he was there. Having, having some fun. Oh, DCMC is farming a hole once again. We love to see this. Uh, you can smoke up, guys. We are still watching the ancient stacks being care taken care of. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This is always good to see. Oh, yeah. Okay, good guys can wait with the smoke just a bit. We are still watching uh, the Ah, guys, farm. we're still watching the farm. Uh, no, Faker doesn't let us chill. As Vitaly oh. uses the surge just to escape. The three-man gank. I can he make it? Oh, Faker just perfectly catches him. The ice blast on top of insult to injury vacuum. But they don't care about the replicas at all. Of course, the observer. With all the information Faker needed. I mean, they have used plenty of spells, so it must be a promising situation for the later stages that your damage mitigation is quite high. Oh, I'm sure got the blink dagger that you were talking about. He's up and ready. Oh no. Good catch. Onto Christ. Chris. That is a downed play. At the same time, Stain stuns onto James along with the Walrus Punch. No way the Earth Spirit makes it out of there as they join with DCMC again. The Eclipse is just working perfectly. Perfect from Lava. Once again, in the early stages, they are stepping up their game and... Oh, look at Vitaly, the double of his rune. You just gotta love it. Oh yeah, juicy. Yeah, both Wisdom runes and Bounty runes can be... How should we say? Cooked, obviously. Cooked, okay. <laughs> but it's interesting to see that Infinity opted to push the envelope and just go for the early ganks. Obviously now that Lava have balled up, it's an interesting question to ask. Can Infinity do the same, or are they just too scared of the Earthshaker? I don't know, I leave it up to you. I'm still like confused how this Dark Willow is gonna be. What's his prime time? What's what's his uh, uh, prime timestamp? Time. I think you reach your first power spike around 17 to 18 minutes. So... Still a bit far. It's it's not that good, because I don't think the axe itself is just enough. Because so that is why a lot of people just put in that extra item. You yeah. really usually skip BKB, that's for sure. But Yeah, in this game is, it actually makes sense, because you got into your... so many... Thank you. Yeah, moving into your Octarine core is just weird, though. After this, like, I, I don't think the Ags is your straight-up farm item. You need more than the Aghanim Scepter. But he's making decent time, though, so as him skipping the Falcon Blade now, he's gonna be faster than the predicted time rate, for sure. 
Yeah, I mean, they are gonna be having like two Arcane Boots, so... Falcon Blade is like, not that important in my eyes as well. Mm. Dyer's top tower is under I can see that, and of course he has the infused raindrops the just to increase that. But yeah, he, he definitely is hitting that 16 minute something mark for the Aghanim Scepter Acquiry. Oh, problems arising on top. Good catch on to James once more as the Mortimer's kisses keep on killing. Everything is missing. But now a good catch with Faker. It is still the kill onto the Shaker, uh, onto the Spirit. And he's shown the hunt. At the same time, DCMC looking for the turn, but a beautiful play from Pamplona. Catches out Gardic and Elmisha and Vitali. They cannot just turn this around as, uh... There came the ping, Pike. He's thinking of going. Because obviously now that he has the Ags, 60 minutes into the game, he'd rather want to fight, but at the same time, his team is deciding against it. Yeah, I, f I feel like this was a weird fight. Because I know it enables Roshan, that's why you want to defend this tier 1 tower, but just you just don't have the resources just yet. So it's gonna be a free rush into the hands of Lara. I would give it to Faker. Uh, this MC is not fight ready. I would definitely give it to Faker. More than possible. Yep. As the yeah, Agnum Scepter on the Faker is almost finished. Oh, that's gonna be a huge, huge deal. Sorry, I cut you off. And DCMC is what? Um, he's just not ready to to be fighting just yet. He needs an additional like uh, five minutes to get his BKB. And James and he... just gets picked off. He's the new position four of Infinity. Yeah, absolutely. Insta destroyed. Zalmisho had the DD on top of everything, so. Oh God, Dick. Gardic. Oh, oh, just in time with the TP out. But in revenge, they murder his kobold. And his tier 1 tower on the bottom. Well, Misha with the mid lane pressure. Almost has the Echo Saber, by the way. Faker on the hunt. Oh, yeah, Misha. Lucky with the Invisium. Trying to run it back. Yeah, well, Misha has a lot to work for. Kind of uh, not playing his position this game, but if he becomes a problem just as well, then there ain't much Lava can do about him. It's Gardic. Here comes the artillery. No Shadow Realm this time around. Even the Ice Blast will hit his corpse. As Baker, thinking of the jumpy jump. Pamplona's just waiting around. Maybe Gardic will show. Gardic sitting in the trees. We'll make it out of there. They might have caught a tiny bit of a glimpse of him, but... They decide against jumping. They'd rather want to focus on objectives. I think Lava learned their lesson from last game. Definitely, I can see them developing like new strategies. I'm sure it's pretty much that here. Oh god, the damage is just insane with this axe. Yeah, don't even get me started on the fact that his uh, cleave distance is just huge as well. One of the biggest ones in the game. I believe second after Kunkas. Mm, I think so. Yeah, because Tidebringer is the biggest one for sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the second one. There used to be VKs as well, that was a big one. But they removed that. Maybe Alchemist used to have cleave? Am I misremembering this? Yeah, yeah, he, he, he had it in the past. And so Misho going in for the jump, trying to catch Pamplona. The ice shards, not the perfect block. But yeah, oh, Misho, uh, Pamplona is just gonna make it out of there. Momisho's grass. Now the big question, Gardic, how do you want to approach these fights? Because you can't use your tombstone until Echo Slime is out. Are you gonna become the healer of the team, but you don't have any points in the soul rip? Everything just feels off. What? Dagon? On who? 
uh, Arcano, Snapfire. Uh, for what? Removing illusions? I, I have no idea. I, I guess so. so. Darkseer illusion, Chaos Knight illusion. I mean, spell damage she was always also nice as Omisho. Not gonna get spotted, but James might. As there's the snowball chase onto the rolling boulder. Fish punch as well as Faker jumps in deep into the place down tombstone. Pamplona just giving the opportunity as the magnetize will not hit. Arcano heals them with the GG boots. The Guardian Grieve. Well, that I think for that rage creep, the Dagon was worth it. <laughs> I've seen that. I've done that. We've done that a lot of times in pubs. Oh, the disrespect item of Dagon. But I think it's kind of a legit item now, especially with the Voodoo Mask getting built into it. Yeah, you want to get rid of those uh, Luna Illusions created by the uh, Wall of Replica as soon as possible. It's just so annoying. It's a, just a nice little burst damage in addition to everything, I guess. But I definitely like, unusual. I feel like we are, we are already watching this previous game. Infinity having those high ground advantage. And they are scared to go out. They are farming the outskirts. I mean, the initial momentum of uh, Pike and the boys is not bad. But yeah, he goes for the D-Lands. Just a uh, quality of life improvement right now. I believe his BKB should be on the way soon enough. Dude, this in Ograx indicating it to me, or it could just be. No, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's it's what he wants to go for. He's aiming for Hurricane Pike as well. Tormentor play coming up from Lava. They will definitely be taking this as Chris. Oh, these juicy low HP heroes. There is that play into the wall as DCMC will fall to the damage. Pike diving deeper, looking for more kills as Pamplona should fall here. The rolling boulder in with the catch, snowball in return. Fish punch in the air, but still Pike with the double kill. Infinity showing signs of life. Yeah, that's what we were like talking about or debating how, uh, how I almost said how Corey. Infinity is approaching these certain situations. Just send in those Four strength-based heroes and hope for the best that the Dark Willow is going to be the damage dealer. A doodle for the agents. Oh, we, you, Dark Series Universal, I'm sorry. Yep. Vitaly's aiming for net BKB now. Almisha is just basically a fourth core. So, like, Infinity have two strong cores in Vitaly and, uh, of course, uh, Pike's Willow. But I, it kind of feels like they just have two tiny cores with El Misho and James. Mm, yeah, I can agree with that. But I'm not really sure it's going to work out. I'm really curious to see Faker, you know, just popping off. He's aiming for that Silver Edge. Which is going to be a huge pain in the ass as well. Although I, he might just be happy with the Shadow Blade, honestly. Because do you need the break? Mm, not necessarily. I think you're just happy with that move oh, speed bigger. as a perfect setup into the Echo Slam. He's just tanking the damage coming out from Pike because... Pike doesn't have that many damage items just yet. Faker. Not even diving deep for the catch. Is, uh, yeah, the Shadow Realm. Right clicks are coming out. Faker with the long stun. The Fissure catches along with the Ench Totem. There's the Lucent Beam. They're going to play it with the Eclipse. But the Blade Mail it will deal enough damage backwards. No, it won't. And James will fall as well to this. Lava. Again with the convincing lead. We have been up this mountain before, but can they even up the score? This match. Oh, show. Caught out with the snowball. Even eating that walrus punch. I 
I don't really like this aggressive boards coming out from Infinity because you can just cannot build your build your wall strategy up on this because they are just so aggressive. You are not never gonna be able to get there, in, in my opinion. Arcane energy. At the same time, it is gonna be turned back for to the BKB for Pike. He's changing his mind way too frequently for my taste. There's a lot of invis uh, potential items coming out on both sides. One for the CK on the side of Infinity, but on the other side, of course, we the previously talked about. Shadow Blade coming out for Faker. The extra move speed you want is just going to be available. Roshan is still a bit far away. Two and a half minutes on to It's going to be respawning, so. Roshan, Roshan, Roshan. You're going to be stalling this out. Smoke up from Gardic and Elmi show. Because James might just be joining the party. He's aiming for a heart. Oh, that would be the gold prize, the prime prize there. If they can get Faker somehow, that would be crucial. How do you get the dancing Torn? Yeah, I see Mr. No Dirt is just going to be hard to catch, but they're going to try as Elmi show. Goes in with the catch onto Faker, but. Even the Echo Snipe, he's just not respecting them right now on the side of Faker. As they're balling up into Roche's pit. Oh, the bait is on. Infinity, they're gonna grab onto it. Uh, without the BKB, they can infiltrate this Russian area that Lava is preparing for. And this might be good. For, for Infinity. Chris. That's how it's unfolded. Sitting around. There is the vision. The Echo Slam. On to James. A possible save with the Tombstone. Faker's but dead. is he going to make it out of there? Faker falling down to El Misho at the same time. The Ice Blast. It's hitting around. Pike in the midst of the chaos. Still moving on to DCMC. But can he make catches? Can he make kills? Half HP on the Willow. As one by one, his team around him will finish the job. I love the build off. They find Faker, um, make, make, make him force uh, force him, uh, him to use the BKB, then capitalizing on the issue that they are more than likely around Rosh Pit. Now they are moving uh, on the bottom lane. And think, yeah, it's looking good. I think single handedly the two wards they placed here won them the fight. The vision was just so much perfect than what yeah, it's, Lava it's had. Not the first time. It's not the first time they are doing this. Just put the, the ward in the middle of the goddamn fight. Who cares? As long as it wins you the fight and you lose the ward, you just don't really mind, do you? Even if he's got divided immediately, it's just time consuming for the enemy. A huge dive back towards the infinity side as the win probability just evens up again. Well, let's see. Roche attempt number two. As they're just looking for El Misho, they will find the CK. He has buyback, though. And at the same time, Wall of Replica, along with the vacuum available. These Phantasm Elysians. They're just getting haunted down as slowly but surely Infinity are making their way over here. Vitaly with the vacuum, catching onto two. That is one of the illusions, is the Luna. And at the same time, Gardic. Exposing himself, DCMC eating this damage. James trying to make contact, but Vitaly will just punch him in the face. As Pamplona is next. They're just avoiding Faker as much as possible. The Earth Shaker is here to clean up if need be, but he does not want to join in without a team. The game winner ward. Oh god. What a placement. I really believe the EG play is the one right here. Ice Blast into Echo? <laughs> I'm not even joking. I really thought that was going to be the turn. 
but they just fully disengage. Yeah, they were a bit misaligned and misunderstood, a bit misunderstanding each other's uh, statements of how they want to approach this team fight. And yeah, it's unfolded as a disaster for Lava. They're still in the net worth lead, although win probability and XP lead have already gone on to the Infinity side. Pike has the Aegis now, has his BKB up and well. Looking like he wants to break, most likely the Earthshaker, but I mean the Luna is always a good target as well. That Lunar Blessing is just not bad at all. Oh, cursed. Can they, can they catch him? Most no, probably the surging dark seer is just on the chase as James looking for the geomagnetic grip it will not catch just yet as Faker is ready to react with the echo the ice blast onto the two as Vitaly just wants to fight through this as much as possible James Gonna get stuck here, yeah, that Sorup is just not doing anything, my friend Gardic as Vitaly in with the reaction, trying to make a, um illusion as much as possible out of the Luna, and then finally he gets it, but oh, still gonna die for this as Pamplona takes care of the illusion. El Misho, yeah, one by one, oh, are you sure this. about this? Yeah, he takes out Kirist, but just waits for them to come towards the back. Dyer's courier has been killed. Losing 3 for the 2. I don't think this fight was worth it. Hmm, yeah. 2k up. So it's gonna be 4. 4,000 of an advantage for Lava. I mean, despite Aegis, you still gotta respect the enemy, right? Yeah, definitely. Pamplona sucking out those Lotuses. Oh yeah, Great are healing loads. Meantime, possible catch on to our Misho. That's 32 minutes in. And with the catch, silenced up oh, the oh, tusk. Oh. We'll make the escape. James is just really close into getting that area. Like in the meantime, I'm kind of shaken that he's going for the Silver Edge instead of the Octarine. Like he's gonna get caught out hard. Hmm. I'm trying to find the reason behind that, but fake or execute guarding there. Good he catch, can Vitaly keep up the contact? And he doesn't get the catch as the wall. It's gonna miss out on everyone. A huge echo in with the play. Faker just trying to push them out of here, but he's losing HP fast. DCMC also in the similar pickle as Faker finally falls to El Misho. Arcano should be next. And the control onto Pamplona will end his life. Will you find Chris, Chris as well? That is number four. And he, James is going for the strong one. The Glaives trying to protect DCMC. And James will finally give up the chase. Yeah, but when you are lava, you are hate, you, you really hate these chaotic fights. Because there are so many heroes that can catch you off guard. Yeah, and in the end, the damage, the numbers are coming off. And funny enough, it's coming off from the Earth Spirit. He cashed up. He caught up. Catched, caught. Caught. Catchin. Ash Ketchum? Ketchum. This, this is not Pokemon, dude. Ah, sorry, sorry. sorry. He's still, still. Still Dotan. Do you remember the Dotamon series from Dota Cinema? Yeah. Mm. I wish we get that stuff back. Yeah. Samsung used to make such good content. I mean, to be fair, he still makes good content. Yeah, he's still making just, just an, another uh, yeah. level. R Ripper ability arena, by the way. That was good stuff. As DCMC takes care of the tier 2 tower up top. There's a 31 to 28, the high ground. 
being sieged, but finally the backdoor prediction hits and his pike is in the air. The Aegis just goes down into the tombstone. He goes, he's gonna come out stunned. That is her problem, but Vitaly is holding them back as much as possible. Pamplona will be finished off. Faker. The Earth Shakers Ultimate is online. I don't think Infinity should stay as Almisho's on the front line. Chris is getting pulled back. They will get the apparition. But they're losing people fast. The buybacks are coming in for the Tusk, for the Ancient Apparition as well. But yeah, they do force out the Pamplona dieback. That is something, and at least they get a tier 3. Do they want to stay, Pike? Looking for the opportunity, looking for the people. Will Faker come out onto the cliff? That would be huge. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. they find the words. Yeah, they need to replenish their mana because Vitaly, in the position of the refresher, has no mana to even use one of them. One of the goal of replicas. So it's disengagement time for for the forty dire, but they are quite happy how this previous fight uh, concluded. Going from a casual eleven k net worth behind. Infinity are absolutely back in this game, and finally the Octarine Core is on the serving platter as Faker jumps in with the Echo Stab, the Ice Blast will hit! And a Willow will be trashed back home. Uh, I mean, Chris is right, you can't improve until you make mistakes. Faker makes no mistakes. Well, let's see, with the single Siege Wagon or cart they're gonna make their way onto the high ground a full minute without the willow available no buybacks on the dire side they might just gotta give up one full lane for this on the side of infinity but the biggest problem with luna is if she starts pushing she don't stop as vitaly instant reaction with the bkb Onto the Fissure, they dive onto Faker with everything they have. A bit of time buying with the Snowball Faker. Thinking of going back in, no Echo Slam available as Vitaly creates chaos on the map. Still connecting onto DCMC. The Snowball will miss, but the Shards is there. Vitaly trying to make it out. But at the same time, it looks like he will. In the expense for Gardic. Faker, 35 seconds until the Echo Slam and out of mana. The Shaker should not continue to push. I think Lava is happy. They got what they... They just dish back what they got. Yeah. <laughs> I think they are still happy. Even, absolutely even match. Again. 38 minutes and these guys just cannot decide who will win yeah, this it, group stage match. It can still swing either way. It's an absolute coin toss as Pike. Keep on building that Octarine core, my friend. That's your best buddy. It's just so broken, the two together. Yeah, right now you have a 10.6 second cooldown on this. But as soon as you get it, it's going to be 7.9. At the same time, Faker with the Arcane Blink. Mm, Roshan is going to be up in 30. <clears throat> I think the next Roshan fight might be a deciding factor of who is gonna be taking the advantage for the upcoming like 10, 10 minutes that's well, the and five man smoke. smoke up from infinity games indicating that yeah we're here we're alive we exist as the four man smoke up in return i'm blowing up trying to make his way over to faker to give him the smoke effect as well and let's see james Smoke broken, but with the Ion Shell he dives as they find Crist in the middle of it all. They will be moving on to the Apparition, but where is Faker and the rest of them? As El Misho cleaning house, the Ice Blast will go hit through. 
and Pike trying to make contact with the Earthshaker at the same time his team is suffering just a bit but they do manage to fight off James Arcano DCM they're stuck in the middle nice terrorize onto one as Pike is just trying to burst down the Luna as fast as possible but Arcano slows him down the Bramble Maze will not catch due to the BKB Baker Looking for the jump and he might even find one. Arcano pretty low. Will they continue to chase on me? Show sees Faker. But the reality rift will not connect. There's the chaos bolt. They finally get the snap fire. Faker is thinking about it. Oh, it's the three of them. He's got the oh, invis. No. Don't tell me, Faker. You are not enough for this. Don't do any stupid things. You can make a okay. big play here. Just trying to dodge around Elmisho as much as possible with his Silver Edge. He's right there. He moves on to Elmisho, oh committing the Echo Slam as well, though. Which is weird. And yeah, at the same time, Infinity. But just the two of them, they're not going to be rushing for sure. But Pike, not really finding the reach with the kills despite the Hurricane Pike. At the same time, Elmisho caught out, BKB onto BKB, but the damage output is huge, the Fissure does, doesn't do anything, but the Ice Blast will catch through. He decides not to continue to chase, but DCMC is here. Terrorized, pushed out, but at the same time, Pamplona rolling in, will control Gardic. He tries to get out with the Shadow Realm, but will be controlled. Baker with a sliver of help will make it out of here as the rest of his team moves on to Roshan number three. Hey, I, I like how... <clears throat> I just noticed something how Roshan <clears throat> um, sometimes puts the Aganim's uh, Blessing in, into different, like, slots. Yeah, and it changes. Yep. I don't know why. I thought that it was alone. <laughs> I have no Wait, idea. Uh, yeah, the same thing with the refresher shard. Sometimes it's on slot 4, sometimes it's on slot 3. Yeah. But only Aegis and Cheese have a fixed slot, honestly. I remember right, the shard used to do that as well. There's DCMC eyeing the high ground now with the Luna. But uh, Gardic making his way over here. Where's the rest of the team as Vitaly will get caught out by Faker. Vitaly's just trying to shake off the Shaker with the illusions as Almisho's stun doesn't go through BKB. The Ice Blast will hit, but at the same time they're losing their base. The Glaives are doing so much work. Gardic throws out the Tombstone. Going full well that the Shaker needed to go home. They will try and play for the high ground defense. But they see Faker. He's target number one as El Misho just dives in onto Faker despite the Echo Slam. There's the kill. Buyback committed by the Earth Shaker as Pamplona will be dived on. The Aeon Disc will allow him to snowball out of here. Onto Vitaly he goes. A huge kick onto the Dark Seer's James. Rolling boulder back and forth there. But at the same time, the Tusk caught in the edge. The Terrorize. That's a kill on Pamplona. 80 seconds without the Tusker. Buyback committed by Faker for what? They might have gotten Roche, but they are paying the price for it. Faker buying back also. This is huge. I don't know why he bought back. Uh, that, that seems like the wrong decision. He Maybe he thought that we're fighting and let's go? Yeah, maybe, maybe he thought like... They have, you know, the outpost. He can just TP on onto it and join the fight. It's maybe gonna be prolonged, but yeah. In the end, it's it's just a buyback, based gold, and no buy. It means no buyback for the upcoming six minutes, six and a half. That is huge information on the side of Infinity as they find. Oh, nice little gold deposit right now for El Misho. As hey, here show. comes the CK. Good little hold onto his illusions, the phantasms. 
They're just uh, getting destroyed as Almisha will move on to the Shaker after all his spells were pushed out. But the Hex down, Earthshaker will try and make it out with a BKB, a sliver of health again. This must be huge pain. James doesn't find anything either. If he would have died there, that's definitely game. But in the end, once again, a zero of HP, he gets out. This Pike now has the ever loving Octarine core on top of everything. I personally would finish it off with a swift blink, to be fair. But that just might be me. But he's going for the MKB instead. Even though there's no signs of DCMC going for the butterfly. This Faker's Octarine Core also finished means that he has Enchanted Totem 2.3 seconds at a time. Dude ain't messing around. The map is being split up on one side. Up on there the high is... ground they go. Yeah, both teams eyeballing with the situation of pushing it to the high ground and yeah. I don't infinity. know if I would dare go up there if I'm DCMC. But yes, they do. Here comes the move. The TP backs are coming as Vitaly with the surge oh, jumps in the middle of them. It's a nice little control with the Shiva's guard as Pamplona. Proc on the air on disc. Faker trying to make it backwards. DCMC will die with the Aegis. As Faker does have Echo Stand. That is a big threat you need to watch out for. But DCMC with the Eclipse trying to shake off his chasers. But here they come. Stunned up again. Faker, you need to save your carry. But DCMC oh, just falls. dies. Pamplona keeps up the chase as James will find the Earth Shaker. But the kill oh. will not happen just yet. Pamplona and Arcano looking to at least burn down one Rax as they have lost theirs at a 45 minute mark due to the double catapults. The whole shenanigans just to lose your Rax as well and your carry and your support. No Christ and DCMC for... It's, uh, I mean, it's it you you can bear with this amount of time, but yeah, one thing for sure, Infinity is pushing and they want more access. This team hasn't had the net worth lead for the past ten minutes. How the hell are they still good? It's insane. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. It just goes to show uh, you guys, gold is not everything. Yep. You gotta have the skill, the grit, and the good coordination and infinity. It looks like they have it in spades. As the Shadow Realm Dark Willow just keeps on hitting the tier 3 tower. They're trying to force out the buyback from the Luna. But it doesn't seem like it's gonna come in time. As of now, backdoor protection, maybe one day. This Faker just keeps on spamming out the Enchanted Totem along with the Fissure. Vitaly jumps forward, trying to go in for the zone out, but the Echo is still available. It's being cleaned up. And uh, Misho is on, on the hunt for Axis. I think he's a bit too forward. He might Pulls be punished. Pulls out Arcano. The little Shredder player is just not working out for them as Chris with the Ice Blast catches two. Oh but Misho diving backwards onto Pamplona. They're just shaking off everything from the back line. As Pike just keeps on chugging with these right clicks. The little willow that could. Opting back to the swift blink instead of the MKB. Just as we mentioned. But this Rax is just gonna fall. Are they gonna be patient or are they gonna push the env envelope? It looks like they kind of want to go. At least Pike does. As he's going for the tier 4s now. Why not? James in front and center. The Shiva's guard will be committed. The Ice Blast only rolling through the Earth Spirit. Doomstone again, is there to save him up. The Wall of Replica keeping them at bay. Vitaly's plan is working as Faker is just not finding the perfect angles. El Misho in the dark. El Misho in the woods. Looking for kills. Pulls in onto the apparition. Sends in the phantasm illusions. 
But the push just doesn't stop. Pike will take out the tier 4. And it looks like they'll be happy with that. That's still the enchanted totem constantly. Just keeps him in the stun. But he's going to be fine with this. As he makes his way out. This, this is South American Dota, ladies and gentlemen. And it's finest. Pamplona, smoked up. Oh! He's uh, all alone. Have you noticed that besides the tier 2 up top, the map is absolutely symmetrical? Ah, uh, so here comes Gardic, jumping in, facing all his enemies, but the Ice Blast, it is big, it passes through two. Faker, looking for the angle, maybe get Gardic. They will get Pamplona first as DCMC will commit right here with the Eclipse. But yes, misses Shadow Realm. The Willow is just so fat. They will take down DCMC along with the CK's help. That's Faker. The Echo is just not coming out. He's just watching the carnage through and through as Christ will fall for this. Or he should. I said he should, and he will. Got buyback though. He got three heroes alive. Undying can buy out as well. But do mm. you want, really necessarily want to force it where Roshan is gonna be respawning soon? Of course they are. They might not be aware of the timing. I don't think they know. No one will know. No, I, I think they are making their way out on, onto there. They are gonna need, need to defend the base, of course, because yeah, tier fours are in, <laughs> the tier in a four. problematic situation. Now it's only single. Yeah, that's true. Tier four. Absolutely even map on both sides. Although that yeah, they did lose their bottom, uh, some of their bottom racks as well. And Rosh is up. Oh Ta -da. hi. Hi Rosh. Hi Rosh. How's it going? And slay you. And of course, a lot of esports don't know anything about it. They threw out the Ice Blast. Yeah. A bit too early as Pike. Now with Mr. Swift Blink, he's just an absolute unit now. He's putting the Aegis to use, and uh, what, what is he going to do with a second Blessin? Give it to the CK. That's the best option in my eyes. I would agree with that, actually. Yeah, me show. Thank yep. you, he says, and it's up the ages. Ages, I'm sorry, the eggs. Eggs? Eggs? Eggs and ham? Blessing. Eggs and ham? Ham and eggs? Hmm, that's Faker. Mm. The search is on, James. Oh, I no, think he he's sawing for here. a minute here. And yeah, yes, right there, go. they need to control the Shaker. The buyback is available. Oh, but no, that, no. he's the only one with buyback on his team. Goodness. Lava, you're falling apart. It's once again the late game. It's just something that you cannot salvage. Oh, look no, at the on the hunt. That's Chris without buyback. He's gonna be dying back. The four core strategy of Infinity is just working out for them as Arcano trying to hide, but uh, oh, he just doesn't see him just right there. Oh, the trees. Tree blocking vision. We've got like 11 or 12 illusions on the map now. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> just a few. Well, in comes Vitaly. Here comes the damage, Pamplona. Try and look for the control as Vitaly and James dive deep. They can just sustain for days as Almisha comes in for the follow up. Looking to play onto Pamplona along with Pike, but the Shadow Realm is just impossible to break. As in, he's just in it once more. What do you do against the Swallow? He's untouchable. Absolutely. So many robust heroes tanking the damage for her. It's just hard to follow her because you don't see her HP bar, but at the same time, <laughs> I'm doing my best. He's just like destroying everything, Pamplona, with a kickback. Gardic with a BKBA on this, just surviving on the Undying. They're just so tanky. 
What you do against this? This is Mega. This is the ice ice blast. On the dark below. Will hit Pamplona, but a uh, Pike. But at the same time, this is only Aegis. As Mega Creeps creep in, Faker tries to play it with the Echo Slam, goes through Gardex HP mostly, but yes, Pike is just destroying DCMC as Omisha will hold him down with the Reality Rift. Pamplona trying to buy time, and that's gonna be game. As 50 to 41, make it 50, <laughs> 40, 51 to 41. It's an absolute massacre from Infinity. And they'll take the 2-0, 55 minutes into the game. Convincing. Disciplined. Humble. What else? I, I guess I would put in meta-oriented as well. Meta-oriented. But yeah, just great movements all around from Infinity. I mean, the early game looked rough, but they stick with their guns. They, they have good ideas and approaches. And, yeah, you and I both said, we're just not sure about the CK, right? Like, will this work out? But instead of giving him the last hits in the lane, he just went, okay, guys, I'm going to farm out my Echo or Armlet or whatever, right? And then just basically set up the game from there, didn't he? Definitely. I mean, this kind of gameplay is really appealing or pretty attractive to me that that Infinity is like showcasing time to time, and I, I, I'm still repeating my my occasional phrases, which you have to look out for this team for the upcoming season after TI, for sure. It's just interesting to see it though, like when you check out the two player net worth graphs on, of the two teams, I feel like, you know, a little bit bad for Gardic, but that that's just how you play Undying, right? Like. I'm poor, game is hard, I'm super countered by the Shaker, and Arcano, Snapfire, and everything sucks. But at the same time, looking at it, that the other four were doing just so well for such a long time. It's interesting. And of course, El Misho was the mid lane, right? Because he, he, he finished higher than, uh, than poor old James. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just okay. how it goes, ladies and gentlemen, as... Of course, Lava Esports losing now two days in a row. It's not the end of the world for them, but it's going to be a hard climb for sure. As, uh, yeah, we're going to go on a short break, I believe. Or did I miss out anything, my friend? No, that's all. Fantastic games. They really put a nice show for us. So stick around for sure. And with that, we'll go on a short break as Mad Kings and No Ping are next. Stick around for that.
Stand against all enemies, your enemies. I'm afraid if I look the light, you'll leave me alone tonight. Cause I'm changing and I'm breaking, but I'll still be your super hero. I'll be your superhero.
all about humanity. Try to 
Yo, what's up? Costa. Hmm? What's up? Another game? Yeah. Another... And a new yeah, team yeah. that we can introduce. It's Two Matt new Kinsey. teams. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah, for Noping already made their debut against Lava, who were just beaten convincingly by Infinity. Uh... Yeah, I, I have nothing more to say about that one. That was just brutal. As Infinity smashed Infamous yesterday. And Noping actually gave us a pretty fast series yesterday against Lava. It's, I'm curious to see the new iteration of the Locos Reyes. I'm very, very interested to see what they have cooking for us here. Bring in Mr. Jeans. Always a good idea, in our opinion, obviously. <laughs> But who is their position for? I'm not. I don't think I'm familiar with him. Uh, Ganek. Oh, it is Ganek. Okay, it's just his. Yeah, uh, Ganek. Ganek the four. That tiger is gonna be five. Oscar three. In game Mr. gamer James. tag is just stupid. <laughs> Mr. James is two, and and it's Shido the fifth. He used to be play for Barrogs. He's gonna be the carry for for now. So an interesting lineup as you as you disclosed. Uh, I'm kind of curious of how they are gonna be playing in their debut. Look mm. for that. Lumiere was uh, especially convincing for sure. As uh, curious to see. I mean, Shiro's name partner Shido. Uh, I think we've seen him before on EPL and subbing for one team or another once or twice. It might have been. But never really an outstanding performance to me personally, just yet. I mean, we'll see if he pulls up something interesting. But for sure, it's going to be a great match as I do see these meta bands flying back and forth. Invoker is getting taken away from Mr. Jeans. And <laughs> no wonder. Of course, I would close out the draft if I were noping with the Bristleback or the CK. Either or, both these heroes are extremely hard to counter. And uh, the argument can be made that a lot of people do prefer first pick, interestingly enough. Saying that you get the last ban in the first phase... And you get to pick first, so you just immediately protect the hero you're about to pick up. On the other hand, the stats from Lee Mar, shout out to Lee Mar, uh, basically say that second pick is 75% win rate right now. Which is insane at TI, especially uh, with combine that with Dire. Which is 75% win rate for uh, for the second pick. And 70% win rate for Dyer right now. Ten it's bonkers seconds. to me. Five seconds. Meanwhile, I'm trying to pull up my uh, statistics as well. That's why I'm, I'm being a bit silent. That's fine. Uh, I'm here to entertain as we see the Coddle come out. CK and Bristleback both banned, so some of the local favorites, they're just not gonna make Ten it in here. Remain. Five seconds remain. But at the same time, uh, I mean, Mama Death. He's had a, I should say, controversial appearance so far here at EPL. He's won one game so far. And even at the International, she's just not having the bestest of times. So, basing our data off of that, uh, I don't know how strong she is. Although she's the most picked hero of the hero pool right now there. 56% win rate. 41 picks and 23 Ws, so... Interestingly enough, Templar and Kunkka band, Mad Kings is setting up for some shenanigans for Mr. Jeans. Ten seconds. Definitely enough that I believe is should be the focus right there. 
I'm still looking for some to see so this yeah, is that I wanted to like be, be build by oh. casting. On. Take away Matt King's is Storm Spirit. Which is one of one of our favorites here. For you and me when it comes to Mr. Jeans, obviously. Yeah, I mean Mr. Jeans with those spirits is always a beauty to watch. Uh ten seconds. I believe this should be the Michael Tree and Protector with Five the VIJ Keeper of the me. Light. Although it has been in the hands of Lalatroni, so it could be that workaround it as could well. Be, yeah. Could be Lalatroni's uh pick as well. But at the same time... Muerta, answering the Muerta. Bristlebuck is long gone and it's not even good, a good hero. Puck comes out, which is quite a decent laner uh, against the Keeper of the Light. So, so it's, it's, he, she, she's not going to be having any problems with it. And Tusk appears as well. A great friend of the Muerta and one of the best uh, ganking heroes in currently in the game. And his laning stage is improved as well due, due to the new tech team. So he's opt out for um, <clears throat> potentially become a nuisance, uh, on, on, not just on lanes, but on multiple lanes at, at, the, at the same time. Mm. Chaos Knight. Addressed. That's gone, so there's no option of that. Phoenix? Nobody should really... Phoenix is there. I don't know if VIJ wants to pick it. It kind of reveals the fact that you have the Caudal on the core side. I mean, except if you're Whisper, because Whisper plays the Phoenix offlane. Mm -hmm. But... It's rare. Tiny, okay, keeping your options open. Yeah, definitely. Tiny can be four, and they can flex it in between the Keeper of the Light <clears throat> and, and the Stone Boy. Mm. Straight up counter into the puck, so... Might not be Five, what six, Mr. Jeans three. wants. I don't know if Arzen plays the offlane puck. I think I might have seen him do it once. But... Offlane puck in general just doesn't feel good this patch. You really, really want an initiator that can just soak up some damage, right? I'm thinking of Primal Beast, I'm thinking Tide, hmm. Centaur, all these good guys. It's your point. But how about we approach this from an, from another angle? And <clears throat> we just go for a Sky 4. Why not? Tiny mid, or, or never mind. That, that, that's not... Caudal off, caudal off lane, Sky Four. Never mind. No, uh, no, no, no. no. I actually I like mean, it. I actually no. like it right now. Let's let's just put this idea like into the trash bin and yeah, the it's King. Dragon Knight. Yeah, one of the best American analysis boys. No named because even on Twitter he has like a hundred followers. Um. He said that his biggest disappointment in this TI's rosters is that we just don't see Dragon Knight enough. Gives yeah. you everything in, in general. The biggest problem he has, in my opinion, is that even if he wins the lane, he doesn't win it by a large margin. But at the end of the, the day, like if you leave the lane, as soon as you leave the lane, the tower is gone. That's a guarantee. Peter says that he doesn't like the DK because uh, while you don't have dragon form, you just don't want to be active on the map. At the same time, I, I disagree with that. As soon as you get your blink, you're, you're just an online hero. Mm -hmm. So you are telling me it's not necessary to have the dragon form. You can you still have a pretty reliable stun and some burst damage and, and you're a tanky hero as well. Ten. Seconds. The fact that Five they are banning seconds. out the Swan is interesting to me. PL? Naga? 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 Naga. I like Naga. Yeah, I don't really like the Muerta core anymore. So, 
Naga, you say Naga. I think Naga is not that good here, but how about Morph? Morph seems a little, little bit better. It's not the best. He's stealing the, dra the Dragon Knight's form and then just dual breathing. Uh, fireballing. Oh. <sighs> okay. I hate this hero so much, dude. You can answer it with the Faceless Void. I think this is a pretty good Faceless Void, yeah. Faceless Void or... Nah, this is the Faceless Void, yeah. If there is one. This is an absolutely great Faceless Void game. Reverse packing into the Chrono is the Dream Coil and of course the Calling. But honestly, you don't really care about those that much. Especially with the Tree and Protector behind you. But they go for the Morph. They go for the Morph, choice. Okay. Why do I have to pick first? This sucks. I think I can go first. No. No. <laughs> The th tradition shall not be broken. Cheating. And if you go first, I'll follow you, and then we cast our curse people. That's how <laughs> curses work. Mm, I think I'm going noping for this first one. Noping. Um. I trust a lot of Tronny Tiny smashing Mr. Jeans mid lane, even though we love Mr. Jeans as a para, obviously. This guy is just freaking insane, but... Troll Warlord is just not convincing me. Mm. I see your point here. Yeah, I have to go. I have to go noping as well. I don't really like the puck here. Puck is going to be struggling real time. Yeah, Puck just has a good time to initiate for you when, uh, how should I say, when the team is snowballing, <clears throat> but otherwise, you're just not, yeah, of course, pun intended with the tusk, but, but otherwise, you're just not having a good time. Yeah, th these heroes are not made to be snowballing. Of course, pun puns not intended, because they have the snowball. But I just don't see a way how the brewmaster and the troll can uh, develop fights. You can you can uh, capitalize on as 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 the puck player. It's like you have multiple jobs to do as a puck instead of doing the puck job as it is. And yeah, I mean Lalatroni with the with the with the tiny mid, it's just so good. This is pretty good tiny tiny game in my in my. In my glance. Uh, There's a big roll in from the Mad Kings. They will see Lumiere. But the smoke breaks, so Tiger. Going into hiding. Really, really. I guess they're hoping for the morph. Just try and move onto the rune so they can just surround him. But uh, they're trying to go so for the wraparound. Gig, 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 neck. They will go in for the drunk. Oh, a good catch with the ice shards, the HP. It's decreasing fast. Lumiere in trouble. Michael trying to help out here, and it's gonna work. With the last slivers of the attribute shift, the morph thing will be saved. Save the president, Mr. Morphling stays alive. I was wondering. I was already like, <laughs> wanted to curse him for not leveling the wave form or waiting out what's gonna happen to him. But yeah, in the end, he, he survives, so. And the divorce is there was also. Yeah, VIJ gets it. VIJ. Vij, VIJ, Vij. both. Oh, we, we saw both last year, so. Yeah, yeah. Last season, to be fair. And, oh, is it like a tendency that you pick up this range creep as soon as you can? I mean, there's a lot of things of just slowing down in general range creep into getting it but it seems to be a thing like maybe oh, in this okay. region i don't know i'm not a pro player i haven't played dota in ages same <laughs> i play arcades and watch dota auto chess is fun watching dota is all good reading statistics but playing playing dota oh my god 2023 nothing but turbos shout out to the nadcl community We are actually holding an event at TI. Did you know yeah, that? I've seen that. 
Yeah, I've seen that. Some familiar faces showing up. So good to see them. Like, yeah, KBBQ. KBBQ yeah. and, of course, your boy Resolution was brought in as captain, so... Definitely check that out on Twitter, or if you're at TI, then... That is a show you really want to watch, as Lumiere's career will get caught out. Genek, just on point with the Death Mommy. What do we think of this DK Caudal Tusk Troll <laughs> Warlord lane? DK Caudal. I'm a fan of it. I I, I feel like um, if I have to choose one side, it's it's no ping. I don't like the. I don't think the troll and uh, the tusk have any kind of synergy, honestly. Mm, yeah, me neither. Oh, you have a snowball and you throw the whirling axes? Okay, now we back off. <laughs> like, basically, that's it. And then Arzen, he can just keep on leveling up the dragon's blood and then you don't really touch him. So, Plus, he has the Persona skin on, so I trust him. <laughs> on the mid, though, it's pretty even. I mean, Mr. Jeans is one of the best mid laners in South America, but don't forget about Lalatrone. Once he lays his hands on some of these heroes, He's pretty much unstoppable. Yeah, the tiny burst off is um, famous for being extremely hard to counter. As soon as he gets the blink and the echo, it's just gone. Any backline hero is shaking in their bed. Oh, look at top. Tiger. Nice little ice shards, but Michael not caught in it. Arzen in the meantime, he's a tanky, tanky Davion. So he should be fine right here. Gets even more tracker magic online. He's just having the time of his life right now. Yeah. Well, Trani. Still suffering due to the tiny. I would not be surprised if Mr. Jeans goes for the juggler and gets a kill. But... At the same time... And it's still a tanky tiny right there. Balatroni. The race to the bounty rune is on as Mr. G's has a loser reorp, so. Not much of a value right there. BIJ, though, he's getting chased, but oh my god, he's just so tanky. Yeah, just outside the calling and responding with a nature's grasp, Oscar and Ganek move back into the lane instead. Radiant have fortified their structures. Arzen constantly attack. being replenished by mana. So he's not gonna be having issues with that for sure. And the breathe file cooldown is just extremely big of an insult to injury right now. For both Shido and Tiger. They're just getting shoved under their own tower right now. Is this yeah, and the last hitting is pretty hard with the damage reduction as well. Yeah. It lasts eleven seconds. Sorry to cut you in your board, but it lasts yeah. eleven seconds. Uh, <laughs> You've just achieved first Nah, I'm gonna cut, cut you off with the first blood as Shido and Tiger trying to fight into this damage reduction. It's just not working for them. Last 11 seconds on top of that. Uh, but the Chakra just, Magic cooldown yeah. reduction is just... Yeah. <laughs> it's, nice combination. It's done. Done and dusted. Mr. Jeans gets a bit of a replenish right here on the oh. mid lane. I believe Lalatron is there screaming at someone, like, just someone die, please, and replenish my bottle. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, he's a still a tanky boy, and he's about to get his first level on Grow. Do you get it on level 6 if you're the mid laner? Or do you no, wait for level 8? No, that's an interesting question. Uh, no, that's, that's, that's a question that... I think it depends how good your laning stage was. His laning stage was pretty good, so you're gonna be getting the Bing Dagger earlier. So... That means you can level up the grow, as he does so. But if you're having a tough time, to Arzen. Arzen. Focus, gotcha. it's a good play coming out with Genex rotation right there. Yeah, props to Genex. Nice read of the map, finally some. You can really feel that that's on his bottle. Michael giving some mana as well. 6x6 six six runes, it's gonna be on top. 
It's looking like an illusion war, but at the same time, we're concentrating on this dream coil as Michael will fall for this as Lalatroni as well. Stuck in the ice shards and the calling. The damage amp is just ramping up, and finally, the pile of rocks will fall. At the same time, Tiger. Nice shards, but VIJ trying to connect with the grasp. Poor old Vij, just not really finding that angle. As the wisdom runes are up, people are in position. Got it. Looking like Michael and Ganek, just picking those up casually. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna re retract my statement. It's not that good of a tiny game, because you are having a tough time bursting people. Because everyone is a bit tanky, they are scaling well when it comes to EHP and strength wise. But the setup and the initiation is really favoring the tiny's uh, gameplay in this in in this specific in this specific series. I do believe free. with uh, an extra person like Michael or V, she should have an easy time. I don't believe he's going to suffer at all. So yeah, I mean, not not PT. like he's suffering. He's like having the tough times getting these solo kills. No, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah, I was meaning that he was gonna have a tough time getting the kills. I think with an extra person, it should be an easy execution, shouldn't it? That's true. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess so. Eager to know Can comes out. They catch Ganak. He's being caught. Really, really passive lane up top, but that is just as expected due to the DK. But Trani picks up the range last creep, and... I guess he wants to stay mid. Really looks like it. Pretty calm. But pretty laid back this game is. Really, really calm. Yeah. Any plans for tomorrow? Mm, university, I guess. Ah, I see. I think I've got to clean the house. Nice. Yeah. Maybe do some laundry. As the snowball goes in from Tiger, Oscar. In with the catch. Put her down to the HP and get Nick. Getting this murder up. Okay, yeah, let's just keep on talking about chores. Uh, I don't know, maybe Friday I'm meeting some community members. That is the plan. Mm, nice. Wait a minute. On Friday? On it's Friday. a TI day, isn't it? Yeah, 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 but before TI, we're going to have a oh, okay, okay. dinner a up here. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to be in front of the screen by the time TI begins. As the avalanche catches on to Mr. Jeans. Pushing the puck down to half HP, but... I'm more concerned about Tiger catching on to Lumiere, adapt to strike onto the Tusk. Genek is lurking around here as well as VIJ walks in on Oscar and the Muerta. Oh, yeah. Lalatroni is coming. He's and mad. With the snowball over the catch, Lalatroni with the avalanche. Here they come to clean up. There's a primal split. Can Oscar do anything here now with four Brulings coming to your home? Or is it? Trying to keep up the chase. Does have the dragon form. Will not pop it just yet. Mr. G. Zanganek on with the evasion. Cyclone up Arzen. Will Mr. G's make the jump? This is a tough kill. Yeah, oh, they are not nice going to go for it. Fire. Pushing them back just a bit. Onto the rotation on the mid lane. Can they catch Tiger? Nice. Blinding light. As the toss up. Along with the avalanche. But... Man, Kojda, you were right. These guys are tanky. Not even the Tusk is dying now. Yeah, I mean, the setup is still there. Tiny can initiate. Um, oh, oh, dragon. Shido. Tail onto Shido. He does not have the battle trance. And down falls the troll. Yeah, that's what I meant. Tiny is still good at uh, mobilizing the enemy. Like, uh, displacing them. 
with the toss uh, using the avalanche for initiation. It's not even like you want to use the c combination of bolts. It's like you you are having like two types of initiation. So you're not gonna be going for those. Just pause of the susness. Look at the VIJ just thinking of what did I do to deserve this in life? Mamita, mamita, jugando mi tita tita. Well, you're not playing, you're just watching, my friend. That's true. Well, yeah, what? VIJ is like, you know, like a, um, a pause in a movie. It's like, hello guys, I'm Tree and Protector. Let me tell you how I got here, you know? <laughs> Beginning of any kind of movie. That's your casual introduction. I have no idea why no ping had paused. Who cares? It's go time. But now it's Matt Kings who need a second. Admin? Alex? Is this allowed? Go. No, let's see the jump in. No, it's actually a turn back. Tiger will not go in with this DD room for interestingly enough. As Shido. They're, they're just pulling out. Yeah, but the Mad Kings are bringing more people in. Two heroes smoked up. It's Oscar and Ganak. And they are capable of dealing huge amount of damages. DD is gone. Oh. And stacks once again. Yeah, no aggressive go. movement. It stacks time, baby. Wait. Farm, farm the ancients as well, guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you just smoke oh, up. Oh, no. I wanted the ancient farm. Oh. I don't think you can kill Mr. Jeans. I highly doubt it. As ours, and we'll move in with the fresh blink dagger. But the snowball save, they come in a bit deeper. The dream coil, they will turn into fight. As Arzen disappears inside the dragon form, a nice overgrowth from VIJ, but it's not working out for them as the whirling axes will cut through the tree bark. And the illuminate, it's just not even tickling them. As Lalatroni in with the stun, but no cyclone setup. Lumiere going in for one kill. Snowball for the turnaround. Walrus punch for the second. And there's the toss and the avatars onto Tiger. Lumiere getting the double kill. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You are not going for the Avatos combos for solo kills. You are playing around waiting for the perfect situation when you can help out your teammates. Just toss the morphing onto the enemy and the kill is secured. It's even in the end. So, even it's... XP spies and gold wise is gone. It is a bit weird if you think about it. Like, how can you throw water in the air, you know? Because... It's a morphling. It has the density, which is... I don't know. <laughs> it's well, just... well, is, is, is a morphing made out of heavy water, is what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, we have strong illusions. He's... I think I lost something here. Yeah, I lost internet for a second, Korshda. I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, I'm in offline mode. Give me a second to reconnect. It's all good. Nothing is happening so far. Pretty laid back game. Bit unnatural to... to the South American inhabitants. Mamita, mamita, yugando mi totita. Okay. Bad Kings, maybe. They might want to smoke, but yeah, not yet. Oscar just bought out the recipe for the Hand of Midas. Restoring connection to that coordinator now. Oh, no. Yeah, we're good. I'm back. Okay. I was about to 
spare you that I can share my screen on Discord or something like that. But it's all nah, good. we got this. But did I miss any kills? I missed kills, right? Uh, no, no, no. I think you are still here when they punished Mad Kings for being staying over time on Radiance. A little and, bit, yeah. yeah. One or two kills here at the end of that. Hope it was caught on stream as Tiger will be picked off. And now with the mid-tier one tower cleaned out and a new dragon form incoming, Arzen is in for the hunt. Jeans? It's a bit too deep. Oh, look at the Latroni. He's cheeky. Oh, oh the he dodged coil. the dream coil, man. That's oh, got to feel bad for Mr. Jeans. As Arzen coming around for the chase. So they're looking for new targets now, VIJ. Taking out the Observer, Lalatronian's in trouble. Deadshot, eaten by the Trium Protector. As at the same time, they have an overgrowth, but they will not commit for the kill. That blink dagger on him. Almost as impactful as Arzent, if not more. As Matt Kings roll in into the 3k net worth lead. Oh, I really love, love this uh, purchase and this item decision on Shido. He knows that the Morphling, with the sole item of a Manta, is ready to fight. So, what's the solution? You outfarm him? Oh! Are you get into some fighting? Oh, Mr. Fishy. Jeans? Is he doing Mr. Jeans things again? Yeah, just your casual Mr. Jeans stuff. Oh, that was close. So yeah, back to Shido. He wants to be fight ready as soon as possible. Just to challenge the morph and be ready at team fights. And Eggs is the perfect enabler for that. Speaking of enabling and fighting, Vige. Looking at an Oscar, here comes the Trani with the jump and the toss back. On to the Brewmaster. There is no primal split for 40 seconds as Arzen is chased back with the dead shot. The whirling axes will miss. They're just throwing things, everything over the heads of the creeps. But disengage from both sides. Lumiere now with the Manta. He wants to go somewhere. Four man smoking. Five man smoking. The scan. Misses from the Dire. I don't think they know they're here as Lalatrani moves in deep onto Ganek, but the save can it last long enough as of course no. Even with the Pierce the Whale, you just die. And after the primal split, Oscar dies oh, in brueling form and on does Arzen go on to Tiger as Noping will almost even up the board, but will take a tier two tower on top of everything. I, I really love how they, they are prepared beforehand for this execution. Use the scan, okay, we know they are there. Uh, we see some other heroes on the other side of the map, so what what are we facing up against? Like two or three heroes, but most of them are supports as well, so easy kills for us. Uh, and I'm, I'm a bit surprised, I'm gonna lie, that they do not go for Roche in the end. Uh, but yeah, I mean, go for the safer decision. Which is settling back, farming a bit more, and and calculating or reassembling your lines. On the other side, though, look at Shido. Yeah, it's just too dangerous. Dragon form and done. I don't know if you want to go on this Roshan. They, I think Mackings are looking for the bait play and the wraparound. As I really thought Lumiere was going to go over back into his jungle. Shido and Tiger are just waiting for him. They really want to read a bad position, but they did see the loser. So they should know that they're here. Walrus punches up. Arzen will use the Dragon Tail as Ganek will get taken down by Lalatroni. Lumiere. 
on the back line. He's just sitting on the puck and the rest of them. As Arzen, just a perfect wall of not letting Michael come to harm. Dragon Coil, uh, yeah. The Dream Coil will be broken as Cheeto is just trying to disengage a long snowball. But Tiger will not make it out of here. It's rush time now. Another fight. And I I don't know why you... What was the reasoning behind like committing for this on, on Mad Kings? You, you, you have lost the... Uh, how should I call it? The vision warfare. You lost the vision warfare. You were like at a distant advantage by being on the low ground. And and most importantly, Primal Speed was not available. So a bit of a questioning move, questionable move coming up from Mad Kings and it reads results into Lumia picking up the pages. Easy ages for Lumiere. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. But do you, can you turn this into pressure? Are you gonna take the tier two as well, or do you just disengage? I guess you need those spell timings. Dragon form is mandatory. That Other is than up. that, may, that maybe up. yeah, that's up. So you you are ready to move. Oh, they were, maybe... I think they want to shove out the mid lane as well. You know, maybe yeah, take that push... and then the tier two on the bottom. Yep, push out the lanes. That's the first uh, duty. Then you can think about the next objectives that you you want to face up against. So Oscar is going for the usual build on Brewmasters. Running for that Radiance as fast as possible after the Midas and the Vessel. Connect with the very core-like build, but not the farm to show for it. Tiger in the meantime. This is the build I like best. Honestly, blink into Aghanim's Scepter. Give me that build any day of the week. Ganak with this core like build. I'm not really a big fan of it. Imagine if he, he would have like a Yours or a Force F or even a pipe. I'm not even joking. It's 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 a decent pipe game. Oh, I like pipe. There's VIJ. Just sitting around the puck. I don't know if this is a good idea for the tree and or the puck. Both sides disengage and Lumiere will take care of the tier two tower mid lane. I guess VIJ will take care of the tower, or will take care of Mr. Jeans as uh, Mr. Jeans just uses the ult and just cleans back on you. This is information, no tree and I think you have to smoke up if you're Mad Kings. You should definitely. Can't win a war without money. Mr. Jeans doing some Mr. Jeans stuff. Lalatroni will connect onto the puck, but oh, the tree toss a bit too early. Oh, Mr. And Mr. Jeans jumps forward instead of backwards. He constantly keeps doing this, and a lot of people do actually believe that backwards is always the safe way to go. But I just love this aggressive blinking forward and teeping out style he does with the puck. And the storm as well, for that fact. He goes into the trees, moves backward or forwards, and then he TPs out. Insane. If you were Again, millennial, just meets I'd his fate. The Scardy is ready. And he's stealing a lot of damage. Do they want to set up on bottom? I think Lumia is just a bit, a bit too tanky for this. I really don't think that's the good right idea. I'm actually looking at Lalatroni. I th thought he was going to catch Shido. As uh, Mr. Jeans is just wasting time here. Oh. oh, nice. As all the creeps just delayed. Lumia just doesn't, doesn't bother. He's like, okay. I'll just kill your creeps in, in exchange. I mean, they still have a siege wagon, so if they can defend this, oh, Miss Dream Coil, not like Mr. Jeans cares about it as long as he can survive this. 
little onslaughts, but something you should be aware of which is Lalatrioni purchased the Shadow Blade, so now he can basically solo anyone on the map except the Troll and the Primal Beast. Yeah, this Echo Saber Blink is just still the classic. As he moves on onto the Tusk, Avatar's combo onto Tiger, Snowball to buy time. He wants to roll. He's coming, and the dead shot will have him help. Puck will pause as a. Uh, I don't know. I guess Tiger should start saying his prayers. Lord Gaben himself, maybe that can help. Mm, interesting that Arzen popped the dragon form. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe he's expecting a big fight on middle, and he has his TP ready as well. But yeah, Tiger is definitely dead, so they can turn this into a push with the addition of the Dragon form. So Corrosive Breath is gonna be pretty useful uh, to use to be used on structures. Mm. They kind of do it to Amplifier form anyway, so. Yeah, that that that's true as well with the Red Dragon, doing the splash attack. It's a pretty good one. As, uh, yeah, Michael and VIJ are just happy to see the Tusk, so I don't think Tiger is surviving this for sure. Yeah, Tiger is not getting out of this alive. Let's see, Shido, almost at the BKB level, I guess that's when he's ready to fight. Uh, I'm getting from admin that the players are also getting these disconnection waves, I'm guessing... The server update, it's just messing with our heads, isn't it? Every Tuesday, right? Mm. Isn't it every Thursday? I always I forget, my man. I believe it's Tuesdays. <clears throat> oh, look at Mr. Jeans. This is the fight that we've been looking for. Jeez, Could punching. be the cleanup, but the pucky pucky. He was gonna go backwards -y this time. But yeah, they will eventually catch him with the avalanche. No escape this time for the fairy dragon. As the rotation onto the outpost, they're coming in as backup for Lumiere. But no, Shido will not stay. He does doesn't want to do anything until he gets his BKB. I will give him this. The troll is keeping up the pace, but what's he gonna be worth when? He finally has to face the Morphling. Yeah, I mean, you just cannot fight the Morphling head to head. Um, on the other hand, you can be kited around pretty easily. Oh, Tiger. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I mean, what were you expecting, Tiger Arsen? That the BKB up and already, Primal Speed is already available. Tiger almost blown off here. Shido has arrived though. Monster. Tiger destroyed. Overgrowth. Dodged. Cheeto will commit with the Battle Trance, trying to keep contact onto Lumiere. Avalanche, tossed, and held in place as the Illuminate and finally the blinding light kill from Michael. Lumiere is just so damn tanky. Moving back into agility, they will finally take the last outer tower. This is Mr. Jeans trying to make it out of here. Finally make it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Yeah, that's what I said. Like fighting the morphling head to head, the troll is never gonna win. Uh, in the mid stage of of the games, and there is still far from buying MKB. Or, or satanic BKBs. It's gonna be pretty tough, and Roshan may respawn in one minute as well. Well, I guess game number two, we won't be seeing the Morphling either. Yeah, I guess so. Somewhere, someone lays blame. That's 30 minutes in, 16 to 12. Are you coming back into this game? Finding the perfect smoke scenarios. I think that the damage is still there. 
They just have to execute it somehow. I don't think they have the enough damage for a fully strength morphling. And then, then on the other hand, you need to deal with Arzen and Lalatrani, which is a mm. big ask for sure. I, I, see, I see your uh, line, line of thought, but... Do you really have to take care of the morphing? You can just use the storm ruling and like cyclone him up. Yeah, cyclone, I'll agree to yeah, cyclone him. Yeah, I'll agree to that for sure. Then it's gonna be a bit more easier. But Roshan is back in ten seconds. So. Yeah, Roshan is favoring pretty much the radiant. I know he, he wants to do some overtime and respawn and die for us again. So and it's here. I I still like the Aghanim Roshan skin. That's a nice gesture from Dota, from Valve, to just give us that one. That's funny as hell, for sure. And on top, Tiger has been caught, so there's no escape for the Tusk here. He was cutting waves with his life in the end. Got the cheese as well. I think uh, you should give it to Lalatroni for sure. Can they catch Shido? If they catch Shido, this this game might that be. That could be a big one. But, ends, uh, yeah. The blink is just so long on cooldown. Or is it didn't have the reach. gonna be pretty significant how the troll warlord can utilize its bkb it's all up to shido lumiere on the siege the glyph will be committed he's big the big tsunami on the bottom racks and the water source is just unstoppable but they wrap around here it comes, there comes Speed Racers, Tiger will be found out right now. The Illuminate washes over them, but Lalatroni, he's a big boy with the Tiny right now on the BKB. Lumiere with a clean house. Shido commits with a Battle Trance in the BKB. Can he die? No, he can't. He gets the cheese and will survive. For now, he might die for this one as the Avatos combo. The snowball is in as Lumiere dives up. Trying to get Ganek. We'll get that one. And they might lose Lalatroni for this, but Lumiere and Arzen are cleaning up right now. Tiger is just gone. Ultra kill for Lumiere. Can he get the Rampage? Mr. Jeans is gonna be skipping those waves. He's already taking care of it. But there are two creeps, two creeps there. The two hero creeps will ensure that Arzen can keep on pushing. But guys, what are you doing? Keep the key creeps alive. <laughs> no, oh, the no. creeps died. They are dead. The back door. I think, I think they are fast enough to take these two racks. At least the racks for sure. As Arzen is just already focusing attention onto the melee, he will get that one as well. <sighs> Oh, he wants more. <laughs> what a bastard. <laughs> oh, it's a courier as well, why not? Oscar? Oh, you wanted no to primal spit. Oh, he stopped his TP out. What? Okay, interesting. As Oscar. VIJ no keeping up the chase. Uh, yeah. I don't the know. No, no TP. Has the jam. Doesn't have primal split. Got buyback though, but... It's not like it's a good news if you're gonna be dying this easily. Please, please. He's. I love how they he are has playing around with rune, him. dude. Like, he's just not gonna be out of here. Ten more seconds to kill this brewmaster before primal split. But oh my God. yeah, there's a bit of damage on this morph. Yeah, Lumiar is basically unkillable. Like at this point, the troll BKB usage was pretty promising. The cleave was was almost perfect. But in the end, it, it's all the no pink show. And that they are on to end this. They want to end this. One last Rax, that is for sure, as the Brewmaster will buy back. But can Oscar make magic happen here as Mr. Jeans dives in the mid lane? Oh, a nice, beautiful dream call, setting it up. Lumiere will die, but has Aegis. Arzen in the sky, Cyclone in the air. But at the same time, they'll just disengage from this. Oh, so many spells. They could just wait out the primal split. 
Yeah, that's the plan. As you just said. Oscar, looking around. Cycloning the morph. But yeah, with that solar crest working, cyclone again and again and again. But eventually that is over, and a new wave is on the way. In with the Illuminate, Lumiere in the sky, they try to repeat what they did with the first kill, but it doesn't happen. As Tiger will fall, the toss back onto Ganek. The Muerta is dead, and Lalatrani with the double. He wants to keep going as Lumiere is focusing on the objectives. And with the melee racks just gone. Lalatrani diving forward. Shido has the B-trance. He might just need to use it for survival. BKB as he's half HP BKB. He doesn't get to use it. He had his chance. And this should be over. As even with the dream call onto a few of them. Lumiere is just diving forward onto Oscar. Of all people, BKB, and he just puts himself into attribute shift as the GG is called and the Ancient will fall. 26 to 14, no ping. Just took the clean GG. I, I really loved how they approached the draft. They had the clear idea of how they want to, want to scale in this game, which items is necessary or mandatory to be purchased and the build from Lumia is just perfect both the uh, farming patterns and the item progression is is something you should you should educate yourself when you are watching this guy playing this morph yeah well speaking of educating yourself it does seem that there was just no synergy on the Mad King's lineup right like if we talk about team fight, there wasn't much team fight on either side. Like we had the calling, and we had overgrowth, right, on Vij and uh, Genek. But a lot of missed dream coils, a lot of missed stuns on both sides, by the way. And uh, we could say that Michael was a bit lackluster in those games, in this, in these games. Like good illuminates, but at the same time, the damage just wasn't there, right? And I'm just thinking right now that maybe No Ping will want to get more team fight in the next game. And at the same time, Mad Kings need to think of hero combos that just work for them. Because right now, it's just that as soon as No Ping got a pick off, it was a steamroll. Because this Morphling was on fire. But yeah, with that, we shall go on a tiny break. With Noping taking the lead in this series, 1-0. to zero, And we'll be back soon enough.
I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning. You wonder how I got this way. You think I'm someone to be saved, someone to clean up and tame. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Things I've had to face Got you crying on your knees in pain Oh, some things never change Never change, oh You break your back to make me feel again So forget to make me breathe again Lose your mind from endless breath Ten seconds Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mad Kings vs. New Ping Esports. I'm Dodai, and this dark boy on my right here is Koshda. And yeah, straight up Dota, you know, strat is good, farm is good, team is good. What can you do, brother? I read you like a book, brother. 
Mm. Good old Southeast Asian lines, if anyone remembers them. My favorite is still the UD vs. Subon ones. Coincidence? Coincidence? I, I think, think not. not. <laughs> I should have bought that voice line, actually. Yeah, I agree. But, yeah, as soon as we are TI Talent Tour, we're going to make some sick-ass voice lines as well, oh, I believe. Start. Well, those are going to be stupid as hell. What did you have for breakfast today? <laughs> it's definitely one of mine. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be one of yours, and the answer is going to be mine. Like, like it's always the same. <laughs> Your group. My name is Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. That is actually a good one from a Dr. Zeus. Oh. Children's oh. Rhyme, if you know that one. I have no idea what you're talking about. But really? This you don't even know the Dr. Zeus books, my friend? Ten seconds remain. Classic children tales in the, Uncultured. In, in the Uncultured 80s Americas. Very, very good books, by the way. Uh, maybe some people in some countries should read them. But, yeah. Um, no Bristol. Oh, first Spirit, oh, Primal Beast, No Bristol, No Spirit Breaker. I do believe the CK is also going to get the hate treatment from the no ping side. We do have a side change on these two teams, which I'm always interested by. If I'm playing the same series and I just won, I sometimes do prefer going for the same side. But sometimes I'm in the mood of not even caring for the sides and all about focusing on the first pick, second pick thing. Mm -hmm. What are some good openings here? I do believe Dyer's turn banning to out turn. something like a Necro and then just going for the CK is always an option for your first pick. Mm. Well, they ban the Invoker. Maybe they can open with the Shadow Demon or the Dazzle. I'd still go CK. Oh, you're Fur Fury on CK. Yeah, I owe the move, of course, and you're so stupid. Mama Death, ew. Mama Death instead of Chaos Knight. Hi, I'm Muerta. I shoot little death peanuts. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> instead of <laughs> Chaos. Just yeah, go Brewmaster, I guess. Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight, Brewmaster. Five uh, seconds remain. Maybe Earth. Oh, it's banned. It's banned. Look. Dark Horse of Dota, man. That's all I want. Sounds Light reasonable. Mommy instead of Chaos Knight? What is going on? Lackeys could go absolutely for the global combo. We just saw Lava Esports have a beautiful early game with, by the way. I will still agree. They have beautiful laning stage and beautiful uh, early to mid game. It's just then that they start falling apart for some reason. But they even made it to the high ground and cleared that as well. Oh. <laughs> that was such an intense match. Like on games. It's just this close to losing it and then you know, Luna suddenly online and you're just done. Second phase bans, I think Grimstroke is is like mandatory. Uh, Phoenix, Phoenix as well. Um Maybe CK. CK. These these are the heroes I'm I'm thinking of. If if I look at Matt Kings and no ping. I'm reading a lot of um, Mr. Gene's focus and the drafting technique Ten of no ping right yeah. now. I agree with you. So if it's basically Tiger... four four of his heroes. Yeah, if Arzen wants to keep that rule, he could go for the puck. He goes for the willow. Interesting enough. Yeah, it's it's one of the most banned. Uh, it's one Heroes of the most right banned now. Yeah. Heroes right now. Yeah. He has a very high. She has a very high ban rate, obviously. Ten seconds. Because it's because it, it has been picked. Like it's one of the most picked heroes in the second draft stage. It's not the most banned, but the most picked for sure. So banning it out is. 
is only making sense. Uh, Matt Kings, what do you want to go for? I think it's either you ban out the Grimstroke or you pick up the Grimstroke, in my eyes. Matt, Monkey King instead. Okay. Are you prepping for the CK or are you picking up a support? I think Grimstroke Venge. Phoenix stocks. Grimstroke Venge, Phoenix stocks. Give Tiger his, his Tusk. Obviously, it's one of his favorite heroes. We do did see him a bit with the clockwork, but they go in with the Chaos Knight prep, and of course the Grimstroke. I believe this would be for our friend Ganek. Yeah, he's the one who usually plays it. Mm, on the other side, I think it's. I think it's AA. Chaos Knight. AA. Chaos Knight. CK. Or Phoenix. A C K or Phoenix. And you can pick up something like Dyer's one of one of Michael's Arsenal. Yeah, it's AA. Um You wow, only you? saw four matches in this patch. What the hell? God damn it, <laughs> analysts. I hate you guys. <laughs> It's it's just statistics and and cal and calculating with them and I really love math. So. Give me CK. Five. Oh, you rem you remember? Um, but I, I would pick it for Matt Kings if if I would be Tiger. You remember uh, Unreal Tournament boy? I I I did not play that game to be honest uh, you, but you don't even remember the video the german little kid you know just smashing the keyboard i want to play unreal tournament <laughs> i think i might have seen that i uh, had the same reaction i want to see I chaos knight but no definitely either of these sides it's not good anymore i believe because on one side you're countered by the ancient apparition and the kunkka on the other side you're countered by the, the grim stroke and the dawn it's just not a good ck game anymore Phoenix is still fine. Absolutely. Phoenix 5. Liege on the, on the, on the Phoenix. But... Phoenix, Warlock... I would, would love to see Tusk. Warlock. I would love okay, to see Tusk. Warlock on no ping. But then you're thinking Mamacita Muerta as the carry. And no, yesterday, don't break free, definitely. And we and we yesterday saw that Five Muerta seconds. doesn't like playing against the Dawn, so I would not advise it personally. Two levels on that celestial stupid hammer, and you're just halfway HP'd at level three. I think this is a uh, either spectra either spectra game, or I don't really like the Sven. Sven is not, not, not that good here. Business Void can work. Business Void can work. But if there is a hero I want to go for, it's it's it's, it's definitely gonna be the Spectre. I like Spectre Dawn. The Spectre Dawn is a thing. I must choose. Yeah. Perfection. Mm. Perfection. But now I wanna counter. I don't want to counter with the Luna because of the Grim. I do want to counter with the TB. I like the TB. Not gonna lie, I like the TB. TB Sven. forces Sven out Dawn and Grimstroke. Sven. I'm still worried of the illusion if I'm Sven, but I can control the illusion with the Kunkka and the boys. Okay, yeah. Sven TB. These two are looking good. Sven TB, or if you really want to go crazy, you can leave the Muerta as the carry. Nice. And, okay, mm. nice talk. It, it, it's such a good hero. It's such mm. a good hero shutting down Spectre. Or Sits the on stages. the Spectre, absolutely destroys her game. Yep. Even if the first five minutes are suffering, you're just chain feeding. After five minutes, you join in with your pause four, which is a Muerta this game. And you absolutely destroy the enemy. Five seconds. Radiant's turn to ban. That's all. Hmm. That's all. That's all. That's all. 
Matt Kings. Tassel, tassel, tassel. Ten seconds remain. Are you thinking of what? <laughs> what is Mr. G's thinking? What is Mr. G's Five thinking? I got rid of the puck as well. Or the storm. The storm is gone. Okay. No invoker storm. Tassel. Necro is something I would ban if I want to play Sven. Necro or puck mm. on noping side or macking side. I would get rid of the Sven and. Uh, and the TB, yeah, those two actually. Templar, they're scared of the fast tempo, interesting. Although I don't I like think... Templar into Dawn anyway, but... I think they're gonna be banning out PA. I think they're thinking that PA is the sufficient hero here. To deal with the Spectra. Or the Luna, it, it the Luna's is banned. It's more Morphing, yeah. Fling. Okay, yeah, Mo Luna, Lumiere specialty. Like Luna. Lumiere really like specialty. I don't like the Luna into the Grim. I'm Hustler. scared of the Grim Stroke Egg and I'm Scepter Luna. That is insane. If it's Huskar, then. Ember? No. Come on. No, no, no. Ember mid. Kunkka offlane, Night Stalker carry. Let's go! <laughs> so strong! I got a, I got a, I got <clears throat> Sven. And I got. Sven TB. Those are the two I'm seconds. reading, but. <clears throat> Sven TB faces void. I would be surprised if it's anything other than this. Mm, this is if you really want to go crazy, Ursa. Oh yeah, that's the crazy stuff. Oh, I love it. I really love it. I don't like this. I'm going for an opening. I don't care about the last pick. I don't like this. Bring out any Mr. Jeans hero. I don't like the Steeler. Just one taxi, the Night Stalker. What else? Nothing. Ten seconds remain. I mean, maybe Kunkka. But There's only one saving grace. They have to pull out the Mr. The one G only... Centaur Warner. <laughs> no, I think it's Ember Spirit. They have to pull oh. out the Ember Spirit for Mr. G. Even with the Remnant nerf, you know, activating yeah, the Remnant I know is now. The hero is horrible. The hero is just so bad. So you either pull out the Mr. G's Ember Spirit or the Zeus itself. Slider. What the hell? Slardar? What's happening? Mr. Jin's playing Dawnbreaker. And Slaughter are free. Okay, okay. I'm, 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 I'm gonna take back my statement of all in, all in on to noping. I have to think about this a bit more. Nani? Nani is going on, my friend. Oscar is such a good Slaughter guy. I do agree with them. But there is... They don't really have those heavy right clickers. Spectre is getting his damage uh, but from Stardust the. Stardust is such, such a trash hero, man. Yeah, I mean it lands good against any melee heroes, but the fact that there are no PAs, Strauss, uh, Swans, you know these heavy right clicking heroes, but you get a Spectre. Spectre, Spectre is basically uh, his repertoire are consisting of dispersion. And but one of the heroes the, uh, flies. The one yeah. of the heroes brings in a ghost ship, and the third one yeah. rage TPs. I don't know. Mm, I I I have to go. I have to go. No ping. Even though I like really like the slaughter pick, there are no follow up to the minus armor, the corrosive hazes. It's not gonna be that efficient here. Well, I'm my going friend, no for the fourth time today, let's cast our cursor team and no mm. ping esports. Will they pull it off? Or can Mad Kings on the debut series even up this series and force out the game number three? That's gonna be a good one. But yeah, good interesting timings all across the board on both sides. Because Shido wants to force this 35-48 minute game. And by that time, I guess the rest of his team should be farmed. Well, on the other side, obviously, you want to hit Lifestealer getting... Actually, there's a myriad of options. You go for the armlet first, then you can go Radiance, Maelstrom. There's just so many good choices. Yeah, that's something I wanted to ask you, because 
you don't really want to go that late against against the Spectre. So I'm wondering whether you pick up the Radiance or not. In my opinion, no Radiance. It's Armlet, Echo Silver, Silver Edge, and uh, maybe Dezo as well, pure right click, nothing else. No farming, just straight up killing people left and right. Sounds good but to we are, me. We are going to be seeing this pretty much in like 15 minutes, so. There's potential murder. Not going to happen. Both smokes are breaking apart. I already thought He's a lot going of Tron is going to go deep. He's going to go for the Midas on Lumia, though. Yeah, I mean, it's still okay. You can still He's go He's Mr. The... Efficiency. I, I can't argue with this guy, so... This Morphling is just top-notch. I'm yet to see him do a big mess-up or a big doo-doo play. I really love the Lifestealer. I'm a huge fan. We we'll love to see this here more often. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. Those who bear witness will not soon forget that which transpires. It's going to be 2-2 two, two on the runes. Basic piece will be written in the first few minutes. Mamita, mamita, jugando mi dotita. But yeah, two global heroes on for the join up on the Mad King side. But until then, we need to, uh, how should I say, bear witness to a nice little laning stage. As of course, uh, also the mid matchup is quite unorthodox. You know, these two melee heroes bashing each other, one with a little swashbuckler sword and the other with a big ass hammer. It's just uh, your typical anime One Piece showdown, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which one would you favor, though? I'd always go for a big hammer, honestly. Yeah, I, I do as well. But just because of the Ramona Flowers cosplay, right? <laughs> oh, that anime is coming soon. I can't wait, man. And they're bringing back the original actors for the, for the movie as well. Which is kind of weird, because, like, Michael Sarah's pushing 40, but... I mean, on the other hand, it's not bad. What was the name of it once again? Scott Pilgrim. It's got Pilgrim versus... I don't know what, though. Hmm. But, yeah, one of my favorite comic series of all time. Shido. He thinks some of that death shot. But... They're, they're surviving the Night Stalker for now. Obviously, it's not nighttime yet, because that is when the slaying becomes dangerous. But the first five minutes should rather be more chill for the Spectre. As Oscar not really being able to approach the lane, even gets cold feet in the middle of his own little puddle after the Slytherin crush. No puns intended. Absolutely, we are all about them puns as Lalatroni forced to pull the lane out of under Mr. Jeans, but misses Hammer Mommy just throwing in the Celestial Hammer. Well, Tronny constantly forced back now with the Starbreaker. This is Mr. Jeans is just on fire right now, but Michael gets the first blood on the Grimstroke on the bottom. It was the, at the edge on both lanes of who's going to die first. But yeah, after the jump, Michael just survives. And Shido on the brink of death. He can't even approach the lane. He's just got to watch them do the last hits instead. <laughs> Yeah, no ping on every lane. Seems to be superior. Except for mid lane, as Mr. G's is just smacking Lalatroni in the face with a hammer all the time. <laughs> but this time it's gonna be Ganek taking out VIJ. I'm absolutely focused on the mid lane, though. You gotta help me, man. You gotta help me. As we have the time, on to Lumiere. Back on bottom. Radiant structures are fortified. That'll be a chill phase. This one still belongs to me. One one. 
But can they force it on the max scoreboard as well? Mac Kings. Shido. Eating some of the void. That shot on the miss. It sounds so weird. It's eating some of the void. <laughs> yeah, like, well, how do you eat nothing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if Night Stalker shoves it in your face, he's like shoving it down your throat. <laughs> As we have Walk of Shame going in from Ganek, he does have the opportunity to TP out soon, though. It's the jeans. Can we fill some bottles on mid? Lalatroni don't mid. The dive, X Mark, Ice Shards, they catch Lalatroni and the tag team. It secures the murder. As of course Arzen is gonna take the kill onto Tiger. Can they do the double? Shido, 20 seconds to live, but before the night falls, you shall die, my friend. As Arzen gets the double kill. Yes, bounty. The captain of Noping showing up. Looking good if you're a Mad Kings. Uh, I mean, if you're Noping, but this is still far from over. Very, very early game. Not much of a lead on either side. Yeah. Your Admiral is on board. A bit yeah. of an advantageous laning stage on, on the Dior bot. Nothing special. And oh, mid of it behind Oscar with the dive, the ink swell. It will fall, it will burn, and yeah, cold feet. You do sacrifice yourself, but Michael in with the rotation. They want to go on to Ganek. Now the Solar Guardian arrives. Here's Mr. Jeans taking out Vige. But then he does not move on to Michael. I guess Michael could just run into the tower and die. That would be nice. As the whole lane is pulled away. Actually, a majority of the lane is pulled away. He has boots. He has boots. Where's Michael going? Going home. Dragging the creeper. He's bringing <laughs> it to Lalatroni? Please tell me he's bringing it to Lalatroni. Oh, no! He ignores it. No. They're walking back now. Oh, as X Mark pull in Lalatrani going for the arcane rune, he gets it. Snowball backwards onto the range creep as Mr. Jeans arrives. Vige in the top lane PTSD is backing off. Vige getting the double bounties. Gonna in with the chase. Another snowball. Good for the catch. The apparition. Gonna get caught out. One with a pull down. Mr. G's trying to get Michael. Will get the kill. But the ink swell. It doesn't pop off on anyone. Can they turn with Shido hand in hand? But this is the Night Stalker. This is his time to shine as the X Mark. In with a pull boat. The Celestial Hammer. It's not perfect for Mr. Jeans. But can he make it? Vige with a chilling touch. Deep. In with the chase until the fountain they would chase him. And the hammer mommy falls. 7 to 5. And a solid 2k net worth lead. As the wisdom runes spawn. Oh my god, the net worth. The advantage. Mad Kings really need to start stepping up. Three man, four man rotations. You need to protect Shido as the calling comes out. Michael whiffing the dead shot, but this is the night. Arzen with the dark ascension. And he's a bit too deep though, so finally they just gang up on him. And four of them managed to murder the Night Stalker. Because we're moving on to Nikol and uh, Lalatroni. Yeah, uh, I mean. The yeah. three of the cores are leading the network chart here. No ping is still doing just fine. It's night time, so can Night Stalker still use some of it? Uh, not really. It's gonna be expiring. Yeah, it's, it, it just expired. A smoke up though, Michael. Uh, they really want to shut down this Slardar who is also going for the Midas. There he goes. Wait, what? How did Oscar die? Uh, they smoked up and ganked him. Dang. Beat Michael and 
I like 20. I think the same thing is about to happen to Arzen, maybe without the smoke, as he sees Tiger, moves on to the Grimstroke, the vision behind his side. He should be fine, but the good little spectral dagger. Shido is just riding the shadow as... Oh. Nah, maybe the Starbreaker doesn't hit, but Shido hits hard. Almost. But this is just free gold for the Spectre. Free gold for the Spectre as Vij makes it out, picks up the bounty. I guess he's setting up for stackies? That's way too early for that, so he just keeps on moving. Oh, uh, this is an item I haven't seen in a while. Pavice. Pavis. Pavis? Pavis? Hmm. Pavis. I think it's Pavis. Pavisha? Pavisha? I think we, have the, we had this discussion for like two months ago. <laughs> and we both agreed that it's Pavis. It should be an O. And then it's a P O V I I S I E. Povis? What? Yeah. Point of view in super no, entertainment. I knew something like this is coming, gonna come out. Oh, At the same oh, time, the there is a big thing, calling come out onto the tusk, sending him back into the cold feet, stunned up, X mark, snowballing out of there. But can the walrus make it? Yes, he can. That shot's all around. As it is, dual supports along with the mids in the mid lane. Uh, this is the new meta now. Try lane on the mid lane, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 11 minutes into the game. Lola Tony, casually farming the enemy's part of the jungle. Like it's an everyday job, the daily routine of his. Blue me air. Onto the arm he goes now that the Midas is finished. In the meantime, Shido. With one death on the board, he's moving onto the blade mill fast as he can. His tower is gone. But the two supports are on the way. On to Arzen they go. In with the shadow step. They want to keep contact, but the ice blast. It's on the way. It does not deter the Spectre. Oh, as one alive. more right click is needed. So that Arzen will die. But the ghost ship. The silence. It's a pullback along with the Solar Guardian. But can they get the Spectre? The answer is yes. As Lalatrani is willing to die for this. At least he got the carry. But Michael and Vij. They can't really turn back. All in all. This is still favoring the Dyer. No, never mind. It was a 1k swing. My bad. <laughs> Did you hear the death reaction of Kunka to the Grimstroke kill? He was like gargling or something yeah, like that? Yeah, he was gargling to yeah, it's one of, one Grimstroke. Of oh, it's standard? It's not specific yeah, it's to the Grimstroke? It's, oh. it's not like hero specific. I was just imagining that like <laughs> Grimstroke is just shoving paint down Kunka's throat. <laughs> Jesus. It's some kind of torture device, you know? <laughs> oh my god. Ice Blast? Ice Blast went somewhere. You're a trusty mate. Oh, did catch Kinect? Is he? He's dead. He always should be. Oh my god. <laughs> Shatter. Yeah, I guess he listened to way too much Lindsay Sterling. He asked for Shatter Me. Vige delivered. is under attack. Lumi Air is rich, and I am really a bit. Oh, he's going for the radiance. Never mind. Run from this place. Maya, what were I you mean, thinking? Uh, Mantle armlet into stealer? echo, armlet into echo, and des desolator. Just oh, to be the greedy bit, yeah. the greedy build. I love it. That would have been great. Pretty laid back game, 20 kills in 13 minutes. Arzan and Vish basically smoked up. Looking Hi, to use the Dark Ascension. Hi, Lumiere. 
That's actually, I'm looking at Matt Kings lurking around the life stealer. Maybe they want to steal his life as my Mr. Jeans in with the ink swell, smashing the troll. Taking out the life stealer from him. At the end, they give up the initiation as the rotation comes out from noping. But well, here's the smoke up run. as well. No infest, so no nakes bomb. But I don't even think Lumiere really wants to join. He's like, let me farm. F yep. off. Oh, Mr. Jeans, if they can avoid him getting the room. Really yeah. good scan, but the X Mark catches the Dawnbreaker as the Ice Blast and everything along with the ship arise in the dark. The Ascension is real. This Night nice Stalker wants more. He's hungry for blood. Tiger is just using the portal to get out. The dire. 30 more seconds until the renal night falls, but Ganex steals the life rune, or the wisdom rune, as Lumiere gonna get caught on this time. The reaction is not coming as the shadow step comes out from Shido. And the specter, he's just, until you're not farming, I'll be farming you. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. He switched his builds. And Michael is dying. First, we have to keep an eye out for that. Dead shot backwards. The silence is real on the start. Our pierce the veil. He's just trying to survive. The stun is there, but there isn't much damage as Lalatrani arrives. Torrent is up. No ghost ship for 23 seconds. As here comes the solar guardian, Mr. Jeans himself, smashes down the Kunkka as Arzen. Racing it around with a crippling fear, but the hunter. This is just not as a big hunter in the, without the Dark Ascension, but moves on to the Tusk with the help of Michael and Vige. And there is the kill. With the cold feet and the slow down as Lumiere comes back to take care of the Grimstroke. It feels so good when you are like contemplating between certain decisions, which one would be the more... Uh, which, which one would be more suitable for you? And actually, Lumiere is basically listening to me and go, goes back for the Desolator build. I think this is the good. I think this is the good, good choice in the end. I, I just don't really see how Radiance does anything in this game. You should be able to burst people down from 100% to zero in like four or five right clicks. But yeah, this guy's farming pattern is something I would definitely be watching if I'm sitting in my hotel room at TI. Something I'd be thinking of for sure, wink wink. They want Arzen though. Oh, He's just gonna catch. walk up. I don't know if Mr. Jeans is having the right idea of here, Vij. The catch out, that, that is a way better target and they will take it. Lumiere going through the portal. Willing to farm an enemy territory as Lalatron is joining him down here. Trying to bait out some possible vision or just trying to check. But you're not a Slark when you're the life stealer, so. Not much of value. And as of course we have to add to the fact that the Mithril Hammer doesn't give much information to the Mad King, so they don't. They might be thinking Maelstrom, they might be thinking BKB, and they might be thinking Dezo. And now, as it's about to get revealed, I really want to see an Infest Bomb come out somewhere on someone. Because then if they are in the personal advantage, of course, uh, they can start shoving objectives. Maybe on the bottom, maybe on the mid lane. As Arzen jumps in, catches onto the Tusk, the Soulbind is on. The little Night Stalker and Lalatrani joins in to break it. But yeah, Arzen might die, but everyone else will as well who joins this fight. The Ice Blast. It's actually perfect here. And maybe they lost two, but can they get more? Lumiere is in trouble now. Copy fest. The Infest Bomb didn't go off. He had it, but was just stunned up by Oscar over and over again. And team Matt wipe. Kings turned this into a team wipe. It was all about the Grimstroke, silencing people left and right. This Phantom's Embrace really 
prove to be the difference maker here, just leaving on it on level 3, so the att attacks to destroy is basically 9. I mean, for heroes it's it's free, but yeah. In the end, no ping. Pay the price for ganking too, too, too deep into the enemy's jungle and behind the tier 2. Got it. Arizant in the meantime. Heading for that BKB. Might just get surrounded though. Oscar. There's a search party. Oh, the stun misses. But without a slithering crush, it doesn't really matter. The Shadow Step is there. And they just need to join up on this Night Stalker. They are so quick about this. Power and of the they can rush. Move. That's the one advantage that Slardar provides for your team that you can easily rush. Basically, with any lineup that Slardar is having as his teammates. Oh, this corrosive haze. I hate the spell of the burning passion. But there it is. Aegis of Immortal on the hammer, mommy. On the dome breaker. Ice Blast. Just a bit of a tickle. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Oscar in the meantime. They'll be cleaning out the Tormentor as well. With Gannett getting the longer ice shards. You do at the same time. Turning his attention to a Diffusal Blade, of all things. Balatrani, after the Blade Mail, going for that Agnum Scepter is something I'd like to see. Causing chaos in fights where, of course, Mackings need to coordinate. It's a pretty good plan, I'm in my opinion. As Michael's just getting bursted down by the Tormentor. Ooh, living on the edge, Ooh. I see. Playing with his life there. What life? <laughs> oh, yeah, Lumiere. This Desolator didn't work out so far. So I guess it's time for BKB, right? I mean, it gives you damage, it gives you HP. What is there not to like on the Life Stealer? BKB, or does it still feel bad like in the old days, right? Because you no, have no, a built-in rage. I, I, I agree with you. I am um, one of your, the BKB fans as well. Ganak might be in trouble. Shadow step. Oh just casual shadow step. It's fine. Low cooldown. But Ganak still on the run. But Oscar is he on the hunt now? They're gonna go for the raw. A little, little play on with a soul bind, the infest. Triple it goes stun out, Oscar. Oscar jumping with a beautiful play from the Stardar. But out come from the infest comes Lumiere, and with the Pierce the Veil, Michael is looking to turn. The snowball. And then the blink back, Lumiere will turn back onto Hammer Mom. But Mr. Genius does have the Aegis yet, as the X Mark pulls back Ganek into death. Having Aegis Ooh. and losing two of your buddies. And they want more. Shido might be in trouble. Oh no. It's They're not him gonna make the a big poo poo. There's the yes, ice blast. It's a good catch good after hunt. the ink swell. No Bit of a break, but yeah. Your Admiral is on board. The Void doesn't stun when it's not the night, despite the Dark Ascension. As the turnaround for the Shadow Step, Shido's greedy as hell. We'll take it with the Ink Swell, turning on to Lalatroni as much as possible. Mr. Jeans is here now. This is certain death, as the Kunkka will go down. Yeah, I'm in Lumiar TPing out in, in the eyesight of, of, of Mad Kings. It was really a bad idea. And he's gonna go for the Inly Fire. Almost got it. I think the time is still ticking for noping, don't they? 
isn't it? No, I feel like, I feel like. So like, basically, yeah, as my English is deteriorating. It's it is fine. all about getting to that late game for the Mad King side, but the reason why noping us is going so damn deep, they gotta push the agenda. They cannot let this Spectre get into the late game. Although losing their mid one tower is just not gonna help them. I mean, their late game uh, when it comes to addressing the Spectre is not that horrendous. Brought of Atos from a Michael, but not a good calling. But the deck shot's not bad. As a Ganek. And with a join in, Shido. Uh, pushing the Manta as well. They want this tower bad. But will they get it for free? As of now, it looks like yes. Is the ink swell? Ganek. Searching, not finding, but Oscar jumping onto Lalatroni. Down goes the Kunkka. Ice Blast, yeah, it's good, along with the Ghost Ship, but it's not helping much. As Tiger with the Soulbind onto Arzen, the jump in is just not working. Dying with the BKB on all of everything. Double kill for Mr. Jeans. Once again, I feel like you just cannot include the Lifestealer in these scenarios, and he's gonna be caught as well. Oh, Lumiere. Illuminate me as there goes the Spectre, the Aegis. It expires, but Mad King still want to be aggressive. Eventually, they'll back off. As uh, Rod of Atos onto the Tusk. A tiny consolation prize for noping. He has blinged though. Nope. Never mind. Nope. Umir's like, I've got the faster clicker. It's night time. Arzan is hungry for blood. But Mad Kings, they are aware of this. Oh, Tiger! There's the Ice Blast. Cheeto cleaning off as much as he can. He should be able to happily survive this. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. I feel like Lumia is lacking some attack speed. That's why I told you that Echo Saber is like inevitable. It's just so good. Something you should include in your item progression. He wants to go for Silver Edge instead, but he might just get caught out here. Oscar with the quad jump. Oh, <laughs> oh no. As they steal the life of the life stealer. Surf his dish is cold. Four kills, four deaths, four assists. As they want to go and save Mr. Jeans. It's going to be a fatal attempt as Oscar jumping in. Sitting onto Lalatroni as much Wait, as they can by the tidal wave. It's a good pullback. So Soulbind is just holding Arzen in place as the Night Sucker dying again with the BKB. Cheeto wants to keep on going and Oscar. With a very low HP, but he doesn't need the help. Shido is just gonna take care of business. Down goes Lalatroni as the two supports control the last kill on the board for him. And will they? Yes, they will even find the Muerta for the team wipe. Perfectly executed. I don't know how the damage mitigation is spread between those four heroes. Well, it's 10k and 10k plus Lumiere's death, which is basically 12, so... I'm guessing 12k damage is more than 10, and it's really working out for Mad Kings as of now. I just don't see Arzen's initiations working out right now for two times in a row. His BKB, his BKB deaths are the most painful parts of Nilping's lineup. I don't know, I just feel like this lifestyle is non-existent. He cannot right-click people. He's easily getting caught off guard. He might have the armor, but it's just not enough. He just dies within like a single simple second. And the other side, another shadow step onto the Lumiere. And with a join in from the Social Hammer Lady. I just can't call Dawnbreaker Dawnbreaker when I see it's nighttime and the sun doesn't come up. 
You know what I'm saying? At least Phoenix makes it daytime. Come on. That's true. I think it's it's time. You're gonna smoke up. Finally using the infest bomb. You should catch, catch them off guard. As Arzen moves in, there is a nice little surprise in him as Lumiere wants to keep on jumping, but yes, they finally catch the tusk. Now it's time to escape or keep on fighting. Lumiere is in trouble as the, oh, the hit is hard. Coming out from Shido as he keeps on chasing the Pierce the Veiled Muerta. He wants to kill as well as trying to tries to wash him off with the tidal wave. That happens, but the Dawnbreaker keeps on going as Oscar takes care of the apparition. In the meantime, Shido will throw the longest spectral dagger in the history of Dota. I think this is it. I'm not even gonna lie. I I, I see no way Nopin getting back into this. Arcastic it's late game, it's favoring the Spectra, their pickoff is better, their team fight is better, their rush taking is better, objective damage is better. I, yeah. I, it's no way no ping getting back into this. It's just what happened to Lava in the last in the last two games in the previous series. We are seeing no ping running out of juice in front of our very eyes. It's just uh not looking great. Except for Arzen's Night Sucker. Like, look at this portrait mode. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm asking Admin to comment on the pause. Honestly, the Stardar is pretty sexy. Like, Oscar has been putting a smile on my face all around. Because... I didn't think Stardar would have such a good game. Yeah, and he's having the proper build as well. My dust to substitute for farming. Nice an early... Stains. A bling dagger with the addition of the Echo Saber. As he jumps onto Arison, oh, no. and he just shows exactly why he gets that Echo as yep. well. Anything he jumps, Mr. Jeans and Shido can instantly join in. And the, I, 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 somehow I think, you know, the casual answer would be some Lotus Orbs or Yules. I think it's just too late even for that. This game is stopping this guy. This game is done and dusty. I don't want to be rude, uh, like disrespecting, noping or their fans, but. Tiger's like, wait for me! Don't kill him without me! I need the XP! No dice. They're just out. As Ganek is already becoming the search party. If he finds targets, Mr. Jeans and Shido can just join. He's not even waiting for Ganek. And with a hold, and with a punch, Michael's just gone. What's the best case scenario? I'm hitting five five man ghost ship with the addition of the ice blast. But the damage is like still non existent. Like Life Zero cannot hit people, having like zero attack speed. Okay, I'm not gonna be that rude. It's actually uh three hundred and twenty two, okay. Uh <laughs> funny number. Nice. What are we looking at? Oh, yeah, <laughs> the life stealer. <laughs> life stealer attack speed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Spectres is 321. There's a chance. <laughs> oh, the right click damage is too much, man. I don't think the Silver Edge is the solution. Me neither. I think AC would be more sufficient. It's, it's I'm still missing the Echo Saber. BKB yeah. is much needed. I, I just don't And Arzen it. just really needs the Aghanim Scepter, so he's not going to be the one building it for sure. Yeah. This was a good Life Stealer game until the 20th minute mark. Ever since that, Life Stealer is like not a hero in this game. Yeah. 
are having a lot of pauses. Mm. Guess it's time for us to, you know, just sip our cup of tea, talk about the daily politics and the weather. Did you hear the news about the news on that news of the, that person doing that person doing yep. that to that person? I still cannot believe it's that he has done it. It's absolutely atrocious. Was it a he? Or it was a she? I what? cannot know anymore in this confused world. Can't really tell anyone. Go, says Ganak. Go, says Arsenal. Oh yeah, turning off the daily news. I really want to see I one more kill on no pink side for the perfect score. Dyer's bottom tower is under <laughs> I need that scoreboard. It's not gonna happen. Everyone's been spamming it in chat. I don't know how you come back into this if you're no ping. Separate the team fight, go for quick pickoffs, win a Roche fight or something like that. But look at Shido, Oscar, they are poorly bullying this poor cart. Yeah. He's on with a the catch, they go. Lumiere, gonna rage, escape, attempted, but Mr. Jeans with the contact. The Starbreaker is not going to be stopped, as Michael is dead as well. Tidal Wave backwards, trying to throw everything at them, along with the Chalkboard, but it's just not doing much, as the Soulbind joins up onto the two cores. They're trying to just shake them off as much as possible, but only the Apparition. That is dead as well. Four on the side of Noping will disappear in this siege as the defense will not turn out good for them and the tier 2 will still fall as the three cores of Mad Kings make it all the way to the high ground Lalatrani casual tidal wave they are big, they are tanky, they have a lot of HP they are dealing a lot of damage there is no way you can man up with a life stealer and the night stalker Look at Shido, going for these solo actions. Yeah, just Shadow Step, forcing Lalatrani to back off. X mark, Lalatrani, pull in, Ice Blast. It catches him, I guess. Well, there is a follow up, like, two heroes are still dead, you are throwing your spells out of the window. All of this. <laughs> Is what Mad Kings are saying. They're just controlling everything Nopings do. All actions are, I don't know, dictated by Mad Kings on the map right now. We're in the late game now. And maybe it just might be the end game as Vij found out, destroyed, and Arzen should be next. BKB, what's it doing for you, Arzen? It's just not helping out. As even with the Infest Bomb. A disappearing act on the Night Stalker Lalatrani, throwing down the ship, trying to get some control with the Torrent Storm, but it's just not happening there. Everyone's just ignoring the Torrent Mentor as they move on to the Life Stealer and lock him in. You can't even go back into your own base, and we'll take everything from you. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I don't know. I yeah, uh, just. I just don't see it happening. I'm so sorry, but Mad Kings is more than likely gonna be equalizing here. It's even. All come down. All comes down to the last game. Yeah, they call it like you gotta be respecting the other team. Game number three, ladies and gentlemen. There they go. I love this call. It's As just mad respect. Thirty-one to twenty-two, Shido. At least. Kills, kills a vision one more time just to secure it. But it's 41 to 22 with a 26k net worth lead. Matt Kings will even up the series. Oh, coordinator down. Told you it's Tuesday. 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 But uh, yeah. But no game coordinator. I guess we'll talk with admin.
But until then, we're going to go on to a longer pause. As, of course, we don't have a scoreboard to talk about. Yep. Straight up into the pause as Mad King's even up the series. And we'll be back as soon as the coordinator returns.
a reckoning. You wonder how I got this way. You think I'm someone to be safe, someone to clean up and tame. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to face. Got you crying on your knees in pain. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh, you break your back to make me feel it. Stop asking for forgiveness, cause you should know only fools tread with the angels. Fear to go, but you keep trying to get too close. Save myself by turning into stone. So save your judgment, cause you just don't know. But some things never change, never change. Oh, they say I should feel guilty and change my ways, leave them for bodies. Where I didn't mean to make them break Where I didn't mean to make them break But they're so delicate and so mundane And they keep coming like a moth to a flame Oh, some things never change, never change does love feel like
seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number three of Mash Kings vs. Noping Esports. First BO3 going to a game three this season. My friend, we always get these good ones, don't we? Yeah, just the usual. These long games, long into the night. For some people, it's more like afternoon or early evening, but yeah. But it's what a late. game we are going to be having. It's late. Get this over with. Come on. Nah. Just joking. We're always here for some good South American Dota. As, of course, Matt King's pulling off the late game strat. You can't. You just can't count out the Spectre, can you? And, uh, I. I didn't think the mid Dawnbreaker mommy would help or could work, but Mr. Jeans. First it's mid Centaur in season four, now it's uh, mid lane Dawnbreaker. What? I mean, let's be honest. He, he was putting up quite a show, but, but the bonkers. Centaur, back in our days, the Centaur is like, was like a bit more unorthodox. I, I think that's when I fell love, in love with the way he plays, and then. I think his true moment to shine. It is I believe he was still on, the, on Infamous when he did the triple kill, when it was only the two of them. I don't know who was with him though. Might have been Ganek, actually. But yeah, when they made the triple kill onto the enemy. I with the Ember Spear. That was just bonkers with the Ember. I don't even know who they, who, who Infamous were playing that day, but. It's, it's just, you know, the problem with these risky plays is you gotta be consistent. And I, I don't know if Mr. Jeans is, is at the level where he's always that, you know, stompy and consistent, right? Like, all of our classical mid laners, Miracle, mid one, who, who else would I put here? No one when he was still playing mid lane and instead of carry. He always had this uh, dominant, passionate, consistent style, right? And then came these big risk takers like Topson and Smail, and back in the day when he wasn't that well known before uh, the EG pickup. Mm -hmm. It's it's always we kind of falter to these very risky players, but these consistent mid laners are what I'm looking for, which I don't really see at TI right now. Maybe Quinn is what you can say when he's on the Pangolier. He's just consistently delivering. That level of patience and uh, the right movements all the time, you know? I I, I kind of want to see those consistently magical... Like, you're... As the viewer, you're reading, he, oh my god, he's in danger, he should do this, and then he does it five seconds before you even think about it. Those are the guys I'm looking for right now, and I think Mr. Genius has the potential to get there. But we'll see, because Lalatroni has a... Lalatroni has that level of style right now. And I do believe it's it's going to be a bit about the mid lane in this, these matchups. Although the meta is all about the side lanes, it could just be the deciding factor in this match, because the Dawnbreaker just popped off, and there wasn't much stopping after the 15-minute mark. Five seconds remain. Yeah, and hoping they pull out the Dark Willow, which is quite a popular second stage pick. It's actually the most popular when it comes to TI, with 34 picks mm -hmm. in the second drafting stage. But how Mad Kings are gonna be answering this? Grimstroke, maybe? I like Grimstroke. Hmm. Your stroke looks good, but it's bad. Oh, it's, it's bad, it's bad. Pugna. Pugna. Okay. Petro Station. That's a nice answer. Just to, to be striking the Dark Willow every time he uh, she is casting the uh, either the Bramble Maze or the Shadow Realm, or more than likely. Yeah, she, she's pretty much a spell based hero, so. We've already Not seen a few tips. games. Do you think Pugna is a solid mid laner? I think so. Because Topson loves the shit out of this hero. And I'm just not sure. I'm not convinced just yet. Like, it's possibility we'll be seeing a lot more of it at TI this Friday, but... During the road to the international and the group stages, 
I don't know. I wasn't super convinced. Dyer must choose. Behold the horn of Magnus. Magnus. Some of your picks people are surprising us with. Nix, Magnus. We Not did see a few Magnus in the group stage, so I, I do agree this hero on the mid lane is solid and can be viable. On the off lane, he is suffering from the laning stage still. But if it's a 1v1, you can basically go for the shockwave and the skewer. Mm -hmm. And then just keep the lane on your side all the time. You aggro the enemy, if he comes closer, you shockwave him. And then you just go for the skewer, wrap around, and then just push him in your tower, so... A lot of sustain force, and of course, don't even get me started about Empower. Empower is OP as hell. So. So, why are you going back? So it's gonna be Magnus on the map. Uh, I think you, so. You. I think so. It, it might not be 100%. Uh, I did see v Hop play a Nyx Assassin mid lane, but then Ram Squad was dissolved, so... I don't know if Locos Reyes are looking at the Romanian approach to this game, but now it's most then definite that the Magnus is not going to be the offlane as it used to be in three years ago. Hmm. What's the answer going to be? I'm a bit confused about same. this trap. Same, 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 same. Um, I'm trying to read it, but... Having a tough time. So let's assume it's Dawnbreaker are gonna be core, either on three or one, uh, two. Pagna and Nyx are both supports. You are searching for a mid laner that does. Monkey King is banned. I see CK untouched. I pick CK for Matt Kings. CK seems good. I really um, love the um, Invoker Invoker's band. I love the Death Prophet, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. DP is good here. Although I don't like the hero in this patch, but she's she's good here because you got the Magnus, you got the Willow, as long as you silence them, they don't really push out their spells. Sven stands ready. Go for the Sven. Okay, prepare. Prepping for the CK on no ping, okay? Yeah, the band. P. Yeah, the classic. I banned the P and the Ursa, actually. Bear doesn't like this patch, but Bear loves eating into your Dawnbreaker. And you're looking for team fights such as Tide or Centaur, if you're a Mad Kings. Remain. In my opinion. But. Five seconds remain. Dyer's turn to back. Queen. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be bothersome for the Magnus, so it only makes sense that you get rid of it. Kunka? Is your next one? Um. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds. I, I, would, I would go for the. Uh, a, a, a trigger instead. Okay, I see. Just bend your shaker. Okay, okay, they go for the dazzle. Yeah, no. Saves. Oh no, dazzle being banned. Yeah. Is it what I think it is? Has been played mid a lot and offlane as well. So, dazzle ban is a legit ban. Are you thinking Huskar? You're not thinking Huskar. No, I. I, I You're think not thinking it's Axe. Fun. You're thinking Puck. I think it's gonna okay. Puck. Or, hmm, it's a bit game. tough for me. I like the storm here. I think here. it's Buck. I, I like, think it's Buck. I prefer the storm. Dyer's turn to pick. Storm nice call, spirit. but on the other side, I have a bad news for you. It's gonna be faceless void. Finally no. appearing. <laughs> no, so ready. I just give, don't just want give. faceless. Just give him faceless void. I don't There's want the faceless oh. void. Give him, so good this CK. Give him CK. Nah. Give him my boy it's CK. Princess Void is just. Uh, 
I, I see no better hero, to be honest. Troll. Who plays troll in this game? In no these troll. Days? No troll. Of course, you have seen one of the today, but. That was horrible. I don't want to see troll ever again. A lot thicker. I don't know. It's it's definitely a face of sword it's game. Yeah. It just cries that it's, it's it's gonna be a face of sword game. Playing faceless void into storm, dude. Yeah, uh, calling out this draft as as I did call for the faceless void. I think I have to go for no ping. I gotta go no ping as well, man. Three times in a row we bet down on no ping as they survived the curse in game number one, then faltered in game number two. Are we caster cursing noping once more, ladies and gentlemen? We shall see. As both teams are prepping for this game number three. I am I'm not a fan of the Mad King's backline, though. I don't know how you are with it, but it doesn't seem solid enough to survive this. Yeah, I mean, they, they are definitely going to be having troubles, like hiding beneath the front line and how they are supposed to be approaching certain team fights i think it all comes down to uh, certain work positions and, and division gaming in the end but it's mr jeans on the storm he might surprise us sven is considered one of the better heroes in the early stages uh, against against Faceless Void, but yeah, once this game goes late, I, I am favoring the Faceless Void all the way. In the early stages, though, hitting the right chrono is definitely hard. Yeah, I don't know until... I don't feel like Faceless Void's dispatch come online until like 30 minutes. Oh. It just doesn't feel consistent right now. I would put it a bit earlier, like 25, but I have to agree with you. Okay, I'll make it 25. But it's just like... Depends on the place now. But at the same time, if you are Sven, <laughs> you just uh, <laughs> use the R button, pick up a DD rune, and you almost have... You become 380 damage. <laughs> Not quad damage anymore, but still pretty good. 360 damage, actually, right? Yeah. As Lumiere finds a little bug in his jungle as Michael moves on to him as well. Here comes the rest of the gang to bully the poor little Nyx assassin and the shockwave onto his corpse just in case. As Nopin get the first blood. I like how Lumiere is still using the infamous young. Uh, Infamous Y, uh, team tag. <laughs> Good old days, isn't it? Yeah, Infamous used to have three rosters in total. That's insane. They even had a female team. Yeah, they did. They actually still do. They they played yeah. in Trompix League. Yep. They are pretty active there. And the right clicks keep on coming. Shido. There goes the Stormhammer. Arzen. Here comes the bird. The bird is the word. Run, Shido, run. And with the dive. With another blast as the response. <laughs> the bird just, is, just doesn't like getting damaged. We'll turn back onto Tiger. Such a huge fan of this bird. This bird is just asking if you want some democracy. But yeah, I, I also like the American, or the Native American set, or whatever you want to call it. At the same time, a beautiful impale well, along with the Celestial Hammer from Oscar up top. Vij. Hurting a lot due to the harassment. But will survive on the Appa. Last, it's hey, in yeah, the lane. It's... Control is a bit more important. Sorry. No, it's fine, it's fine. I was just thinking about this set. This kind of reminds me of the Hadanusi. Uh, tribes or, or or the Lakota tribes of North America, but Michael, you are okay, not that yet, but You're one more, I think. Yeah, democracy doesn't save you, Michael. Arzen, trying to turn Vish, around though. with the bird as Vish falls up top. Absolute lowness 
on both side lanes. On both what sides. What we were by expecting the way. this, let's be honest. We, we might have went for. Uh... Oh, once again, Arzen, Arzen in trouble. Stick. But this time the Bramble Maze. Michael is saving democracy right now. But yeah. The headdress Beastmaster is holding on as much as he can. Which time period is the most fascinating for you in history? That's a good question. I would pick Renaissance, for sure. Oh. Renaissance, Firenze, as Mr. Jeans gets pushed under tower, but the aggro is just not going on him that much. He will need to uh, recover from this, but he already has the bottle of... Compared to Lalatruani, who's just uh, suffering right now on this lane. The shockwave does hit. Mr. Gene surprisingly not going for the kill, also prioritizing the lane. Yeah, these two legends duking it out in the mid lane is always a pleasure to watch. If if, if we could just place uh, an additional caster who is only taking care of the mid lane. Nice stun on top though. I think Genek might be in trouble with it. But Vige dies first. I said Vige dies first. Come on, Oscar. Come on, Oscar. No, no he does not. Time dilation. Such a cool spell. I, uh, love the I didn't say Lumiere, I said Vige. <laughs> he just doesn't want to die. 30 HP, he was sitting on the lane and he's like, I'm fine, I'm good. Lumiere, he's taking a lot of damage, but... Time dilation. And the time walk is always there, and the time dilation, of course, to slow down those foes. At the same time, Tiger will fall on the bottom lane as Arzent is next. I said, yeah, Tiger is gonna get two kills instead of falling, but... Yeah, we, it, it's basically the same that we were talking about. Uh, we just said that how good Sven is uh, in the early stages against this team. But later this game this game goes, the more I'm gonna be favoring the no-ping side. We'll see. This learning laning stage is very, very good for Matt Kings as they take the lead 4-1 to one so far at the back end of the fourth minute. Water Ruins oh, yeah. round two coming in as Ganek trying to re-rotate back towards here. Vige finding Nyx, a bit of cold feet onto the bug. Nice play with the carapace. He's Ganek dead. I don't know, it could be an even trial That's right here. Fire. Still joining in, Vige having nothing left to give. Does have... A blood grenade, but eventually will submit to the bug as Ganek needs himself. to deny himself as well. Talentless. Talentless. <laughs> I just love the tone of it. Like, talentless. Talentless. It's just, non it's just so non caring. Talentless. It's part of the psychological warfare, right? I mean, half of the taunts are about you suck. You don't know Jack. You're lost my in my favorite. woods. Or my favorite, I want to die. <laughs> I want to die. Of course. I hate life is also a good one. As another ward will be placed by Tiger. He's just buying time as the axes keep on rolling. Shido, he needs to hold down just a bit more as the impale comes out as backup. Cold feet in. The Sven turns back. Arzent wants to slow him down. But Genek. He just couldn't get the carapace off in time. As Arzen, one more, two more right clicks as Shido wants to chase. The Bramble Mace finally comes out. But it's just not enough. Vige running out of here as fast as he can with the apparition. They'll take down instantly the Observer War by Shido out of the woods. He joins on to Michael, the cold. Oh, the chilling touch will get him, but Genek just keeps up the aggression with the bug. The action is just not stopping. You know, I believe we had a kill on the mid lane as Tiger picks up the DD, turns out to Lalatroni. But no kill will happen as uh, Shido is a pretty low on HP. And with the catch, Tiger 
We'll just take care of Michael as Vige will be jumped on Arzen. He needs to shake off so many blugs with the bird. I'm a, I'm a pretty big uh, Faceless White fan. It's always good to see when I see this aggressive build. I'm just I'm watching Arzen getting run on the boss. Level 6. Shido Sven is just coming in. Here comes Lalatroni. The RP is there. He's pushing them farther and farther in. Yes, with the Empower, he gets the double kill as well. Nice. Nice play by Lalatroni. Realizing that he's in need on the bottom lane. There's the 7 minute hit. Lumiere and Lalatroni. Top off. The leaderboard in the network chart. Is it gonna be one of those skewering, uh, spellcasting Magnuses? I guess so. This game, it's a hard start with 50 min kills. In the first eight minutes. And with Lumiere. the PT on the way, Ganek. He's being a bit <clears throat> bullied here. There's a time walk, and he's just trying to run out. Chronos out by the ride from Mr. Jeans and Tigers. Another blast is going to be enough to kill the Faceless Void. You just had to praise him. You just had to praise him as Shido. Keeps on diving, here comes the Solar Guardian taking care of Arzen in exchange <laughs> on top of Lumiere's death. I was praising him, perfect laning stage, he's on top of the network chart uh, and, and really love the bell uh, leveling, but yeah. You just had <laughs> to say it, didn't you? I'm so sorry. Are you? I'm sorry. Are you sorry? Sorry, Lumiere. This tiger. Keeping oh, under pressure blast. with another blast. Oh, look at Lalatrone. He's mad and he wants blood. Or not. He just wants the Watcher. And the zone and everything that comes with it. But yeah, the Nether Blasts keeping on the siege on the Tier 1 tower. And the first one goes to the Mad Kings. Objective gaming, be, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you have to be a bit careful with Lumiere with this greedy build. Your time walk is on a high cooldown, and you are without the boots. Don't forget that. So he might be punished here eventually. Gigigigenek, not gonna doing anything. He was canceling the impale cast at least three times. I just don't understand player reflexes, man. Like I, I've got the cancel button right here. But I, I can't for the life of me press it sometimes. No, oh, the spell just slips out. Shido just simply walks away. Not really be bothered. Skedaddles at that speed. Look at the work cry. Level 1 just working so well for him. 10% movement speed increase on top of that. You get a phase boot. Insane. As, uh, I mean, if Noping are going to ignore their objectives, they're going to be losing them fast. That's Arzen. With the hand of the Tom build, he's losing the Hellbear Smasher and his life as well. With Lalatroni looking for the angle, Vish. Ice Blast was available, but he can't even use it, Lalatroni. We'll skewer backwards. Okay, he goes back to the casual Echo Saber and eventually on the Magnus, so I'm not really surprised here. Ganek, they know about him. We see you, Michael. Might just get caught out. Impale. And with the Vendetta, right click, it's a beautiful charge as the Primal Roar comes out. In with the save. The captain will help yeah, out Yeah, you gotta Michael. be careful. The killing spree of three. Just giving it away. Gonna falls. Oh, it's just perfect, Sean. Beach? Where, where does Beach do? What? 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 Uh, How does he die there? He, he walked up to damage the tower and... Yeah. Beach. Was just not just, having it, I guess. 
just having the advantageous situation. And even the RP was committed, but better saves saved than sore. Yeah, you can't lose objectives this fast. I mean, 12 minutes in, losing two down, two towers. Wouldn't feel good at all. Well, let's see. 14 to 7. Is it enough of an advantage that MK will start dominating the map now? Zen, you are dead, my friend. Terrorize. Dead. Not used. Michael wanting to run. These moves are just so fast for Mr. Jeans and Ganek. One point there's just nothing there, and then suddenly you have Vendetta Nyx Assassin in your back. Uh, I, wouldn't stay, I wouldn't say that they stole the stack, but definitely finished it off with like four ancient scripts remaining. Yeah, they are eyeing off with this mid tower. Yeah, the destruction is like inevitable. Or, or is it? They want to fight this. At the same time, a good catch onto the Shido. A good turnaround. We do have a Chronosphere incoming, but I don't think you want to use it on Ganek. Get the bug. But can you keep on getting more? Blue Mirror in hiding and ready for the setup. A bit of a fight coming, or fight back coming from No Ping. But yeah, going in for the work in. Mm, wrote you on Discord if you can check. Yep. All good. All good. Yeah, with the translations as well, please. Just writing so much stuff as ours isn't. We'll get rushed on in with the catch. And there's the kill as well. But in the meantime, the Bramble Maze is up. Ganek in with the Ice Blast. Vish, just suffering a bit from the strain. Oh, the slide coming in from Mr. Jeans. He's just putting on the show now. Mr. Jeans definitely styling on them. La 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 Troni. Almost ready with the harpoon, by the way. That could be an interesting indicator. But, oh, Arzent. The Helm of the Overlord. I haven't seen this item since 1995. <laughs> the it's Helm been of the such Overlord. I mean, it felt felt like 85 years since I've seen a Helm of the Overlord. Honestly, the item is just dead. I mean, this game you have. Multiple right clickers, we can even count in the Dark Willow as well, so... I'm just missing auras on the side of no ping side. I mean, yeah, sure, you got lifesteal aura, but is it enough? I mean... At the same time, here comes Smoke Invasion onto Shido. There's the Chronomancer along with the Ice Blast. Throw everything at the guy and the Rogue Knight will die. As Ganek looking for the search. Here comes the Solar Guardian along with the Ball Lightning. It is punishment for your existence. As the Terrorize comes out trying to save Lalatroni. That might just happen as he will go for the TP out. But he won't get it because the Vortex is just perfect for Mr. Jeans. Michael, was like, just let me be spared. Throws out the Bramble Maze. But the stun out, it works, but then he TPs out. What a good timing from Michael. And he'll make it. Yeah, they might have gotten the most important kill in the game on the swim, but... 
They are losing three in the end, and two of them are cores. Work it up, Bad Kings. Pretty solid yeah, right there. But can they get more? It looks like yes, as Arsen will fall as well. 17 minutes in. They started out like this in the first two games. But can they continue as uh Yeah, do you see how ineffective this Pugna is? Oh. Uh, with the life drain, I mean. Like Tiger has been super on point. Yeah. But like I mean... the reverse life drain is just so bad. <laughs> it's not Pugna Petrol Station anymore, it's Pugna Sinkhole now. As towers are falling. I don't know where No Ping will find the angle for the approach. I'm guessing going on Oscar is not a bad option. As Michael's gonna try and go for a Celesteel Hammer. Bedlam. Curse Crown as well, along with the rod and a nice little harpoon action here. They do these big engagements, but at the same time, like the quite. Besides that, is it worth it? Like I don't know. They're gonna try and go for the Roshan in the next thirty seconds. Without the advantage, I'm pretty sure Mackings will not make the approach. Yeah, I am not even sure if they are aware of this. Look at the boards coming out from the Radiant side. They are just so aggressive there. And some of it I don't even understand. Why is it like necessary? Like, why is it necessary for for you to see into the into their base, which is which is out of my out of my out of my hands? Like, understanding what was the reasoning might be behind this. But Genek is oh, been stunned by the hawk. And Good there catch goes onto the next. Bug. Signs of life from Noping, Aegis, and now a kill. It's looking promising. Wow, the damage is just still, still insane coming out from Tiger. Well, another blast is no joke. Yeah, and there is one rule. If if you want to hit the perfect chrono, there is one thing you have to remember. Include the Pagna at all costs inside of it. Hmm... Mjolnir incoming for Lumiere. When is he getting the BKB? Maybe. Chronosphere. Uh, on to Mr. This. Jeans. Krar. Here comes the Ice Blast. It catches Oscar, but yeah, that Solar Guardian's been working hard. The Aegis will fall. Because at the same time, Lalatroni will die as well. Tiger just sucks the life out of the Magnus as they're silencing, holding on to the Faceless Void. Matt Kings will come out on top of this one, and they might just get Arzent and Vija as well, Shido. That's a boar. And he's just trying to move out of this cold feed, but we'll get caught out, Arzen. He's just bait right now as he turns around with the God Strength onto the Beastmaster. Down goes this player as Vish will die as well. The synchronization uh, between this spell casting, the rotations, I'm not even gonna blame the wards, wards anymore because these aggressive wards are the enabler. They are the enabling factor for these executions. Mad Kings absolutely deserve to be leading with almost 10k up now. This is solid, but we've been here before. Yeah, we I, have seen this. I, I, I'm not losing hope as of now. I've been salty about the Faceless Void pick for Lumiere, but... I guess I just gotta trust my instincts. Yeah, I mean, noping. I'm not writing them off. They are still hanging in there, but making these small mistakes are costing a lot of lives on their end. Yeah, the domination is just undeniable right now from Matt Kings. As even after the tiniest tickle, Vige, Arzent, and Lalatroni need to move off their own triangle now. 
Mr. Jeans just declares the territory his own now. This will provide absolute domination. As all three cores of Mad Kings take the first three spots. And it, this is just a perfect network chart, isn't it? These, this is the network chart I like to see. You know, the winning team up top, the losing team, you know, down bottom, the next three positions, and then the supports, but with the same order. It's just beautiful. Mm, they might fight Oscar on bottom, but I don't think it's the perfect kill that you're looking for. You kind of want but more. There's a lot of Troni. They feel that the smoke oh. is broken and Oscar is just breaking to the the other direction straight up. Not wanting to deal with any of this. You know, you can absolutely imagine the comms right now, right? From Oscar. He's like, oh, they're trying to kill me. Are uh, you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm just gonna move back to base. It's fine. Just keep doing what you're doing on the top lane. As Shido, getting close to that Daedalus, but the team wants to fight. Mm, I don't know if I, no, I... I'm a bit baffled by, by these item purchases, but... Let's go, Shido trying to jump onto Lumiere, gets Primal Roared instead. Lumiere setting up for that chrono, but he gets double chain stun. Down oh, goes no. the face the sword as the RP is there. Lala trying trying to put out the damage along with Arzen will get Shido, will get Oscar, and cleans them down. They might lose Vij, but can they keep going? Lala Tron is scoring backwards, the Crepify onto the back line. Michael will get destroyed by Mr. Jeans, but can he make a big play into the two? He is willing to do it. Skewered up, no mana, and finally Lala Tron shuts it down. Down. And this was all without the faceless void. He caught off guard. He he activated the BKB a bit too late because he was stunned and eventually died before using the Chronosphere. They clear all five of Mad Kings by being behind by 10k. Lala Troni, I was about to say, I am not really sure this Manta is a good idea. I am I, I'm just gonna remain silent, I guess, about this. Oh, he didn't even use the mantle, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he he did not have it just yet. Oh. But yeah, it looks like Lola Trani knows best. Cleaning out and face saving the fight. I was just about to call that they're molding and melting, but then Lola Trani with that RP skewer play. That was something else. It was pretty promising, let's be honest. As I said, noping is still in this game. In my eyes, they have the battle or late game execution. And the fight looked good. Like, you and I would absolutely make that decision of going in the mid lane, smoking up, and just starting to murder them. As Mr. Jeans, they're gonna continue this pickoff play, Massacre, and they'll keep going onto Michael as Shido. An easy pickoff onto Lalatroni. This is just uh, what you basically do. Mackings were like, okay, yeah, we died. Let's reset and try again. There's a game plan. And yes, they do take down the superstar of the last fight. Oh, this is just like a wallpaper on the Faceless Void right now. You should see what I'm, I'm looking at. Mm. Oh, you'll see it on stream anyway soon. <laughs> right now I'm looking at <laughs> an image of Mr. Jeans riding Ganek. Okay, never mind. No, that's even worse than actually. The, I thought the faceless void looked pretty, like a pretty nice wallpaper, but now I want to see Mr. Jeans just sitting on an ex assassin, dude. This is perfect. But yeah, we're moving back into the game. This is uh, not going to be an easy one by a long shot. Yeah, it's still pretty open in my eyes. But yeah, gonna five, hold five G, five gold, you know, five K gold, six K gold. 
Yeah, it's all gonna come down to these little mistakes that my m few players might be making, and it all comes down to the boarding game and the certain executions with, with these higher uh, based uh, abilities like like the Chronosphere and then the God Strength. How you you can utilize these uh, resources? Let's see. Mr. Roshan, still asleep for a fixed three more, 30 more seconds. And then we'll know how much of a timer delay we'll get out of the three minutes extra. Gonna gunning for the Yules. He wants to be the Mr. Setup on the next assassin. There's Lumiere. Thinking of a Lincoln Sphere of all things. Interesting. Mr. Jeans. Getting ready for those team fights, gunning for the Agonims. Lalatrani looking to become Mr. Right Click. Forty seconds until Roshan is back. That means he will be topside. Invisibility. And Ganek already in to check. Beige, moving in. Can I go try and get him? There is the play, though. They will hold on to the apparition as Mr. Jeans rolls in to check. Does he have backup? Shido, in the meantime, close to finishing the Satanic. Only needs a quarter staff now. As Roshan respawns, Ganek will spot it out. And with the player advantage, it should be easy pickings for Locos Reyes. Opting for objectives, Noping will try and create some pressure. This draw, she's gonna, definitely gonna go the, into the favor of map games. Who's gonna be picking up? I would give it to. Okay, no, I would have give it to like Mr. Jeans. Yeah, I would have given the ages to Mr. Jeans as well as Ganek. He's, he's the one making. Plays, Ganek? But look at Ganek. Ganek? Oh, the perfect. Oh, setting it up with the impale and the sucking off from Tiger. Just sucking Arzen back into his own fountain as well. Trani catches out. The bug, but at the same time, Mr. G's rolling in a beautiful chronosphere. Shido walks into it. He messed up. He effed up right there. As Lalatroni. Go searching around. There is an RP to be expended here. And you need to is back available. off. You need Just to back the hell off, Lalatroni. Three more seconds until the blink. The distance is long. He loses the wisdom rune. But can he keep on going? He wants to. Oh, oh my longest god! Longest harpoon in the history of Dota! This tiger will get pulled back after the blink and get destroyed. Come Worth on. it. <laughs> you, you gotta say that this interaction was so fun. <laughs> That's the problem with harpoon, man. It's just point targeted. <laughs> Stupid. Stupidest item in Dota. And there's a DT, so Magnus. It's not even Still. vector skilled, man. I click on an enemy hero and it harpoons them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. They're not scouting the DD just yet. Now Michael pings it out. Yo, anyone want it? I'll I try think it's off. gonna be Lalatroni taking it. I'll take it. RP is ready though. Ganek. Got the cleave. Ganek oh, no, doing Ganek. the shenanigans. He's doing the shenane. Uh, what? He just gets away with it? He okay. just eats out. Neither the Trani or Arzen. Or actually, uh, sorry. Lumiere or Arzen give a crap about the bug. Same time. Tiger looking for the sheep stick now that he's got the Yules. Just a lot of Yule Scepters right now on the side of Matt Kings being set up here. I don't know what their plan is with them. Eva's guard in for Mr. Jeans. As he does have the Aghanim Scepter now. The storm is looking dangerous. Lido with the Satanic and gunning for the butterfly. I don't know when Lumiere is going to have the opportunity to get the MKB though. 
What's your next plan? If you are Mad Kings. Waiting for the enemy to make some mistakes? Or start taking objectives on your own? Smoke up for sure is happening from noping. Ice Blast. Where is it going? That's looking for it at the Ancients. Shido. He saw the angle where it came from. He knows exactly where Noping are in their jungle and inside they roll. A beautiful vortex into the Solar Guardian, but the RP comes out. Can they hold on? Already lost two. Lalatrani will take out the Aegis. Shido's dead. As they want to join onto Tiger and find a few more kills, but they do have the Chrono. Mad King's on the chase. Lumiere doesn't want to continue the engagement, but Lalatrani left behind doesn't seem like a good decision. As Lumiere still doesn't want to drop the Chrono. The chase is on as Mr. Jeans wants to make the turn, but with low mana, no HP, he will turn on to the Storm Spare. The Ice Blast will massacre him then as Lalatrani turns it in. Lumiere still trying to be alive. Arzen with the buyback finally arrives to be back up. He they do take down Oscar and will take down Shido. And there's the team wipe from Noping. 25 to 35. But with still the 2k net worth lead on Mad Kings. A beautiful execution with a very shoddy start. But they'll be patient. With the very last possible second of the chrono. Lumiere turns the fight around. I love how patient he was about using the chrono. I was just use like, it. use it, use it <laughs> in my head. <laughs> no, it, I really loved how he played it out in well, the Well, this is why you play core these days and I don't, you know? I be and, uh, and Dota, why you didn't need patience? You want to get item, you go and murder. Oh, they found fish, fish here. Nice double use, uh, double impale as uh, the harpoon play from Lalatrani. Uh, he's kind of suffering for it. I don't think you want to continue that. As the cold feet kick in on the bug, Vish and Lalatrani will make their way out of there or not. As it's a perfect hold on for Mr. Jeans, the glimmer cape save. It's not going to work out. As Oscar comes in to hold down Michael, the stun is not there, but the damage is. Let me just see, basically. Luminosity, baby. Bounty. And at the same time, Tiger. Still searching for that Scythe of Vice, but Oscar mm -hmm. with that AC, that's going to be some damage to take care of. I still have one of your statements unanswered. Why the reason, what was the reason behind purchasing so many Yules? I had this t t uh, theory uh, when the patch came out in May or early June. You know when the stuns and all of those lockdowns were nerfed? That was 733, yeah, still the main yeah. one. I had this like, um, I had this like an, an idea about your scepter that is gonna be pretty popular because once the stuns, CCs, all those lockdowns been nerfed, even some uh, leech leeches, that the use is gonna be having like you know a steady appreciation. Just because it's left unchanged, it's still having the same two and a half seconds basically it can count as a lockdown if you use it on the enemy and it comes off like uh, it has multiple effects because you can use it as a saving grace as well i i was imagining that it's gonna be like super popular be, yeah yeah super popular or appreciated but yeah in the end it's good against void though five man smoke void. Ursa, Troll, and all of this stuff. Oh, that team fight. I want to see one more of those. Either side winning, I don't care. 
tiger showing a middle. Oh, I've got the blink immediately getting out of there. Oh, they find Oscar. Oscar? Just on the edge, playing with our hearts here. One fight might decide the fate. Good what are you doing Shido there, Shido? Primal Roar, but here comes the solar backup. As Oscar, oh, both of them are RP'd. Where is Mr. G's to save the day? No, he TP'd out. Mr. G's like, I'm out of here. Screw this fight. You guys got RP'd. You messed up. I go yeah. in, I get Chrono, and I don't give a fuck. No, I'm not, oh, I'm not saying that. Pushing. Top plane is pushing, double siege wagon, Rosh is up, no ping, no, this Tron is here. your chance. Mm. Not gonna let the slain chuff happen on the mid lane, as in comes Mr. Jeans. Stunning up the Magnus, but finding out he does not have the damage, he didn't use the Orchid though. Yeah, it, it just feels impossible, cause, yeah, no Orchid because of the Manta, but... Oh, you are gonna be holding on to this high ground, the golem, the granite golem is hitting hard and providing bonus HP percentage as well. As Roshan number three is up, it's looking like Noping want to continue the siege. Huge ice blast coming out on Tiger, but he seems to be surviving it. We can move on to middle, double siege, siege wagons, Lumiere secured that. Yeah, Lalatron is secure that these creeps are gonna be staying alive. She goes back for 15 seconds. I don't, I wouldn't get more than this. Get the outpost, go to Roshan, take the Aegis. Butterfly, oh. no longer on the table. Shido wants to get that BKB. Refresher on the horizon for Lumiere. I'm so ready for it. Double Chrono, Double Chrono, Double Chrono, and Anyone wants running. to check the pit? No one? I think they were pinging it out. I thought they are. Genak looking into I check? Think but Genak is definitely gonna be... Caught out in the crossfire as Michael walks in. He's like, oh yeah, it's here. Okay, so Genak both teams are... Moving in with the impale and the catch, but move out instantly. I mean, it's not people the start chasing him. Comes. Brought it in, caught out, Ice Blast goes on cross, Tiger at the same time focusing on to Vige as Mr. Jeans tries to catch up onto the Faceless Void but Lumiere outside of the Solar Guardian, there's the beautiful catch up to Shido, one by one they fall, Oscar you joined onto the wrong target, you should have saved your Sven, as Lalatroni with the triple kill, a double buyback on the support. But this is just way too much overcommitment. Shido will definitely not buy back for this one. I feel like it's not, not the first time that Genak is baiting his own team into this weird fight. Like, the, the, his initiation, his job is completely different what he's doing. He's pretty farmed though, now of course in the last position of the network chart, but still he's farmed, he can provide some assistance between those uh, little skirmishes, but Speaking of the network pink. chart, the chaos ensues as another Ice Blast hits down, the Nullifier rips Tiger off from no the Cyclone. Stopping. They just cannot stop, they are on the roll, they are riding this roller coaster, and they are hoping that the finish line is gonna be the 2-1 to -one series for sure. Refresher Orb on the Faceless Void, so he gives the shard to the Magnus. Double RP incoming, or actually just one more, because he already used that one in the previous fight. But it's something mm. Mackings should be painfully aware of, as their high ground will definitely fall. No buyback on the Sven, 240 painful gold away. As Mr. Jeans doesn't have it either. Cleaned out forest, Lalatroni and Lumiere, hand in hand, will clean out the racks. And they will be moving on to the mid lane. So oh, this damage. Crown. The empowered right clicks. It's just insane. There's, there's, you just no have nothing. Mr. Jeans is like, I have nothing. What do you do here? He's untouchable. 
double chrono, double BKB, double nullifier. I, I can just hear chat screaming, use God Strength, do something, what are you doing? You're just yeah, watching, but this is the time. Mr. Jeans will try, but this is all he can do. Ride it in as they pull in Shido, no BKB on this Sven, as he will just get ripped apart in they the Ice it. Blast. Yeah. An easy call. Checked and mated. Noping will take the series 2-2-1. Two, two, I mean, this was basically what we were talking about. Once we go past that 35 minute mark, it's going to be the Magnus and Void is going to kick in with the addition of the Ice Blast, the additional Lockdown, one of the best reliable stuns. Not one of the, it's basically the best reliable stun in the game. Uh, the Primer Roar and the Meta Hero itself, Dark Willow, providing some assistance, locking people down and playing with them like toys. Wow, what a good game. Both teams well played, but in the end it's no pink. Once again, proving to be the better team. Yeah, I mean, third time's the charm, I guess. You know, we bet it on them three times in our predictions. But honestly, yeah, Matt King's just uh, eventually dropping the ball. You were very confident in this faceless void pick and that it would work. I, I I felt it a bit shaky about Lalatroni with those RPs in the late, late game. It just paid off eventually. And yeah, you just mess up a Roche fight and then you're just in that situation where you're just destroyed. So yeah, I guess that's it for tonight. As our two series are over, Lava Esports lost 2-0. to zero against good old infinity and then yeah mad kings in their debut series almost taking it two to one but eventually no ping will prevail and take the series as for tomorrow we are looking ahead for two more series with infinity again but this time facing off x5 they did not disband they just reformed no oh. as they have a new rising star storm as their carry but yeah after that, Matt King will have another chance, this time against the two-time lows, uh, or should I say, two times defeated Lava Esports, I would say that. And then we'll see how it continues from here on out. Until then, thank you and good night. Anything else, my friend, before we say goodbye? Uh, pretty good games. It was a pleasure once again to be here with you. Thanks to everyone watching this. And yeah, hope to see you tomorrow as well. Cheers, guys. Thank you and good night. Bye-bye.